Alrighty. How are we doing, everybody? It's time for more Koa. Wow. Another weekend full of Koa? That's crazy. Oh, boy. What's the back? The song in the background? The song is Terrapagos Phase 2 from Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, the DLC. That, that's the song that's playing. Yeah, I hope everybody is uh, doing well. I hope everybody's had a, a good day. And, uh, yeah, it looks like um, they're prepping up for the first battle. Oh, look. Oh, yeah, this is, this is, this is, uh, this is DX, also known as Dongshuan. I believe that's how you pronounce uh, his name. Uh, to my knowledge, I'm not, a, I'm still learning about this, but to my knowledge, this is, like, the best hunter in the world. The best hunter, like, ever. In all of IDV. Like, pe people claim, people claim that he's, like, the best in the world. So, uh, I, I'm, I'm pretty, uh, pretty excited. And he's no longer on Dow 5. He used to be on Dow 5. And, uh, now, I think he got, um, bought. <laughs> That he got like an offer from FPXCQ that was a lot of money. So uh, he decided to join their team. Pretty uh, pretty interesting. But yeah, he, he's insane, dude. He is insane. Every time I watch his uh, Hunter, he's insane. Uh, so so I've heard some people say he's the best in the world uh, as Hunter. So pretty excited if, if we got him up first. I believe these sets that we have are... Um, yeah, HH, HHDG versus FPXCQ first. We have YS versus ATC second, and then third set we have GR versus TE. And I think this is live. I'm pretty sure this is live. I can check uh, the Billy Billy account. Uh, I'm starting to starting to just barely learn how to use Billy Billy. Still not quite there yet. Um, and uh, yeah, it looks like this is also live on Billy Billy. As you can see here, this is the live stream. And they're, they're, yep, that's the exact same thing. But see, see how bad the quality is, right? You can't get like good quality until you actually make an account, which I haven't done yet. Um, but you know, this this is, that's how you know this is live. It's just the JP channel is actually uh, is is uh, streaming it too, which is really nice. So I don't have to use Billy Billy because I just don't really know how to use it. <laughs> oh boy, I I am ready though. I am ready. This this should be a fun set. This should be a really fun set. I'm gonna get my notes. Uh, starting right here But yeah, I hope everybody is ready for another day of Koa and uh, we're, we're starting we're starting to catch up. We're starting to catch up. I released some more uh, uh, So it's another Koa video today. I'm catching up with all the other Koas. I think I'm gonna do the rest of uh, CN mate What the no, thank you Microsoft uh, <laughs> I think I'm gonna do a lot of the uh, CN mainland stuff in video form since I actually did find the Billy Billy videos for them Um and somebody did offer to somebody. Oh, here we go. I think we're gonna start. Uh, somebody did offer to lend me their account for Billy Billy, so I might, I might have to, uh, I might have to do that. And uh, then I'll be able to, you know, watch the videos through that account, and then we'll catch up. And then my amazing, my amazing playlist of every single. Whoa, they're just, they're just off the start using Officer. They don't even care about Global Banning him. My goodness, they really just want Officer for, uh, for Opera. Okay, which is good. You want Officer for Opera. Not ready for Koa streams? Well, we got plenty more coming, so get ready. Uh, Gardener, Perfumer, Priestess, and Aeroplanist ban. That makes sense. That makes sense. Um, my, my, my goat uh, DX banning Perfumer, you'll love to see it. <laughs> Oh boy, he just doesn't want to deal with that stalling comp. Oh boy. Okay, this this is pretty solid opera comp. The cheerleader is like a little interesting, a little interesting. Um, but we we've seen her cook against opera before, so we don't know. We can see how it goes. And almost done with my little notes here. Oh boy. I should I should have prepped these up. Okay, I'm I'm good for first set. I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> Refuse to read the English one chat. I, I don't I don't really uh I don't read it either. Yep, it's gonna be op. It's gonna be op. It's gonna be op from the start. As expected, as expected. Uh is audio good everybody? Audio audio should be good. You're making me stay way up past my bedtime. I'm sorry. You you you're f feel free to like don't watch this. You can always watch the stream later. You can always watch the stream later. It's good? Okay, awesome. Okay. Let's see. 
If this is the best hunter in the world, let's let's see how he deals with these stalling comps. I'm pretty curious to see how how he deals with this. How do I feel about Ivy so far? I've only fought her once, but uh, Nana did offer. I think Nana has a uh, Ivy. Nana did offer to uh, to do some customs versus their Ivy, so I might fight their Ivy tomorrow. Um, but I don't know. It depends on how busy I am. It depends. Okay, are we getting into it? Is it time? Yo, wait, what the heck? There's like only one person in the chair. I guess a lot of the team doesn't want to have their uh, their face cam. Okay, so we got borrowed time knee jerk on the whole team except for officer with borrowed time tied. Off, uh, and opera's gonna run um, blink detention trump cards. So pretty standard stuff, but the lack of the lack of a uh, no an OBT build is a little concerning. But, I don't know. Maybe maybe they're confident. Maybe they're confident. We'll see how this goes. <laughs> 1v1, your Ivy. Oh, boy. Yeah, Ivy, Ivy seems really strong. She seems really strong. Like, she literally has, like, so many different effects. Like, even, even just the little surrounding thing that makes it hard for you to see on the sides is so annoying. Like, it's not really that big of a deal, but it's just annoying. Because it's like, you usually want to... A lot of the time, I'll turn my camera to look at the hunter, like, out of the corner of my vision. But now I have to, like, turn back even more. Because I, I think the reason why they added that was so that when you turn around, you have to, like, look closer to her so she gets her corrosion. So you can't just look out of the corner of your eye. I'm pretty sure that's the reason they added that for her. Because uh, it kind of just goes well with her kit. But my goodness, it's kind of annoying. Anyway, after the, opting to chase the patient first, messes up the hook, actually. Uh, just kind of dashes into, uh, or not dashes, uh, freaking hooks into a pole. But hasn't taken any hits yet. If he can, if he can kite till all the ciphers are like around 70-ish, he should be fine. Uh, are we going to see a TP back? Not quite. There it is. Okay, uh, DX was waiting for the commitment. Okay, very good stuff. Wait, waiting for the patient to commit to one uh, thing and then using the teleport. See, we, we see a lot of operas just immediately use the teleport, um, and yeah, gonna 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 have to gonna have to break the pallet, and uh, let's see, break that pallet as well. He has one, no, he does. He's out of hooks. Wait, what the heck? He's out of hooks. He's out of hooks. Okay, he can't he can't drop these pallets because then he just gets blink. Uh, okay, I I, I would have like at least tried to stall a little bit longer and then maybe try and force out the blink. I don't know, but now now opera still has blink, so it's gonna make any rebounds that are. Uh, any, any room is going to be pretty difficult here. And only one tide, though. Only one tide. The ciphers are rushing. And she has a good idea of where Officer is. He's chilling up here. I'd love to see the, uh, love to see Akechi dropping down at the exact same time. Officer's going to stall with the watch. Let's see. Yep, she's swinging. She's swinging. <laughs> oh, boy, Officer. I was actually playing a little bit of rank today. I didn't have a ton of time, but I played three matches of rank. Dang, he's not even getting hit. My goodness. Trying to hit, trying to hit. Okay, no terror, no terror. Good, good. All right, this is this is solid. This is solid. Egg is just gonna die in a corner now. Their name is Lily Egg. Their name is Lily Egg. Like, look at everybody else with like I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but it's like Shing H D D King Shu Shu, and then you've got freaking Egg. <laughs> I, I probably butchered those names, but just Egg. That's so funny, dude. That's actually so funny. Okay, does does die in a corner? And the thing is, they don't really have a second use of Tide to just let them die in a corner. So do they just feed tonight as sell? Is that the strat? Do they do they try and do cheerleader revive shenanigans? Cheerleader is getting off her cipher. I mean, Opera would. Yeah, Opera's gonna just come over to over to the cipher if not. And that cipher is at 85. Oh, I'm gonna chase a cheerleader here. No, we're we're gonna TP back, TP back. Cheerleader can make this rescue with beep beeps. But will she do it? No, she's not gonna do it. Yeah, she's just here to feed tinnitus. Okay. So I guess may maybe their goal is just one escape. Oh, there's a TP though. TP's onto officer. But he still has a watch. Yep, he still has a watch. Does he actually? Okay, he okay. Opera's gonna actually try and hit. Okay. And now this this officer is doing great with the watch. Doing really good with the watch. Okay, that's one down. Egg is dead. Rest in peace, Egg. You will be missed, I guess. <laughs> okay, Officer no longer has a uh, hypnosis, so now it just comes down to disrespect palette and see ya. Okay, the ciphers are slightly behind, but uh, oh, 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 we're just not even gonna chair. Okay. Yeah, I guess you don't need to. Exited decoding does come into effect. One cipher is being worked on. There's a chance for a one escape. There is a chance, but uh, it's not gonna be easy. Acrobat drop palette. There's no blink. Honestly, just bomb right here. Just bomb right here. Yep, just bomb right there. Get distance. Flame. Yep, yep. Firebomb, firebomb. Beautiful, beautiful. 
Beautiful work from the Acrobat. Seal off her dash. And now it's in... Okay, now it's not in cooldown. Never mind. I thought it was in cooldown for a second, but that's just her uh, little TP. Or that's, her, that's her cape that's in cooldown. Okay, gets the hit on the Acrobat. Um, if Officer can finish that 85% Cypher, that'll be really good. But yeah, the thing is, you, you chase with purpose, so there's no point in chasing the Acrobat anymore because he's not on a Cypher. You gotta chase those people on the Cyphers. Um, heading back for Officer. I think she saw... Yeah, she sees tracks. She sees tracks. So you have this. You have this one pallet to play around with. Does actually TP back. Um, but Shooter finishes that cipher, and they're climbing. Two cyphers are climbing. Wait a minute. Wait a draw potentially. There's no way. There's no way. Oh, that's a window hit. Yep, that's a window hit. Okay, at this point, do you do you just chair or do you? They're just gonna continue getting aggressive, but there's nobody over there. Uh. Now here we go. At this point, you're going to have a three-person endgame on your hands with nobody on the chair. Uh, do they know? Do they know the Cypher's about to be primed? Hmm. Do, oh, wait, we're going to pick up, going to pick up. Okay. Now we're chairing. Okay, chairing while it's primed. Interesting. Interesting. Okay, then. And what are we waiting for? Oh, wait, waiting for her cooldowns, waiting for her cooldowns. Okay, misses, hits, pop, there we go, beautiful. And, yep, Chiller's gifting him a little bit of speed, but gonna opt to chase the Chiller instead, who has full resources. Nope, gonna go to the person on the gate, okay. Actually, if you if you kill Officer here, that's good, because he has no self-heal. Yep, f spots out Officer, we get Cape, and he should just be dead here. See ya. Okay, now you now you just teleport to gate. Now you teleport to gate because he has no self heal. You know he has no self heal. Teleport to gate. Teleport to gate. Teleport to gate. Hello, 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 hello. Why don't you use teleport? It's up. It's gonna open. It's gonna open. It's it's gonna literally open. It's open. It's a literally open. It's already open. Oh my gosh. Why are you breaking the pallet? He just leaves now. He just leaves. What the? I don't understand why you didn't just teleport there. I actually don't know. I feel like you teleport every time. Because Ian, the thing is, Opera can just teleport back. If, if she's ever in a risky situation, you just teleport back. Um, I mean, it's still a 3k, but like, if you teleported, you could have killed one person. And then maybe chased another. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Okay, well, you got a 3k. I mean, that's that's good. That's good. It, it's Opera, 3k, but... I think he definitely could have got a 4k there. I don't know. I'm not sure, but th those survive. Yeah, these survivors, even even though uh, DX is like the best, these survivors aren't exactly like bad or anything. They are, uh, they're definitely very good. That was a fast pop. Yeah, I know. I, I get all the all the pros like super prime their ciphers. I swear. So, so a lot of the times that like, you'll see like in your matches, you'll see like really slow pops. It'll be like 98 or something. What I do when I see the bar like completely filled. I tap it like once or twice for a really fast pop. You, you shouldn't do it all the time, but um, you know, if you think if you think you have like a little bit of extra room, you can tap the cipher just a couple of times so there's a faster pop. But um, if you're not confident, if you're too scared of accidentally popping the cipher, then uh, then don't do it. But I I I found out it's kind of nice. Although I don't do it when I'm a decoding character. If I'm a decoding character, I'm I'm too scared because like oh I'm a little fast with it, so I'm not gonna do that. But if I if I'm like Base, if I'm like Melly or anybody who has, has like base decoding speed or anybody lower, um, yeah, like the 99.9 kind of stuff. Like that, that's that's the that's the pop, like you know the prime prime cipher, like the turbo prime cipher. Oh, good night, Fiona. Thank you for dropping by. But yeah, not not a bad start, not a bad start. Obviously, you do want to try and get those 4Ks to opera, but on the survivor side, if you can get at least one person out, you're good. You know, you just the, the goal is just don't get 4K. I've said it once. I'll say it again. You just don't want to get 4K against Opera. If you if you don't get 4K, you're you're fine. You're fine. Mm. Yeah, we, we we got the we got the Emma thumbnail. It was it, I think it was like some new like anniversary art that they released on. Uh, I don't think it was. I forget what it was. It wasn't Weibo. I don't know, but I thought I'd use it. I, I the composer one I use as well. That's one I used yesterday. The Tomie manga, just not even, not even Juji Ito. It's just the Tomie manga. Wow. Yeah, I, I sh I'm gonna check it out. I'm gonna check it out sometime. Um, I'm just, I'm really busy until after this weekend. 
I'll be really busy just catching up with everything. But luckily, this weekend, it's just CN Mainland, right? It's just CN Mainland. There's no, like, other extra streams because uh, today, today is the 22nd right now, at least for me. But, um... When it, when it comes to that, uh, where is it? Hold on. Let me, uh, let me pull this up here. This, this schedule right here. Okay, ignore the freaking face in the bottom right. I know you guys were, like, commenting on that last time. But, um, yeah, th this was the schedule. In fact, let me just open it in a new tab so you guys don't have to look at the freaking face because you guys wouldn't shut up about it last time. But, yeah, today today it's just CN Mainland. See, last weekend, it was CN Mainland, JP, uh, NAU, and South Korea. And then the weekend before that, there were, like, two other things. So, what, I, what I've done so far is I finished I finished commentating all the Japan games, all the NAEU games, all the Southeast, a uh, Southeast Asia games. Um, tomorrow, I'll finish uh, Chinese, Hong Kong, Macau, Taiwan division, and then mm, I'll, I'll catch up on SK. And then throughout oh, next week, like the 25th to the 29th, I'm going to catch up on the earlier Chinese mainland games, and then we can finish it Saturday and Sunday. So, yeah. <laughs> I'm making it a goal to commentate every uh, every Koa match, for those who don't know. That's 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 why I'm doing this. I, I thought it'd be like a nice uh, a nice challenge or something. Yeah, somebody did say there was a Wu Chang match, so I don't know. Does anyone know how to get the golden apples for CN matches? I don't know if that's possible unless you're on the CN server. Uh, at least in NAEU, I'm pretty sure they don't do anything for that. All right. Uh, hold on. Uh, yeah, yeah, they don't do anything for that because it's like it's all ended for NAEU. But I think for global finals, I'm pretty sure global, yeah, for global finals, which is, uh, you know, a little ways away. I'm pretty sure we get uh, apples for that. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure. Close IDV before my PC explodes? What do you, what do you mean? My PC is fine. I have a strong PC. Any, any content creator should have like a, a strong PC where they can, you know, stream and do multiple things at the same time. Oh? Wait, is somebody giving a speech? What is this? Hello, it is me. I am player for... What team is that? I couldn't tell. Okay, whatever. <laughs> All right. The HHDG uh, Hunter is going to be up next. And the FPXEQ serves are uh, also up. Let's see how they do. I do know that FPXEQ is a strong team. Um, I've heard the name quite a few times, but I'm not entirely sure how strong necessarily. Well, crossover, would I love to see with uh, IDV? Fire Emblem, 100%. I would love a Fire Emblem crossover. It doesn't really fit the, uh, doesn't fit the vibe super much, but I, I would love it. Because Fire Emblem is my favorite game franchise. Uh, and for, for something that's more possible, I would love to see Ace Attorney. I would love to see Ace Attorney. I think Ace Attorney would be great, dude. Because, you know, you, you, got, you got the, you got the, you know, the murder mystery kind of theme. I, I feel like that's kind of, I feel like that kind of fits. I know Ace Attorney's a little more goofy, but, you know. I, I would, I would love Ace Attorney. Like, the amount of... <laughs> I would probably wail for like most of the skins like it, like they'd make Phoenix the S tier obviously they'd probably like They could make they could make Edgeworth. They could make Edgeworth a, uh, an S tier like shop or something um, And then they'd probably do something like Athena Apollo Maya or something like that maybe and then they can make like somebody the free one like Tracy Or Trucy rather <laughs> Tracy whatever uh, <laughs> Think of Tracy freaking in the game Sans uh, uh. My bad. I would love Ace Attorney though. Is Fire Emblem like Roy and Marth? Yes, that is that is like Roy and Marth. Uh, Yeah, that, that you're that's right. That's right A hunter for edge. Uh, I don't know. I don't know how you would do that. Mm. But no, I, I think I think you just do Phoenix Wright as your S, Miles Edgeworth as your S tier shop. Um, then you'd have A tiers as Apollo, Maya, Trucy, Athena, or something like that. And then like have one of them be free. That would be great though. There, there's some other characters that you could put in there as well. You could do you could do the freaking. Uh, the blue badger as a pet or or the parrot that you cross-examine <laughs> oh boy <laughs> there's a lot of stuff you could do with the ace attorney crossover I, I would love ace attorney crossover i would eat that up dude i would try to get every skin 
I 100% get every skin. I'd also love for the Persona 5 crossover to come back. Uh, or, or a P3 crossover would be great since that game came out. I don't know. There's a lot of there's a lot of good crossovers. There's a lot of good crossovers. Hey, what's up, Zeus? How's it going? How'd your stream go? I disappeared. Yeah, I disappeared. No worries. Uh, you you've been streaming for a while. Rest up, rest up, bud. Hope you hope you had a good stream. I I caught like the first half of it, but I was busy the second half. Okay, we're spending a little while uh, prepping up for this next match, but that's fine. <laughs> Phoenix, right? More like Phoenix, stupid. <laughs> oh, that stupid animation, dude. Oh, Miles, looks like you've lost your edge. Worth. <laughs> oh, that video is so dumb, bro. Don't starve. I do. I I had a friend that wanted me to play Don't Starve for so long. Never played it though. He's probably crying right now. <laughs> My friend didn't play Don't Starve for like three years. I think there was like Don't Starve Together or whatever, and I also didn't play that either. Why are they doing stat? What? Didn't they already do stats? Oh, they must have only done stat. Did they only do stats for FPX? Hold on. I swear they already did it for both. Uh, I don't know. Hey, it's been a while. Hey, yeah, whatever. I'm chilling. I got time. Alistair as Al oh for has been it's funny they had a has been on like the list but it's like that's so new a has been a has been crossover wouldn't happen for a long time Tim Burton crossovers uh I feel like the licensing for that would be really difficult well maybe not I guess it depends on like the properties that he owns specifically who is my favorite Fire character? Ooh, that's a tough one. That's a tough one. Okay, so I I wanna like uh, there there's one very specific character. Her name is Loot. She's very cool. She's probably my favorite. Uh, she is a mage from the GBA game Sacred Stones, and uh, she's kind of a doofus, but she likes magic and she's pretty cool. Uh, but I also really like Dimitri. Yeah, she she's like a magic user. Um, pretty cool, but Dimitri is also like probably my other fave. I really like Dimitri Fire Emblem. Very cool character. Very cool character. Lot lots of cool designs. Really awesome character. Um, pretty much, pretty much all the lords are great. Um, uh, Marth. All, all the lords are great. Ike. Ike is great. Um, yeah, there, there, there's plenty. There's plenty. I could, I could list off like hundreds of Fire Emblem characters. They're all so good, dude. Okay, let me fix this. There we go. All right, looks like we got Cheerleader and Perfumer. Gotcha. Banning Gardener and Antiquarian. Makes sense. Makes sense. Sephiroth as Percy. That would be so funny. That would actually be so funny. My goodness. A three houses crossover would be awesome, yeah. I, I think I would just want like a more general one where it'd be like I don't know, you just probably have like Marth, Lucina, um Ike probably, and then I don't know. There's there's so many characters that you could put in, dude. There's so many characters. I I just don't want my Melly Lucina. I think I think that would be really cool. Because the butterfly mask. I thought it would be fitting. Cloud as mercenary, Tifa as barmaid. I could see that. Yeah, I could see that. You could have, you could have Cloud, mercenary, Tifa. Yeah, she'd probably be barmaid. Um, Aerith could be Psych. Probably Psych. Yeah, I feel like Aerith, Aerith fits Psych. Uh, Barrett, you could have him as forward, probably. Uh, or batter if they count like the bullet if they if they made like turned his bat into like a gun thing you could you could do maybe that I don't know um, you could have <laughs> Charles bro uh... <laughs> I don't know there, there's a lot of there's a lot of good ones there's a lot of good ones I still need to play more Final Fantasy and yeah Sephiroth person would be so jank but it would be really scary. <laughs> If you had a Sephiroth survivor, who would that be? I don't even know. I would say Antiquarian, but they don't they don't swap genders for for skins, I'm pretty sure. To my knowledge. 
But it would be it would be cool to see Sephiroth smacking people around. <laughs> there's a Nike cross. Yeah, there's a Nike crossover, but I'm pretty sure it was CN only. There there is also um a KFC crossover. <laughs> oh boy. There's a TikTok. What? There's a TikTok one. I, I don't know about the TikTok one. But yeah, they had a McDonald's crossover. They had they had a freaking Nike crossover. They had an Oreo crossover. My goodness, they had so many weird crossovers, and most of them are like uh, a good amount of them is CN only. The KFC Nyad skin. Yeah, the, I, I've seen the KFC Nyad skin come out in tournament. All right. No way. What a surprise, guys. Off. That's crazy. Oreo? I forget who was in it. But I, I do. I think it was like Gardner or Perfumer or something. Um, but I, all I know is that there was an, there's an Oreo emote where you, they like have an Oreo and then they take the Oreo apart and they put it up to their eyes. So it's like, haha, we have Oreo eyes. And then they just eat it. it it's pretty cute, honestly. All right. Here we go. Op moment. Four. I almost said dollar sign K. Uh, four, four K time? We'll see, we'll see. The, the best thing for the uh, for FP, FPX EQ here, the serves, is just not get 4K'd. If they don't get 4K'd, they're fine. They can get 3K and tie the set, and then once once they're done with the operas, then they can just play the rest of the set out in fairness. Baldi's Basics? What? Nah. Nah. Not in this game. Okay, let's see what we got. Standard stuff on Opera, Blink, Tension, Trump Card. We've got Bar Time, Knee Jerk on both Aeroplanist and uh, Perfumer. And then we have Tied, Knee Jerk on Cheerleader, and then Bar Time, Tied on Mercenary. So they're gonna run they're gonna run a kiting build on Charles and not Tied. Interesting. Usually we see Bar Time Tied on Charles as well. Because he's already just kind of strong with his jetpacks. I don't know. I don't know why they're not doing that because Chiller can also just reset his cooldowns if he's taking the kite. Mm, I don't know. Clerk as Baldi? Nah, I'm done. I'm done. I'm not. I'm done. Nope. 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 I'm done. I'm checking out. That's it. Stream's over. I've heard enough. <laughs> <laughs> what is that, dude? What actually is that? My goodness. It'll work. It'll work. Freaking bodies basics with what? Two, two frames of animation? Yeah, great. You're definitely gonna be able to react to that. My goodness, it's gonna be as bad as Game & Watch with Smash Bros. Already hard enough to react to it with no animations. Anyways, let's see what's happening here. Is it a mercenary? Oh, wait, we're chasing the mercenary. We're chasing the mercenary. Yes, chase the mercenary. That's what you should do if you're opera. You chase the mercenary. Oh, that was close. That was close. Oh, wait. Nope. You could just ch catch up to the mercenary. But now you're going to go after this one that can stall you out. Or not. And now you're nowhere, so you're, give you're, you're giving yourself a chance to get rotated. Uh, she doesn't see anybody over there, but does she know? Oh, but she sees the drop pallets, so she knows somebody's over here, surely. Dang, look at all these drop pallets. I guess it's for knee jerk. Okay, spots out the cheerleader. All right, it's speed versus speed. Let's see who's faster. Here we go. Beep beep now. Beep beep now. <laughs> beep beep. <laughs> Wee, pallet spammer. Yeah, pallet spam. Whoa, the blink. Blink for first hit. Yikes. Scary. Scary. <laughs> <laughs> the way she just looks at her, dude. Because the thing is, Cheerleader had to stay there and be ready for the teleport back. Oh, is she dead? Yup. Yup. My goodness. I would have just got on tram. I don't even care. Ah, eh, no, I wouldn't have gone on tram. Because I would have just died right after. Actually, getting on tram was probably harder, smarter there in hindsight. But, uh, yikes. Big yikes. Big yikes. Okay. A dude just a Kaisen crossover? I could probably see that. That, that show is really popular. Okay, well, they're losing one of their Tide users here. They definitely wanted to, uh... They definitely wanted to probably have the Perfumer take the kite, but... Yeah, if you're Opera and you see a Perfumer, just don't. Just don't bother. Uh, it, it, you, should, you should just chase anybody who can't stall and tank damage. Like, because you're so powerful as Opera, you want to chase somebody who just can't tank damage and stall. Uh, that's the whole point of Perfumer. She's just a stalling character. Which is why I don't really like her gameplay that much. It doesn't really, it's not really exciting to me. It doesn't really rely on like kiting abilities. It's kind of like, uh oh, I'm going to take a hit. Let me just press my button and then stall it out and give the hunter presents. 
I don't know. I know it's like not bad, and I know she's not the strongest character, but I'm just not the biggest fan of the gameplay. Anyway, we got Charles over here, but he doesn't have Tide. Uh, gonna try and body block here. Does actually get the body block. She either does have two beep beeps, so we will be able to use these to potentially uh, get a rebound here. And yep, gonna hear. There's the first one. Beep beep. Run, Lily, run. You got time. You got time. You got these pallets to work with, sort of. Okay. Teleport back. And just dies. Nah, she need, she needed to immediately do that. She needed to immediate vault. I don't I don't know if she immediately vaulted. Maybe maybe it would have been better to actually just beep beep. If she beep beep, she could have beep beeped all the way around, gone back in. Not not the greatest kite from the cheerleader, but again, it is an opera singer. Um, but a good try, good try there, good try, Lily. All right, and the ciphers are oof. Ooh, the, the ciphers. Um, well, those those ciphers are uh. They're there. Um, they're definitely there. What the... I feel like this is 4K with these ciphers. I mean, they do, They still do have resources. And you are chasing the mercenary, so you're eliminating the only other Tide user on the team. Oh, he's taking a hit there. Why did he vault? Why did he vault? Why did he vault? Dang, the pallet spam is real. Look at this. Oh, there's the TP. TP's onto Charles. Okay, he has hover. He has jetpacks. He can do something here. Gets the vault for the speed. But guess what? I'm opera, so I catch up instantly. Oh, hover. Now we're back over here. Don't get terror shock now. <laughs> scary, dude. Scary. All right. Oh, he actually takes that hit. Dude. Opera so fast. Actually so fast. This, this is like... Like, the way Opera is, like, getting these hits is, like, so good, dude. It's so good. Okay, vaults back around. Vaults in. And he's dead. Dude, the amount of terror shocks, dude. They need, they need that one Martha. They need that one Martha back on the team, dude. They get that Martha from yesterday. She'll just vault the pallet 20 times and still kite. Oh, boy. Okay, this is at least something good because the Cyphers have slightly climbed back up. Mercenary can get the Tide Rescue. Um, and Perfumer is... What is she doing? Oh, she must have just finished her cipher. Look at that. Uh, Perfume is about to finish all these ciphers all by herself. Look at that. It's going to have just a bunch of Vera symbols. Oh, boy. Okay. You know, Mercenary wants to come in. Oh, he's going to try and finish that cipher first. Wait, they might not even use Tide. Actually, they could end. They could Tide endgame cheese. Uh, perfume? Stalling, stalling. Okay, mercenary finishes the cipher. You can now go back after her. Oh no, she actually used it. Wow, she actually used the perfume. Okay, gonna die in a corner. Perfume isn't ready. No, nope, perfume is not ready. Perfume is now useless. Woo! She's just trying to drag away from the cipher. Yeah, just trying to drag from drag away from the cipher. That cipher is at 80. Opera knows that. She's like, oh, that, 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 that cipher kind of far. I gotta guard this thing. But they're all injured. Tide is kind of being wasted now. That was actually really good to go after the perfumer there. That was really good. Def definitely the move that you wanted to do. And now they have like no resources. TP's back. Nobody's on the cipher. They got us. Like they got to either reset or set up a new one. Yeah. Got to reset, set up a new one, or or force Opera to just like chase somebody and chair them. But nobody's even close to that cipher. They don't want to be anywhere near that cipher because that's where they know Opera is. And they are gonna, yeah, they are just gonna heal. They are gonna heal. And Mercenary's hiding in a bush. He's literally hiding in a bush. That's so goofy. Hiding in a bush in the corner of the map. They did actually heal the Perfumer, which is actually the one that you want to heal here. Uh, but spots out the Aeroplanist, so he's just gonna die. I'm pretty sure he's dead on chair. Yeah, he, he is dead on chair. It's probably, probably not great for him to get spotted out here. Um, vaults, rip, death. Oh, no, that's the Mercenary. I'm dumb. Aeroplanist is the one in the bush. I'm stupid. Okay, Aeroplanus in the bush. Mercenary is the one chilling. Okay. I see, I see. Well, Charles has set up a new cipher, although it's pretty far behind. Hopefully that 2% decoding buff will come in handy. Whoa, use that perfume. Yep, stall, 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 stalling, stalling. Woo! <laughs> Oh, boy. All right, let's see. Vault that pallet, get that speed, and they can't even work on a cypher. Charles actually has a perfume of his own. That's pretty goofy. Oh, boy. Perfume's doing a great kite here. Gets hit through the window, though. Just gets hit through the window. 
Um, they're all up. One is use self heal, but they, they gotta get on the cipher. The thing is, she can't teleport to Charles. She's teleporting to Charles. If you teleport, to no, you can't teleport to Charles. The thing is, I don't know why Airplanist wasn't just working on that cipher the whole time, because uh, all you do. Okay, this perfumer is actually kind of goaded. I can't even lie. She cut it for so long. She cut it for so freaking. Now she teleports. See, now now that she teleports, they're giving the op like th that's the thing. You're giving Opera the opportunity. Um, and then she just teleports back. Okay, wasted, wasted a resource, wasted a resource. Uh, Opera just takes this, Opera just takes it. She, she just plays it slow, patient, mercenary goes down. What, what, what was he even doing? Why was he even still in the middle? He should have ran away and hid. I'm not really sure what his plan was. Because now he has no self-heal. In fact, everybody's down. Literally everybody's down. And she doesn't know what that cipher is at, so she is forced to, uh, to chair here. But the thing is... You chair, mercenary can't get back get, get back up because he has no self heal, and then you just go after Charles. You just go after Charles now. Oh, oh, trying to bait him maybe, trying to bait him a little bit. Maybe. Are you? There's no way you're gonna chair, right? Uh, unless she thinks the cipher. Oh, she thinks the cipher might be primed. She doesn't know it's it's not primed. Oh. Okay, so now, well, now she just goes to dungeon, and just sits there and waits. Hmm. Charles could be able to get some rescues here, though. Okay, she knows where Dungeon is. But now he can get some rescues. Oh, but the TP back. Okay, he is, yeah, that's the biggest thing about Opera is the TP back, dude. The TP back. If he was able to sneak out a rescue, there was a chance. But he's at half health, no resources. If he had one jetpack, I'd say there was a chance. But he doesn't have any jetpacks. No jetpacks at all, searching around. Will he even get any? He's gonna actually rescue. He's gonna actually rescue. Uh, rescues the perfumer, and it hates perfumer. Oh boy! But at that point, now you just chase Charles, and he dies. Yeah, that's 4K. That's 4K. Yep, yep. That's it. That's it. Okay. Well, um, that's opera for you. That's opera for you, dude. My goodness. Even when she chaired both of them, she was like, well, Aeroplane has already used up all his resources. I saw him use that perfume. The only thing that would have helped him get to that dungeon would be an elbow pad, but even then, even then, I don't think it'd be enough. All right, well, good work. Good work from uh, HHDG. They kind of need that. They kind of need that 4K, especially if they're going against DX, dude. They kind of need it. But the thing is, that's that's the Opera Singer matches out of the way, so now we have to rely on getting 4Ks without Opera Singer, which can still happen, but, you know, Opera Singer is just... She's Opera Singer. She's She's broken. She's broken. Oh, what a surprise. Opera 4K. Exactly. Oh, boy. Opera Singer is so goofy. So freaking goofy. I gotta I got look at something here, though. I gotta look at something. I haven't looked at Ivy's, uh... Ivy's stats yet. I mean, I, usually I like looking at every hunter's, like, swing speed and whatnot. I'm curious to see what hers is. I think it's, like, pretty fast. Uh, yeah, that's pretty fast. Not as fast as Opera's, but that's pretty fast. And her hitbox is better, though. Yeah. Yeah, she, she it's a little bit slower than Opera's, but it's better. It's a better hitbox. Better hitbox. Dang, Ivy is fast. Her base walk seat is fast. Dang, dude. Wait, is she the fastest in the game? No, she's as fast as base walking Percy. And Anne. Okay, so she's a fast walker. Okay, movement. No, that's that's Dream Witch. Okay, yeah, they made they made her fast. She has the fastest. She has fast base walking. Interesting. Huh. Yeah, Cleric is also that fast. Okay, yeah, they just gave her fast. They just they just made her fast. That's a. Uh, that's interesting. Base walking speed is like the faster version. Because some hunters are a little bit faster. Some are a little bit slower. She is one of the faster ones. For some reason. <laughs> for some reason. Oh, boy. Uh... Oh, window. Oh. She vaults windows kind of slow, though. Oh, no, like, that's opera. Never mind. Never mind. She goes through windows fast. Bruh. Okay, opera's stunned for longer. Bruh, everything is just less than hers. But she's actually just... 
Better opera. Mm. Bad pursuit. Yeah, yeah, totally, man. Totally. I totally agree. Totally bad pursuit. Yep, totally. <laughs> Why is opera's pursuit not even max? That thing should be like skyrocketing out of the triangle. <laughs> what is this, dude? Okay. She even balloons faster than Opera. Why is she so freaking fast? Jeez, dude. That's so dumb. She literally has better base stats than freaking Opera Singer. Obviously, Opera's faster just because she can dash, but like... Like, all of her base stats are basically better. Opera's attack comes out, oh, point, oh, four seconds faster. Yeah, that's un that's not gonna, that's not un much of a difference. Not much of a difference. Her swing speed is still very fast. Like, like, Waxstar's swing speed is reactable. This one's reactable. This one, oh, that's, that's really slow. <laughs> uh, yeah, her, her, uh, Galatea's is slow. Uh, point, point three five is, uh, pretty, pretty fast. It's not the best range in the world, but it's not bad by any means. That char attack is pretty good as well. Oh boy, this this character, dude. <laughs> I've heard, I've eaten her, never heard of it. She is, um, she's really good, dude. She's really powerful. This is a scary hunter, very scary hunter. She has so many abilities. Yeah, she's gonna be hard to play, but so is uh, so is hard, so is playing against her. Uh, the thing is, like at low level, uh, you know, the, like with all these like you know tier three difficulty uh, hunters, you know, you got like wheel tier three difficulty, um, clerk is tier three difficulty, uh, mad eyes tier three difficulty. Dream Witch Tier 3 difficulty. Okay, Dream Witch is maybe a bad example, but like, you know. Or actually, no, it's a good example. All, all these all these hunters with Tier 3 difficulty, like, they're hard. They are hard, but I feel like Ivy, despite being Tier 3 difficulty, isn't that, isn't that hard. Because I feel like she's also hard to go against at low level. Maybe. Even just like at like slight, slightly above low level. It's like, Clerk, if you don't know what you're doing with Clerk, you're going to fail. Mad Eyes, he gets bullied. Trust me, like, any person just playing Mad Eyes for the first time, you're going to want to... You're, you're suffering, bro. You're actually going to suffer. Dream Witch? I don't know. I don't, I don't play Dream Witch. <laughs> I don't play that much. Wheel, same thing. He's extremely hard to control. But, like, Ivy, dude? The fact that she has, like, 10 million abilities. Can't look behind you. She doesn't see her pings anymore, apparently. That's good. Thank goodness. Are we gonna get an idea video when she comes out? Oh yeah, for sure. Any anytime there's a new character released, I'm I'm playing them day one. Well, day day one they're you know after their essence, so I guess technically day seven. But uh, you know, well, day day one they're available in the shop because unless I get lucky, I don't get them. No, yeah, Dream Witch is really hard as well. I don't I don't I've played Dream Witch a little bit. I feel like she's definitely extremely difficult, but I honestly don't know if I would say that Dream Witch is harder than Mad Eyes. Because at least she, like, has, like, some... I don't know. She, it's like, I feel like it's understandable, right? Because you set up Leech, you pinch her with Leech, you try not to hit with Leech, you try to hit with main body. And you just constantly spam your Leeches. I mean, I'm not good with her at all. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that's easy, but, like, Mad Eyes, bro, just gets bullied so hard. I feel like I feel like I could play like ten matches with Dream Witch and maybe get like one or two wins. I could play ten matches of Mad Eyes and get four escape like every time. Like he's so difficult, which is why I love that freaking Dream Player dude. From from the videos that I uh, did, like I had two Mad Eyes Sunnas. There might be another one uh, tomorrow, depending on how he does. But uh, it's so fun to watch that Mad Eyes dude. Like the speed at which he checks the consoles is insane. I don't know how he does it. You have to be good at multitasking. Yeah, no, I, I, I'm, I'm working on stuff like that. Like my hunter, my hunter gameplay is improving. Like my clerk, my clerk was just complete garbage for the longest time as well. My clerk only started getting slightly better. I wouldn't say she's good yet, but she's kind of in like her, she's in her like you know, start, starting to get there, kind of, kind of level. Ignore the build. This is just my meme build, but. <laughs> He's at the stage where I'm finally starting to understand like the basics of Clerk. 
The other thing is like the, the the bad thing about clerk with me is that once something like upsets my plan, like if I start getting harassed or something, um, I start losing track of like everything. When things follow my game plan, I can cook as clerk. But when my game plan falls apart, then I fall apart and I, I don't know how to come back. Uh, that's that's the state where I don't know how to come back from clerk. Where wait, with other characters that are simpler, it's a lot easier. Uh, that's why I played Nightwatch for so long because he's just so easy. He's so easy. Which isn't necessarily bad, but he's he's just really easy to play. Are you getting Tomie or any of the Junji Ito skins? I'm not sure. I, I don't know yet. Are they only... Does anybody know if they're fragments or just echoes? Because I've got fragments that I'm saving up, but that's this is for Composer. The, this, this, is all for, this is all for Composer right now. Composer is my biggest priority. Okay, you can't get them for fragments. Okay, well, she's an S tier, right? So I would need a lot. Uh, but Composer will also be an S tier. I don't know if I'll be able to get enough fragments. If I do my three daily ranks, max out weekly limits, uh, maybe kill some of these uh, thingies, I should be able to. Oh, speaking of which, I gotta get the Worker Bee portrait. Yeah. Yeah. Never mind. I forgot my stupid password. Okay, well, later I'll get the Worker Bee portrait. This one's cute. This one's cute. I gotta make sure I get the Worker Bee portrait for every season. Because, you know, Bee, Melly, it just works. I'll probably get the Tarantula one for every season as well. Uh, these are pretty cool. Yeah, these are pretty cool. I wonder if there's... I don't even know if it's possible, but I wonder if there's a person out there that just has every portrait frame for every tier uh, from every season. Probably not. I feel like that'd just be way too much. <laughs> I should definitely buy a cowboy. I definitely should. I, I, I theoretically, theoretically, the next two characters I should get should be cowboy and barmaid since I was gifted them, but literally missed the dates I, I misread the dates that they expired uh, thinking i would do videos on them and then i missed both of them <laughs> but i don't know if that will be the next one I, I think aeroplane is still the next server i want to get anyways it looks like they're prepping up for the uh the next one should be ready soon a painter video uh yeah eventually i mean at, at some point i'm gonna make a video on every character Especially with all the characters I just don't have yet. Gifts shouldn't expire. I mean, it's kind of my fault. They do last for 30 days. But uh, the thing was, the I think they expired during like the Chinese New Year stuff. And Chinese New Year was such a busy time. Because I, I was putting out like two videos a day during that time. I just, I couldn't, like, I didn't have the time to ever record the video. Um, what the heck? What did, What is that? What did they do to them? What, what happened to their faces? That's so jank. What the heck? Oh, that's so jank. <laughs> it's always really cool seeing how the crowd have like different little uh, little signs or whatever, like little merchandise that they have. You want to be their IRL? I feel like it'd be really fun to be their IRL, yeah. I feel like it'd be really fun. Just record claiming it and then do the video later. Yeah, I, I did that with forward. I did that with forward. I learned my lesson after that. I did it with forward because I was gifted forward. So I, I, I claimed forward like a week before I did the video because I was like, I'm not about to miss the forward gift, dude. I can't miss all these gifts. I already missed two. I can't miss a third. The silly puppet pet. Oh yeah, I forgot. It's not just the skins. Yo, yo, that's straight up. That's that's straight up priestess. He just in there. <laughs> She's just in the crowd. <laughs> Get back in the game. What the heck? No, no, no. Don't don't give me stuff. Don't give me stuff. Do not give me stuff. Dang, look at all these signs! Somebody with a gun, bro? Bro thinks he's cord? My goodness. She portaled out of the phone, yep. She portaled out of the phone so she could just watch good. It's like, I'm getting banned anyway. She, she knows she's banned anyway, so she's like, I'm just gonna watch instead. They're just gonna ban me anyway. Might, might as well. <laughs> I'll, I'll hop back in when I'm unbanned. Oh, boy. <laughs> That's so goofy. Mm. Who is the most high effort, low return character? Mad Eyes. Mad Eyes. 100% every, every, Mad Eyes. In my opinion, it's Mad Eyes. 100%. Mad Eyes, you can, you can play like a, you can play like so well and the survivors will always find a way to come back because it's just so hard. The learning curve for Mad Eyes, bro, is so hard. <laughs> At top level though, I would say 
probably a Dream Witch. But at the level that I'm currently at, like, like low mid level, I'd say Mad Eyes. It's it's different. It's different based on like what skill level, what skill tier you're at. But I, I'd say Dream Witch at top level, because at Dream Witch you have to do so much multitasking. You have to keep track of so many things, and half the time it won't even matter because the survivors are just so strong. Speaking of strong survivors, we got Antiquarian, best survivor in the game. We got Toy Merchant on Lakeside, an Officer, Solid Rescuer. This this is this is this is a good comp so far. They're they're letting Antiquarian be set up for global ban, which I get because they're probably gonna ban uh, her anyway. Toy Merchant obviously can be put on global ban because it, it's best to just global ban uh, Toy Merchant on Lakeside so you can you know prevent the prevent the ban. Oh my gosh! It's Alice! Wait, 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 wait! Wait! It's Alice! I was not expecting that! Double Rescuer? Wait, they're actually playing Alice though! Hold on! Wait a minute! Alice is back! Noelle isn't even here to bask in the glory of Alice the Boss! <laughs> oh boy. Oh, that's so goofy. I'm pretty sure Noah's probably asleep though. I I know they stayed up for a lot of these streams, but uh, I, I think they're usually asleep at this hour. <laughs> but I'm happy to see Alice regardless. Noelle's here in spirit. My goodness. Oh boy. The double rescuer though. This is interesting. This is very interesting. And it's gonna be Nightwatch. Ooh, okay, hold on. I like what I see. I like what I see. Nightwatch, Alice, Antiquarian. It was a fun team. Pretty standard bands on both sides. Hmm. Forward band is interesting. I don't know why they banned forward. Uh, no, you know what? I get it. Forward is annoying for Nightwatch. He can't really do much against forward. Forward is really annoying for Nightwatch. Hard to chase at low prez. Uh, you can't really do anything about his harassment. Yeah, no, for forwards. If you're planning to play Nightwatch, I get that. Forward is so annoying for Nightwatch. All right, here we go. Well, well, we'll go a team this time. What team are you on? Are you on Team Alice or Team Ithaqua? Let's see. I have a feeling. I, I, I have an idea of what everybody's going to pick, but you know. We'll see. We'll see. Again, I, I have no preference. I have no preference on anybody winning these sets. Uh, again, I just want to see good games. That that's the biggest thing. That's the biggest thing. Is, is if I just see if I just see some good games, I'm I'm happy. I'm satisfied. Although I do may have a slight bias toward FPXCQ because I do want to see more DX gaming, but um, we'll just have to see how it goes. You're rooting for Noel. This is actually that. That's what Noel. No, Noel's in the game. That's 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 Noel right there. They're playing Alice. <laughs> they made it into Koa. I, I totally just forgot to tell you guys. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm not sure about the Junji Ito Little Nightmares yet. I still gotta play Little Nightmares. Okay. Ooh. Teleport confined space detention. Okay, this is the build I run on Nightwatch. We've got Borrow Time Tide on both Toy Merchant and the uh, Officer. And we have Borrow Time Knee Jerk on Journalist and uh, freaking Antiquarian. Interesting stuff. So they're, they're treating uh, Toy Merchant as a Rescuer, and they're treating the Rescuer as a Kiter. Which is true. I think I think Journalist is actually not the strongest of Rescuers. Like, she's getting better with her buffs. She's been getting buffs. Um, I don't know. I'd, li I'd like to see, like, one more buff for a journalist, honestly. Like, she had a really nice one where she can swap the, uh, the, the rescue doofy into a containment doofy. But I feel like I'd like one more little buff. I don't know what it would be. Maybe just one itty-bitty more buff. Is this the insolence? Yeah, the insolence buff is out. The insolence buff is out, but I'm pretty sure it does not apply to Koa. I'm pretty sure it does not apply to Koa. You have three assignments due, but Koa comes first. Please finish your assignments, or at least try to multitask. <laughs> don't, don't. Oh wait, it's gonna be journalist. Oh, oh, be careful, dude. This is how I got memed on by a sculptor that one time, when I wasn't looking behind me, and a sculptor went uh, through small boat, and I almost got drop down hit. Okay, confined space. There's Doofy. Yo, Doofy. Oh. Oh. So we just. Okay. I, I was kind of hoping that Doofy would smack him. I know you can bait the Doof, but uh, even then. Well, goodbye, Pallets. Alice has got a transition now. Oh, here comes another Doofy. Yes. Doofy, do your thing. Bruh. 
Bruh. Oh my gosh, Alice! If you didn't have knee jerk reflex, you were getting terror shocked. My goodness. So it looks like that's it looks like that's what uh the game plan is. You just walk up to the doofy and then just set him set it down. Because a lot of time I just see Alice's. I'm probably gonna have to steal this as Night Watch. Actually, I'm gonna have to steal this. And that's all her doofs. That's all her doofs. That's literally all her doofs. That's all she's got. Oh boy. Yeah, that's. It looks like that's the counterplay to the doof. I'm gonna have to steal that. I'm actually gonna have to steal that. Because a lot of time what I'll do is I'll just wait because doof just stands there. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Di didn't he? He didn't. He didn't hit her there. He didn't hit her there because of uh. Uh, b because he wanted his wind charge, because he was using slow wind. Okay, well that's a decently fast down, but wasn't wasn't the wasn't the worst kite of all time. But yeah, that that I'm gonna have to steal that doofy trick. We just walk up, make make them drop the pallet, and then you just break the pallet instead, because then he just goes away at that point. He just literally just goes away after that. Huh? Because normally all the time it's like I'm sitting there waiting for a doofy, but if I just force him to drop the pallet anyway, it's basically just like them dropping the pallet and pallet spamming. So they get like a little distance, but at least I. Yeah, I'm gonna have to steal that. That's actually really smart. I don't know why I ever didn't think of that myself before. That's really. I feel stupid now. Anyways, uh. Why do you take like forever? Oh, oh, the catapult! Um, are you gonna die over here? Yeah, we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna die over here. Yep, die over here. Yep, die right in this very corner. He's now a full prez, though. Now a full prez. That's a bit unfortunate. Bit unfortunate. Yeah, this is before a journalist buff, so she does not, um. She does not have the uh, extra doof. She, she can't. She cannot turn the rescue Orpheus into a uh, a containment Orphe. Uh, so we will probably see. Um, or price. Uh, uh, sorry, price. Yeah, but break the catapult. Toy merchant are most likely uh, coming with tide. Why is there like static? I don't know why there's like static. That's kind of weird. Hmm. Okay, she's coming in. She's coming in. <laughs> oh, merchant's so goofy, dude. Yep, the beak suck. Go for the hit, get the rescue, and then she just dies in the corner. Yep, she's just already going to die in the corner. Oh, goodbye, Alice. Goodbye, Alice. Yep. They're getting they're getting a draw from this. They're getting a draw from this. Yep, she's just gonna chill here. The slow vaulting? Uh-huh. <laughs> the turbo slow vaulting? Oh, fast win, but just try and die in a corner. Try and die in a corner as far as possible. Yep, there we go. Say hi to Dream Witch. <laughs> oh boy. Alice didn't do bad though. She she literally did what she had to do. They're just doing the standard the standard survivor strategy of double tide. Somebody kites long enough. Like the the doofies did their job. The doofies did their job. Although they are what is the cipher at forty seven? Oh, that must be that must be big boat cipher. Okay. Night watch. I feel like he just draws this though, because you still have a lot of resources while the other characters. And it looks like um, where did Merchant's item go? Where'd her item go? She had it. She must have thrown an item at somebody. Uh, I wasn't paying attention. I'm not sure. Okay, they are setting up a new cipher. It is the antiquarian cipher. Officer is chilling here, feeding tinnitus. Don't get found out now. Yep, heading to the cipher. Okay, now, now what they do here is they go back in the big boat. Oh wait, that's merchant on the cipher. Wait a minute, I thought it was antiquarian. Never mind. Okay, antiquarian would have been better there because uh. Huh. Well, now they're just rotating far away. He has a good idea of where she wants to go. Oh, <laughs> crow moment. <laughs> oh boy, but he still has a watch. Does he even use the watch? Or does he save it for endgame? Let's see. I feel like he can just save it for endgame. You really don't need it here. He can jump over all these pallets. Um, fast win. Ooh, good fast win, but not quite enough. Not quite enough. Yep. Uh, does he teleport to Cypher? Let's see. He's gonna teleport. Hold on, wait. Don't pop it. Flick him. Hit, hit him a bunch of times. No, hit him a bunch of times. Here we go. Hit him, hit him. What are you doing? Hit him. You could have just given him like 18 free seconds of not being able to hit. I don't know why she just didn't hit him there. Okay, wait. She can kite dungeon. Alright, hit him. You gotta hit him. You gotta hit him. Come on, Anti versus Nightwatch. Baiting the swings. Baiting the swings. There's one. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, she just makes it. He didn't even... Bro, Anti's Anti's broken. Anti's broken. Anti's broken. Anti's broken. Unfortunate for Ithaca. I thought that was a draw. He freaking got 1k, bro. Alice did her job well. My goodness. Well, good good work. Uh, good work to uh, FPXEQ there. My goodness.
If I was an antiquarian though, I would just smack them all at, all in one sitting. Which maybe maybe wasn't the, the best thing, but maybe that's why she didn't smack him because she was gonna kite for dungeon. I, I thought it was just a draw. So I was like, well, you just smack a bunch of times, you basically guarantee the dungeon opens, then you just die, or uh, the gate opens rather. So yeah, that was solid. That was solid. That was solid. Buff Nightwatch. Uh, I don't know if you should buff Nightwatch. I feel like he's a pretty balanced character. Maybe a slight. I don't know. I don't know how you'd buff him without making him like broken, though. That's the thing. Like he's already a solid character. I just don't. I don't know. He feels balanced. Like he feels balanced. He feels strong and balanced to me. His hitbox is a little jank. Yeah, his hitbox is a little jank. It's not terrible. It's not as jank as like gauges or anything, but it definitely feels like sometimes you swing and people just don't get hit. Mm. Uh, yeah, I, don't, I don't know how you buff Nightwatch. Mm. I guess maybe make his early game stronger somehow. I don't even know how you make his early game stronger though. Mm. Like when, when he has fast win and he has full press, he's pretty solid. He's pretty solid. Uh, Ace card is broken as well. The thing is, you can't you can't just reduce his cooldowns. Like that's the last thing I'd want. I think I think he's balanced. I think he's honestly fine. Mm. I think he's honestly fine. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna I'm gonna like freaking refresh the stream because there's like some weird static for me. And I don't know why. It's really odd. Galatea as the next hunter. Unless somebody specializes in Galatea, I doubt that we're gonna see Galatea. Um, but if if, it, if it's oh what the yo where's that quality at, buddy? What the heck? <laughs> if it's DX up next though, we'll probably see something like uh, Geisha. I know his Geisha's broken. Geisha's pretty good on Lakeside. We we could see Geisha. We could see Geisha. They should ban up. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, if they get 4K'd, it's over. Yep, if they get 4K'd, uh, or, wait. No, that's not right. Is that, oh wait, no, if they get four escaped. No, I think it's 4K. Or is it four escape? Bro, I can't read. <laughs> I think that's four escape, then uh, HHDG wins. Right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think that's it. I think that's it. It's four escape. Okay, I'm, I'm an idiot. So yeah, if, if they need at least 1K here to continue this set, it looks like. Oh boy. What the heck? Victor the Post Malone? What? Uh, so, some, somebody would need to, like, pay a lot of money for that. I, I don't even know. Somebody need to pay a lot of money. Post Malone, dude. What would Wick even be? What would, what would Wick even be, dude? DX has been playing Lucino a lot and he's not performing well. Hmm, maybe he believes in the lizard, but I'm not sure. Have I seen the Wick fan art? I still haven't seen the Wick fan art, no. I have not seen it. I scroll through the art channel on my Discord, but the best thing to do is probably just at me if you want me to see art specifically. I, I'm fine if people at me for that. Oh, look at the little drawings. So cute. How much do I have to pay to play Little Nightmares on stream? Uh, zero dollars. I'm already planning on playing it. I just have to find a time to play it. What the heck is they wearing? They're wearing like a, what's their, what's that thing in the hood? It's like a fish or something. It looks like freaking Nemo or something. Is that like a Nemo onesie? What am I looking at? <laughs> Nemo! Pochita? Oh, is that that? Is that that freaking? That's that freaking Chainsaw Man thing, right? I haven't seen Chainsaw Man. I thought it was Nemo, bro. Oh boy, that's goofy. Yeah, that's that. That's that dog from Chainsaw Man. I know. I've never seen Chainsaw Man, but I, I have seen like memes and stuff. Dang, look at all this stuff. Look at all the look at all the signs they got. My goodness. You should watch Chainsaw Man. I um I'm not a fan of the the protagonist. 
I, I've seen I've I've seen like a little bit of it. My friends like tried to hook me on it, and it's like, yeah, I'm not a big fan of the protagonist. Mm. I, I don't know. I don't know. People are like, oh, he's so base, but I'm like, yeah, he's kind of cringe. I don't know. Obviously, I, it's probably better if I actually watch the. <laughs> Oh, Joseph with the guns, dude. That's from that one crossover. Oh, that's so funny. Jojo with the guns, dude. My goodness. But yeah, it's, uh, I don't know. I could watch it, but I don't know. <laughs> I just don't know. Uh. I, I, I've been chilling watching Bleach and um, what else? Delic Delicious in Dungeon. I finally, I finally caught up with that one too. The latest episode was really good. The animation goes hard on that freaking show, dude. It goes hard at like random times. The moment you woke up, you got into the live stream. That's dedication. Wow. Bungo Stray Dogs. Yeah, I'll, I'll probably watch it. I think anything that crosses cross over with IDV, I'll probably check out at some point in time. But it's not like a super priority or anything. Alright, DX. What do we got? What do we got? Is it going to be the Geisha? Is it going to be the Lizard? The rumored Lizard? Or is it going to be the Hellember? No Persona. Listen, only charge attacks. <laughs> oh boy. Kick his feet and giggle at shoujo anime. I don't know if I've seen too many show shoujo is usually like targeted at female audiences, right? Like young female audiences. <laughs> I think it's it's show it's show jo is like it's supposed to it's like the tar the main target audience is girls and then show nen I think is boys. I'm still kind of new to like the terminology of it all. Garner and Quinn. Okay, they're gonna just opt to. Ah, uh, global ban anti again. They just really want to have that anti on their side. <laughs> are you sure you're not a young female? Like what? What? What shows are like shown? And I don't. I haven't. Or show. Joe. Show. Show Joe. I haven't seen them. Or I. I haven't. I, I, if I've seen it, I wouldn't know if I've seen it or not. Uh. Does Hello Kitty count? <laughs> I feel like Hello Kitty's kind of just like for kids in general, though. Or it's kind of like for like a mostly targeted at kids, but like can be for all ages, like family friendly kind of thing. Sailor Moon. I I've seen like clips of Sailor Moon, but I never like actually sat down and watched it. Nah, I I don't think I've seen too many. I feel like a lot. Of, I feel like a lot of the, sh the the animes that I watch are usually focused more on like action or. Um, I, I also just like ones that are like more psychological as well. I don't know, but I feel like most of them are just action. Like, you know, they're the kind of standard like shonen stuff, like One Piece, Hunter x Hunter, Doctor Stone, that kind of stuff. I love Doctor Stone. All right, Embalmer, Gardener, Mercenary, and Antiquarian is the team. Banning Seer, Aeroplanist, Psych, and Barmaid. Banning Opera on the on the serve side. Thank goodness. Who's it gonna be though? Who will it be? <laughs> you think Dream Witch? Maybe. We could see Dream Witch. I don't. I don't know if I've seen DX's Dream Witch too much. I know he has a really good Geisha. Hmm. Geisha might not be great against this team comp though. Because Garner has Bubble, Anti has Flute, so maybe maybe you don't want to go like just standard Geisha. Ah. Yeah, I don't know. With these bands, yeah, I see it now. I see it. Yeah, Seer, Psych, Barmaid, this has got to be Dream Witch. Hmm. But they have a Bomber too. It's Egg. Egg is back up. All right, Dream Witch, Dream Witch. Meme Witch. Hellember. Ripper. <laughs> Bane. It's Banester. Never mind. It's the Bane. The Banester. All right, hold on. We we've been we've been seeing the rise of Bane, but the best hunter in the world playing Bane. This, this could be a treat. This could be a treat. This could be a treat for sure. The Banester. I'm just gonna put the Banester in all caps. That's it. The Banester. He needs to catch up. I mean, the, the survivors did really well. I think, I think a 3K evens out the score here. 
Go to the 4K. I think a 3K is all you need. If you get a 3K, you're fine. I'm pretty sure. Then, then that draws it up. Do you think we'll see Bane on the stages? You mean like in global finals? I think most likely. But with how with how much he's been uh being played, I can only assume. P -p 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 Peepers? 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 Peeper detention trump card. We've got full kite build on on um embalmer flywheel and borrow time on gardener. And it's carrying borrow time tied on mercenary, but um, peepers, peeper bane, for what though? To break tight kiting? Is that it? Is that the re? Because peepers, peepers kind of counter tight kiting a little bit. It'll probably make it easier for him to hit his hooks as well if they're behind certain things. Lakeside, I won't lie, Lakeside, it's kind of hard to see on. I won't even lie. This this could cook in theory, but that's that's in theory. How does it actually perform in game, though? That's the question. Peeper, Peeper Bane goes crazy. I mean, maybe. <laughs> it really said peep this. All right, we got. I think this is Koa Bainster. Here we go. Yeah, here we go. We're, we're schmoving right from the start. Schmoving, schmoving, schmoving. Oh, who do we? Oh, we find Anti first. Oh, trap. Yup, yup. Set up these traps. Set up these traps. Beautiful. Peeper, Peeper. I see you. I'm the Bainster. She she can't she can't vault. Wait, she can flip. She can flip. She flips to avoid it. Oh, Auntie's broken. Auntie's broken. Anybody else, dude? Anybody else? Dang, dude. The predictions. All right, there's the first hit. There's the first hit, and she's going back into big boat. She's going back into big boat. You still can't vault. You still can't exit out that at one area. The peeper is here. Oh, kind of mess messing up, messing up, running into walls. Oh, that's so un that's so unfortunate. That's so unfortunate. She was looking behind her. That's the thing about Bane. Oh man. See, this is this is this is. Oh, and it's basement too. Ooh. Ooh boy, this is that. That's the yeah. thing is thing is she's looking behind her to dodge the hook. So you run into the freaking thingies. That's why you gotta play listen, listen, no persona, no cameras, Joseph and walk backwards at full presence so you can, you know, memorize the map and walk backwards and know where exactly everything is. I'm joking, by the way. <laughs> the trap actually does disappear. Yeah, okay, I, I didn't know if it was in range, but the trap does disappear. Um, he's just gonna, he's gonna try and go for drop down, drop down, drop down, drop down, drop down. Nope, misses drop down. Just hit her, yeah, just hit her at this point. No, it still was drop down, this still was drop down. Get some extra presence, hit her again. Oh, 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 oh. Wait, can you set a trap down? Nah, she does make it over there. Drop down hits again. Hit her again. Just hit her again. Oh, misses the next hit, though. Wait, no, he did get it. He's a full press now. Where are you going? High key, just leave her in the corner and just st drop a peeper. <laughs> That'd be funny. Okay, okay. Well, they're doing this strategy that they need to do. Um, and they didn't cough on her for some reason. I don't know why they didn't cough on her. Oh, they, they probably wasn't. Yeah, the embalmer didn't have her face. That's why. That's why. Okay. Now you're going to head up to the embalmer. Oh, oh mercenary is here. Hiya, Merc. Hiya, buddy. Peeper moment. And hook. Oh, the traps, the trap. Dang. So that's not that's not in the range, but the other one was. That's crazy. All right, careful now. Oh, he, he can't even rescue. Can't even rescue. Can't even rescue. Yeah, Bainster. He's cooking. He's cooking. Get him with the hook. Get him with the hook. Oh, hook's not going to be on cooldown. No, hook's not on cooldown yet. Bro, that hook is not on cooldown. Oh, rest in peace. Rest in peace. Drop peeper. Nope. Drop trap. Uh, uh. Hey, just get him. Just hit him. Yeah, there you go, Bainster. There you go. Thing is, if he hook, if he hooks him, he just hits him. Then there's no, there's no freaking delayed damage. Yup, here we go. You gotta land this hook, Bainster. You gotta land this hook. Come on now. Hook, hook. Ooh, the pallet stun. Ooh, very good. So this mercenary is actually doing really well. Okay, sets so up the trap here. Gonna have to force him to come out somewhere else. Is it trap time? Is it trap time? Or, or, or uh, freaking hook time? Hook time. Oh! Oh! Get predicted! But I don't know if this is enough. I don't know if this is enough for a 3k. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, okay. You're gonna chair on the cypher. That's good. This could be This could be what you need. Oh, this actually is what you need. Chair on that cypher. Yup. 
but they're gonna just try to immediate rescue maybe to yeah drop peeper bubble okay no bubble no bubble oh waste the bubble because he knows the rescue would happen anyway forcing people off the cypher he still has trade he could like abnormal or something all right hook isn't up yet hook is not just basic hit yeah basic hit basic hit okay good 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 if you can make him waste his coffin, that would be great. You're forcing him off the ciphers. Yeah, make it, make him waste the coffin. Yes, yes. Come on, Bainster. You got this, buddy, I believe. Just walks on through. No cares in the world. Takes takes the hit from it, though. Takes that hit from it. And now, now, now we're just kind of M1 here. Charge attack. You'll hit him. Never mind. He has, fly, he has flywheel. Can't react to that, bro. Can't react to that. <laughs> Cannot react to that. Okay, will he actually even use his coffin here? I don't know. The coffin's like right there, so maybe not. Maybe not. Um, still is only using peepers. Never mind, there's the TP. Just opts the TP. Waste, he does waste the coffin though. Oh, Garner's dead. What, what the? Oh, the flywheel, the flywheel. Bubbles primed. Oh, nice, nice. Good work, good work. Trap, trap. She doesn't get in that trap? No way. That, that should have popped bubble at least. Oh, she's dead. She's dead. She's dead. She's dead. See ya. But the cypher should be ready. They've all seen the chair. At this point, they've all seen the chair. Hmm. And Balmer, it has to be mercenary to come in here. Wait, this could be dangerous. If he if he spots him out early, they won't be able to rescue. Because then Balmer has no BT, so it's not like he can go in. He did waste the coffin. He can 3k this. He can definitely 3k this. He spots him out. He spots out mercenary. He sees mercenary. He sees him. He sees him. He sees him. He can't rescue. He can't rescue. Boop. And... Oh, we're extra away. We're super waiting. We're, so, we're giving me a chance to go. We got the rescue. No, keep him away. Keep him away. Yeah, you have to pop. Have to pop. Have to pop. Have to pop. Okay. And now you can kill. I guess you kill Embalmer. They can, they can. They can draw this. They can draw this. Oh boy. Like if they get the rescue. Oh boy. No, he he surely just three Ks. He surely just three Ks. There's no way. Yeah, there's no way. Okay, he knows where mercenary is. Now he goes back for Embalmer. That's that's perfect. That's actually beautiful. Because he he because he used the hook on mercenary earlier. He can he can get the little effect. So now he knows where mercenary is. He goes back for Embalmer. He knows Mercenary can't make that rescue in time, so he just goes for Embalmer, and he gets his 3k. Boop! And Flywheel. Waiting for it. Beautiful stuff from the Bane. Wait, his teleport's up. His teleport's up. He TPs! He TPs! Oh, Bane! It's a 4k! There's no way! Oh, he still has, he still has sights on him! He still has sights! Oh my gosh. Hook! Come here, buddy! You're not going nowhere! Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. He actually gets the foot. Well, I mean, he has to go find him bomber. But with Mercenary's long chair time, he's got plenty of time. He knows where he is. Oh, there's a chance he makes it. But I, I doubt it. I doubt it. I doubt Embalmer even has a chance. Oh, he knows. He knows. He knows. He has tinnitus. He knows. He's going to lose tinnitus any second now, surely? No, still has tinnitus. Okay, now, now he knows. Now he knows, surely. He doesn't? Bro, pay attention to tinnitus. He's going to the dungeon. Going to the dungeon, okay. All right, yeah, okay, this, this is a safe option. Yep, just, just put a bunch of traps. Put a bunch of traps, put a bunch of traps. My goodness. Wait, he's on the, he's going for the gate. Does he make the gate? Wait a minute, he actually might make the gate. He knows where he is, he knows where he is now, he has crows. But Bane catches up. Oh, can he make it there in 20 seconds? Hook? He's coming, he's coming. He's on his way. He makes it. He definitely makes that. Huh? Come here! <laughs> oh, that's so funny. That's so funny. <laughs> he just gave up before he let him hit him. Oh, that's so funny. That's so funny, dude. Oh, that's so funny. The Bainster 4K. Beautiful, dude. Beautiful. Oh, that is beautiful, dude. That's, that's so funny. He just, he just gets hooked and is like, nope. I give, I give. Oh, that's so funny, dude. That was actually so smart from DX because, like, both people were back in that little corner and they only really had, like, one way to go. They only really had one way. Yeah, the, the peepers actually kind of helped there. The peepers actually did did help a little bit. My goodness. And now FPXCQ 
has a two point lead? No. Four point lead? I don't know what a lead they have, but they have they do have a lead. They have a two kill lead. Whatever two kill lead is, I think a two kill lead would be four points. Um but it, it'll show us the stats in a second. Look at that containment time. Dang, dude. Antiquarian. 35 seconds. 35 seconds. Best survivor in the game, by the way. Best survivor in the game. Only a 35 second kite against a Bainster. That's actually crazy. That is actually crazy, dude. My goodness. Peeper Bane better than Opera. It's just it's the rise of Bane. He, he's he's been he's been like just on the rise so much recently. My goodness. Yeah, that that's that's Bane's in the hands of the best hunter in the world right there. Most likely. <laughs> but that we still have round three. FPXEQ does have the lead. But it's not it's not over. It's not over yet. It's not over until it's over. Bane counters anti in a way. Yeah, I, I know that. I know that. Um or at least a little bit. I mean it still is antiquarian, but like he can still hook you while uh while you're stunned. So you you can still get some damage off and keep her close so she can't transition too hard. So it is something, but even then. <laughs> Peeper Nightwatch. Bro, Peeper Nightwatch is so goofy, dude. It's so good. I've tried it. I don't like Peeper Nightwatch. I know it's supposed to be good for like eliminating tight kiting, but like when they transition, especially early game peepers are sucks. It does you it gives you like nothing, dude. Because people just transition, they just wait for your win on cooldown, then they just transition, then you can't do anything. Oh boy, dude. Yep, four point lead. Four point lead, yep. Mm. Yeah, they, they really needed that. Uh, They really needed that freaking 4K. Yeah, because I think a, a, a 3K would have been a draw here, right? Because then they'd get three points. Then we get one. Uh, math. I think I actually have a lead. Whatever. <laughs> I think that would have. I think it'd be nine to eight. So they still have a lead, but not that now they have a really solid lead here by four points. So I think at this point, um, with this with this lead, I think they need like a four K. And then I guess it, I guess it, I think it's either 3K or 4K on a HHDG side, and then like a 1K or a 0K on the other side. So it's not it's not looking great for HHDG, but you know they can come back. They can come back for sure. It's raining so hard where I live. It, it, I had a lot of rain like a while ago. I think la like last weekend it was raining so hard. It's been really cold the last few days as well. It hasn't, it hasn't snowed or anything, but it's been really cold. So freaking cold. Okay, now we got some highlights. We got some highlights. Wish it was raining. I love the rain. I absolutely love the rain. Rain, rain is like so peaceful for me. It, it's so calming. Rain is absolutely so calming. Yeah, if that was my antiquarian, I would have just smacked Nightwatch a ton right there. I would have just smacked him a ton. And look at that, he's, he's like looking out for the stuns, but she she didn't even stun. She didn't even stun there, dude. That's so goofy. Oh, boy. I thought it was going to be a draw, like, right around at this point, because the Cyphers were climbing. But then he just came, he just came back. Because he, he chaired on the, like, the chair, chairing on the Cypher, dude, is so broken. I cannot, I cannot stress enough how broken chairing on Cyphers is. It's so busted. Like that that is my biggest tip for you as like hunter. I'm not like, you know, good at hunter or anything. That <laughs> doesn't even show us a surrender. That that's the biggest tip I guess I have for any like new hunter players. If, if you can, don't chair on the nearest chair. Chair on a cipher if you can. If if you bring giant claw even to like chair on cyphers, that's that, that could be even better. Chairing on cyphers is so busted, bro. Cuz it it literally forces them off the cipher to force them to not only either instant rescue if they're bad uh, or just like, you know, kind of stay in the area and just not be on the Cypher. It pauses Cypher progress and it pauses Cypher Rush, which is, you know, it kind of plays the biggest, you know, the biggest thing that survivors have, which is Cypher Rush. Am I going live? 
Yes, yes, I think I am live. What? <laughs> oh boy. Snow is so annoying. It could be annoying, yeah. I love snow though. I think snow is so pretty. Am I going to be playing duos? Uh, in between sets, yes. In between sets. But the set is not over yet. The set is not over yet. Sharing at Cyphers is almost impossible in high tier thanks to area selection. Good yeah, yeah, no, that's true. That's true. But you know, it's not impossible. It's, it's usually just more like, oh, if a person kites toward the Cypher, it can be really good. But you know, so, some hunters will carry Giant Claw so they can, you know, push, push to dungeon and whatnot. Uh, for those who don't know, Giant Claw reduces the struggling speed and I absolutely freaking hate Giant Claw. I hate it so much. Because so many times, I've been at like 99% struggle. And I swear Nyad's always carry it. Where is it? I forget where it is. Uh, where is Giant Claw? I don't know where it is, actually. It's somewhere around here. <laughs> somewhere around here, right? Addiction. Control free, giant this one. Yeah, I hate this, dude. See, like even even just one little bit of struggle of this is so annoying, dude. It's so annoying. I hate Giant Claw. This this is this is what people bring when they want to drag you into basin and whatnot. If you if you ever seen like if you ever bring like you know max struggle on the survivor persona, which by the way most of the time you should, because uh, struggling is broken. It, uh, that's why you should always bring like max struggle to like just try and make it so you don't get basemented. But if the hunter has giant claw, then just good luck because you're never struggling free. Giant claw is so busted. I play with giant claw only. Yeah, I'll, just, I'll just chair on the other side of the map at that point. Oh boy. Okay, three stacks of giant claw. Man, I, I hate giant claw so much. But yeah, for my for my default, I just I have max struggle. Cause it, it's it's so good when a when a hunter tries to get greedy and put you in basement and you can struggle free. It's so good. I wish I had enough to get max snooze as well. Like if it, my optimal build would almost always be like borrow time flywheel struggle and snooze, so I can sit on the chair longer. That's that's my optimal build, but I don't have enough for it. I guess I could get rid of these two things, but um, I, d I need these because uh, I, I suck at pallet mind games, so I need to drop pallets faster. Because I'm so bad at pallet mind games. Give me my rank treasure. Yippee, mammoth. <laughs> oh, mammoth treasure, bro. I'm not super crazy about the rank SS's this time, but if I get forwards, I'll be cool with that. I'd be cool with forwards. Always carry snooze on Garner. I carry snooze on my rescuers. I think that's what I have on my jersey. I've been playing journalist in rank. Um, I actually did a really good. Uh, I had a really good. I had a really good match earlier. Hold on, let me see. I think I saved it. I can probably show it real fast. I did save it. Yeah, I did say. Okay, I had I had a match um, against the Will Brothers on Arms Factory. But th they, uh, there was one. There's only one really good thing that I really liked about this. There's one really good thing, and that was because uh, my teammates they pinged when Cypher Machine was prone to let me know when Blink was up, and then right as that happened, I got I got Doofy to block the Blink for me. Um, so I'm just gonna like zoom ahead here. Yeah. So uh, yeah, I just do standard, you know, breaking wheel, kiting stuff, run an open area. I don't know why I still have this. Hold on, let me mute this. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I just try to like just avoid things, set up Doof, and walk around back into Doof. He hits Doof. I think it was like right around here when they were like, yo, Cyber Machine Prime, bro. So he's coming around here. Yeah, there's a Cyber Machine Prime. So I'm like, okay, well, now Blink is up. So I just do this. I'm scared about Blink. I'm like, eh, if I'm here, if I'm, if I'm Blink right here, boom. Blinks, and I block it with Doof. I block it with Doof. And that that was basically it. And then, and then from that, we got a Forest Gate because... Yeah, because <laughs> he, well, he lost his blink and then he actually does get me down. I think like pretty soon after I think I die in a really dumb way Yeah, I think it was like up over here. I, I set down doof and I'm like man I'll totally be safe, but he gets a really good trap and I get hit by it. Yeah, that was just a really good trap That was pretty obvious, but I didn't really have too many other locations to go to so I just kind of died And then he just smacks doofy, which is funny <laughs> But yeah, we still got a forest gate from that. I think he actually uh, I think he just surrendered at the, in the middle, but uh, you know, I, I've been practicing my journalist, but anyway, my journalist does actually have a uh, snooze because she already has she already has a good uh, chair. She already has an extended chair time for ten seconds, right here. 
Uh, or was it here? Yeah, right there. But I do have, uh, I don't have max news. I thought I had max news. Probably should have max news. Eh. Eh. Yeah, I think I just wanted this for like the extra paladin because I'm still bad at this. So I just put some snooze, healing, self heal, and then just tide borrowed. I don't know. I like I like stacking snooze on characters that already have long chair times. Um, I don't know. I think it's nice, especially if you get chased first. So it's like, oh my gosh, I'm the rescuer. I have tide, but I also have snooze, so I can just chill on the I can just chill on the chair for a bit, you know. It's nice, it's nice. Even It's nice as like a, oh man, I'm bad at the game, but I have snooze, so I buy some extra time for my teammates. Okay, here we go. Bro, can they stop with this static stuff? It's so annoying. I'm pretty sure it's just the stream. It's not like a thing on my end. Anyways, we're banning Opera Singer and we're banning the Banester. Okay, but it is Moonlit and we know that uh, DX does have a Geisha here. We might see the Geisha come out. Banning Seer, banning Priestess. Yep, that's how we saw that Priestess out in the uh, out in the crowd because she knows she's banned. All right, hold on. Wait, I love this combo. I love this combo. Cheerleader Aeroplanist. I want to see him fly. I, I say it all the time. It doesn't really happen too often. But I really want to see Charles fly with Hover and use two jetpacks thanks to Cheerleader because it's so goofy, dude. It is so goofy when it happens. Forward? Wait, wait. If they go melee, this will be my ideal, my one of my favorite comps. The comp that won freaking IVL or whatever. Or what, some tournament. No, I don't think it was IVL. I forget off the top of my head. Barmaid ban. Hmm. Merc and Barmaid. Dream much on Moonlit. I don't know. Play Melly. 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 Weeping Clown. Duco. <laughs> oh, boy. It was IJL? Oh, that's what it was. That's right. It was, it was IJL. Okay, okay, I'll take that, I'll take that, I'll take that. Mike Gaming! I'll take that, I'll take that. I'll take that. If not Melian, I'll take Mike Gaming. This, can still, this is still good, though. Cheerleader can work with all three of these characters. She she has good, she has good synergy with all three of these characters. Aeroplanist is a good rescuer. Forward is, you know, harassing, and Mike is just Mike. He's the good all-rounder, good kiter. Oh, boy. But who 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 is the hunter? Who will the hunter be? It's so funny that they only have a single person on face cams, bro. <laughs> they must feel so lonely without their team right there, dude. They must feel so lonely. <laughs> Leo! Hit him with the listen. No persona. Chart attack only. Leo gaming! Oh boy. Is it Geisha? Do we see Geisha? Is it Dream Witch? It's Dream Witch. It is gonna be the Dream Witch. Okay, the Barmaid Band does make sense there, yeah. But I feel like this team can can handle a Dream Witch. They can all get distance. If you can establish distance, that's so good. I mean, they do get they do die to like the. Uh... Actually, I don't know. You could you, you could you'd waste forward ball. Mike can get distance. Honestly, all these characters can just they can just you know they can get distance as long as they don't get uh pincered. This this could be kind of rough. I feel like. All right, let's see. Right, let's get the poll up here. Meme witch 4K. Let's see. Let's see. I kind of wish I was gonna watch a geisha instead, but well, we'll see how this goes. We'll see how this goes. She actually is not spawning at fourth. It looks like. We still don't get to see like the actual spawns. Unfortunately, I wish we did. They just do that freaking. VR spawns. Okay, so we got patroller detention trump card. Pretty standard stuff. Yeah, pretty standard stuff. Borrowed time tied on aeroplanist and borrowed time flywheel on both forward and cheerleader. Borrowed time knee jerk on Mike. Okay. Pretty standard stuff, honestly. Pretty standard stuff. The the two harassing characters do have their flywheels. That, that's kind of what you want. Okay. Let's see how this goes. No insul insulin stream witch? What? <laughs> we don't really see that too often. Oh boy. Faxi definitely didn't know about me. I love cowboy. No way. No way. Impossible. There's no way. And I like Melly. No way, dude. That's crazy. <laughs> I gotta go drink something? I can drink some water. Whoa, I think I've seen this skin before. This is a cool skin. Very spooky, very red. It's not Tomie once again. Opting oh, wait. Oh. Opting to chase the Tide character. Huh. 
Wait a minute. Wait. Oh, I thought we were pressuring two characters for a second there. Okay, you can probably get rid of his hover pretty early. High key. Let me see. Let me. Chile already use up a beep beep. What the heck? Oh, she must. Have, she must. She must have been so far away. She probably beeped you to the side. Okay. Chile, refresh it. Refresh it. Refresh it. Chile. Refresh his cool. Mm, okay. I'm not mad. He already used up his hover, bro. I want to see hover. You know. Uh, doesn't actually get on the coaster. He's gonna take a hit here. Oh! Oh, Charles! Come on, Charles. Charles Gaming, Charles Gaming. Mike is here, Mike is here. Don't vault that. Ooh, okay, leech it, leech it, leech it. Okay. They're losing their tide here, though. This is kind of huge. And then we just see Patroller, surely. Main body Patroller. Patrolier. Yo, forward. Eat, the, eat Jerry for him, eat Jerry for him. Eat Jerry. Oh, forward harassment potentially. Let's see. Oh, he's gonna stun, he's gonna stun. Boop! Beautiful. Beautiful. Forward stunned so that they, they can't just immediately hit him. Oh, that's so good. Charles is chilling up there, chilling up there, yup. Hey, 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 hey! You wasted so much ball for nothing, buddy! Yo! Yo, Ryuji wasted like so much ball for nothing! That was so risky. That was way too risky, bro. That was way too risky. Charles was fine. He was fine. Now you have no ball. Oh, boy. He was fine, dude. He didn't need your help. Uh, and down he goes. Well, okay. That was kind of interesting. Um... I'm not really sure what was up with that. They do finish the Cypher. Mike Gaming Cypher has been finished. But the Cyphers are a little slow because they keep getting off their Cyphers. Okay. Picking him up. Dragging over here. He does, does have one jetpack to potentially rebound with. But again, they're losing their Tide here. They are losing their Tide. Which is a little scary. Forward is coming in. Does have flywheel and not much ball left because he decided to freaking waste all of it for no for no reason, literally no reason. Flywheel. Oh, that sucks. That sucks. That's a very unfortunate flywheel. Does cheerleader take the hit? Here she is. Oh. Okay. Okay. All right. Here we go. We got some cheers. We got some cheers. Dude, she said, "Shut up, cheerleader." My goodness. Does not have to deal with that at all. My goodness. Leeching the cheerleader too? Oh boy. <laughs> Poor Lily was just like, you got this! You got this! She was like, shut up! <laughs> oh boy, this is, yeah, that's Zeus IDV you're playing freaking for Dream Witch, bro. Cheerleader's number one hater, my goodness. Oh, he's trying to de-leech, trying to de-leech. We could see a shot to- oh no, I can't see a shot to blink. Yeah, it's not ready yet. We might see a- well, we could see a shot to blink. In five seconds. Stop to blink, stop to blink. Maybe, maybe. Oh. Oh, yes, let's go. Charles Gaming. Okay. That was a charge attack, too. All right, Lily, get that guy out of there. Swap blink, swap blink. Oh, she's getting pincered. Beep, beep. Beep, beep. Oh, she's slow. Blink. Yeah, there it is. Oh, but the flywheel! The flywheel! That was a beautiful flywheel. The, the ciphers are still slow, though. Oh, rip. Rest in peace, rest in peace. Okay, are they, like, doing something to their aeroplane? Are they healing? Are they, what are they doing? I think they're healing him? Uh, somebody's over there. They have blink, they have blink! Blink, 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 blink. Why? You know she has blink now. Oh my gosh, this is a 4K. Look at this, dude. Somebody's down. So, no, nobody's on a okay one person's on it's charles charles is on a cypher bro but the damage is done it's so over at this point it's so over it's actually so over my goodness it is so over yeah pick up joker persona 5 put him in a chair i think i think that's just it I think I think if they get 4k, I don't think there's any way from the, yeah, honestly if this is 4k They can't come back. They actually can't come back. It'll, it'll the set will just end right here My goodness, they were not ready for this dream witch. They were not ready for this dream witch Chasing the aeroplane was so good because you eliminate the tide My goodness here he is Can he, He's gonna finish this. He's gonna get greedy. Doesn't even, doesn't even finish the cypher. Doesn't even finish the cypher, man No, oh, oh Never mind, he does finish the cypher. Okay. But she's here. Oh! The flywheel? And dies anyway. That's it. That's the game. 
That's the game. That is the game. Because now you can bleed out the forward. You can chase arrow players with no resources. That is the game, dude. That's the game. I feel like a lot of mistakes are made in this game, but I don't even know where it fell apart, really. I feel like the forward using his ball, missing the flywheel. I don't think it was all the forward's fault. I mean, I think it was a lot of it. The blink? <laughs> Yep, there we go. FPXEQ is the winner. All right. They are indeed the winner. I am a little hyped with that since we can still see some more, uh, you know, future DX gaming. But even then, good, good, work, good work from both teams. That was a fun set. That was a really fun set. But yeah, that, that, was, uh, that was kind of a rough game for those survivors. My goodness. At the start of his career, he DX was a Geisha and Dream Witch main. Okay. I, I, just, I just remember seeing his Geisha games. His Geisha was crazy. Actually crazy. Yeah, the four, the four definitely could have done better. Um, the aeroplaneness. I, th I think, I don't know if, I feel it's like a bunch of maybe like a lot of little small things. I feel like it wasn't necessarily the survivors being bad. I think it was just DX being really good with Dream Witch. Just really, really good with Dream Witch. But yeah, that's the first set. GG's good work to FPXEQ. They will continue on. I'll probably be one to qualify as well because they got, you know, quite a strong team there. Okay, now let's let's do our silly little uh, duo hunters now. People want our silly little duo hunters. Let's go on. Um, we just saw a moonlit game. Let's go on moonlit. Let's go on moonlit river park. While I set up my next little uh, notes here. Where did I get the name Zizov G from? Uh, it's uh, it, it's it's literally kind of dumb. People are always really interested when they hear the name, and then I tell them, they're like, that's stupid. Um, there, there, there's a good example in one of my Q&As that's probably time-stamped, but um, basically, it's a, it's a YouTube version of... Uh, it's, a, it's a YouTube pooped version of Zeke Von Gembu from Xenoblade Chronicles 2, uh, where you take the first parts of his name, cut it in half, then reverse it, and so Zeke Von Gembu becomes Z's Vav uh, Geeg. And then one time I was playing uh, Jackbox with some friends and I wanted to put in the, the meme name of uh, Zizov Geek, but it wouldn't fit, so it became Zizov G. That's the origin. It's really stupid. <laughs> it's really dumb. But I just kind of stuck with the name. And I kind of like it now. Okay, getting my notes set up for the next thingy. Are there any survivors that are free today? Drink something? I just, I just had a sip of water. Dang, no survivors are free that I don't have, or don't already have, that is. My goodness. All right, I'll play, uh, hmm. How much time do I have to decide? 10 seconds. Hmm. I'm gonna play Freddy Riley. <laughs> I haven't played Lawyer in a minute, so I figured why not. Actually, wait, what is my build on? I think my build is a uh, knee jerk? Knee jerk borrowed, I think? I forget. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what I have on my freaking build form, dude. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna boost the music just a little bit. You guys can let me know if it's too loud. All right. Oh, dang, what the heck? I'm about to get memed on. I'm about to get shmemed on. All right, so I don't know if you're stream sniping me, but I know I can stream snipe you in return. Don't find my trail, bruh. <laughs> bruh. Oh, he's zooming. He's already caught up. Oh my, what the? Dang! Sheesh. Oh, I messed up. I messed up my movement. I messed up my movement. Freddy Riley, take the hit transition. Wee, wee, stun him. <laughs> uh, let me actually get off uh, from over here. He totally saw that. <laughs> That's not gonna juke him, bro. That's not juking him. My goodness. That's not juking him anytime soon. Yeah, it's kind of hard to juke Fool's Gold. His hitbox is really good. It's not not exactly the easiest character to juke. See ya. <laughs> yeah, I've got Nujerk on this character. I should probably I like I like my flywheel better. 
who, who's creature, bruh? Oh wait, I can actually use my knee. Wait, why'd you give me an owl? I'm clearly fine. Hello? Okay. Let me use the boost. Oh, I missed those elbow pads. My bad. <laughs> Somebody left a gift for me and I didn't even accept it. My goodness. Okay. I'm kind of running low on map. But I got my I got my speed buff. Bruh. Yo! Oh, he found me. He found me. Bro found me. Bro found me. I hate that, dude. I hate that as Hunter. I hate that as Hunter. Oh my gosh, it's so cheesy. It's so cheesy, bro. It's so cheesy. It's actually so cheesy, bro. Okay, he's right there. Is he trying to, like, red light trick me? What is this? Oh my goodness. Freddy Riley, let's go. Freddy Riley, let's go. Yeah. Oh, I thought I would have had enough speed, honestly. I thought I had my... Oh, was my knee jerk not ready? I guess I just wasn't fast enough, huh? Why are we all here? Why are, Why is like five of us here? All right, I'm just gonna crawl away from basement. Oh boy. <laughs> stream sniper? I don't think you stream sniper. I think you're just good. It, it didn't look like stream sniping to me. A stream snipe would have been like, oh, I lost him, and then he just found me for no reason. Oh no, enchantress, you stun. You stun when I get picked up. He doesn't have excitement, so that's when you stun. Dang, my stuff feels taking forever. What is this? What is this? No? I guess it's just the panic, huh? Okay, I um, guess I'm just dying here. <laughs> Look at the Norton, bro. <laughs> oh, Enchantress. Um, all right, Nort. Yo, what is Creature doing, bro? I'm not, oh my gosh, I almost used my self heal. That was really stupid. It's primed. Dang. Okay, he drops, but my self heal, my self heal though. If, if I could just get a tap on my self heal, that's all I need. Nord, hey, let's go. Now I just get hit, don't I? Oh, it wasn't me. All right, set up flashlights. Give me those elbow pads. Yeah. <laughs> oh boy. Oh sheesh. Please don't elbow pad into. I do this all the time, bro. I hate when this happens. I hate elbow padding right there, bro. I really do. Bro. <laughs> I hate using elbow pads there, bro. Uh, it happens every time. It happens every time, bro. It actually happens every time. Uh, it happens every time I try to use elbow pads in, in this area. I literally fall into basement every time. What about basement cube? Uh, basement cube is really good, but against fool's gold, he just throws a pickaxe at it and I lose. Oh boy. Oh boy. Down I go. <laughs> My goodness, I didn't really have too much to work against with Fool's Gold from the start. I am just Freddy Riley, but I don't think I did too bad, honestly. I don't think I did too bad, but yeah, Fool's Gold just—I can't basement cube run it because it's just—he just throws it, he just throws a freaking axe at it. So basement cube is unfortunately kind of useless, as much as I love basement cube. Look at it; it's so cube shaped, and it's not really a cube; it's more of a rectangle. But I like calling it a cube. But it's—it's it's a good—it's a good cube. Hey, what's up? Hey, Creature Pearson. <laughs> Why is he so goofy, bro? Creature is such a... His mouth makes you so uncomfortable. How does he even... <laughs> Not that one. That's the last one I want to see. Oh, boy. All right. Uh, it's going to be pretty hard to get out of this basement. High key. Oh, not the litter, bro. Not the litter. The bees? I... Oh, dear. All right. Uh... How am I supposed to get out of this? Can this ice go away? Oh my gosh. Please! Th when did this ice go away? Oh my gosh. He has attack pill. And he's going after thief? I literally- I can't do anything. I'm stuck. I literally can't leave. I can't leave. I literally can't leave. I'm just dead. There's nothing I can do. I literally can't leave. <laughs> Buddy? <laughs> Buddy, <laughs> go in the locker. Uh huh. Have I been spared? Have I been spared of this terrible fate? He's he's gonna he's gonna. Oh, here comes creature, I guess. Huh. 
Well, now I try to escape, right? This is when he just instant pickaxes and I die. Oh, am I being spared? I can't even tell if I'm being spared or not. I can't tell. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm going for it. I don't even... Okay, he did try to kill me. Never mind. Okay, that was jank. How the... How the... How? How do you know? Dang. Oh, you got speed pill. That's speed pill. Never mind. Uh-huh. Where is everybody? Where, where, where is everybody? Hey, 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 creature Pearson. How's it going, buddy? Hey, yo, what's the creature hate for? What's all this creature hate for? What is this? Wait a minute. I can pop after this. Oh my gosh, it's primed, isn't it? Isn't it? It is primed, right? Uh, somebody said it was primed. Is it not primed? Oh my gosh. Why then? Bro, there's two hunters here. How am I supposed to literally do anything? Uh, bro. <laughs> How am I supposed to do anything when they're both here? Oh my gosh. I could have at least tried to mind game the power, but not with violence on the other side. Oh boy. I played like the entire game in this area. My goodness. Uh, dang. He just waited. False hope. Yeah, it's lawyer and creature, bro. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Honestly, die. Freak you, creature. Die. I hate thief. Oh my gosh. Oh, the excitement is crazy. The excitement is actually crazy. He's so fast. He's actually so fast. I can't do anything. He has speed pill. He actually has max pills, bro. I can't do anything. He's power pill. It's, it's a, a freaking attention or. Recovery pill, speed pill. Look at that! That's so fast! He's so fast! No wonder I couldn't do anything, bro. He has max pills. Jeez. All I have is my 3.5% speed buff. <laughs> oh, boy. What is this? What is this? Oh, my gosh. I'm not decoding this gate. Put me in the chair. Put me in the chair. I'm not decoding it. I refuse. I got help from a thief this game. I refuse. Put me in the chair. In the chair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. Come on. Come on. What if I just... What if I just... Uh, I'm gonna die eventually. There we go. Okay, now put me in the chair. <laughs> the chair. The chair. The chair. The chair. The chair! Where are we going? The chair? Goodbye? The chair. Bro, I can't escape. I had help from a thief. A rotten, dirty thief. <laughs> Yo, put me in the chair. There's one right there. Come on, put me in. No. The chair. The chair. Oh, the corner. Hey! You leave Antonio alone. Hey! Leave Antonio alone. What did he ever do to you? Bro. Bro, put me in the chair. Come on, put me in the chair. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna bleed out. Antonio, come on, put me in the chair. Uh, fine, I'll just walk out, I guess. <laughs> my goodness. Oh my gosh, put me in the chair. Alright, you know what? For the sake of ending this, I'm just gonna leave. Uh, please, I'm so slow without my extra crawl seat from Flywheel. Please, oh my gosh. My goodness. That was so long. Oh yeah, I guess I could surrender. I was the only person left, right? Yeah, I kind of forgot about that, huh? I kind of forgot I can do that. <laughs> oh boy. And are you the first thief? No way. All right, we can, I think we have enough time for one more. I think we have enough time for one more. That was a game for sure. Let's go on Lakeside. I feel like we do every sleeping town all the time. I do love that map, but we do it all the time. Enjoying that can't I was enjoying s s sitting still. <laughs> I didn't get to do much that game. I was kind of just like trapped the whole game. Yo, somebody got the smiley portrait. You love to see it. 
think we lost somebody. There we go. Let's do all cowboys. I unfortunately do not have cowboy. Yeah, it looks like it looks like we have. And that this is live. Yeah, we have, we have we have four minutes till they start doing stats, so we have time. All right. Well, enough, Freddie Riley. Let's uh. Hmm. Do I go the Nort? I I could go Nort. I can go the Goat of Goetia. The number one thief, bro, he's back. The number one thief. It's me, y'all, the number one thief. Oh, boy. That's so goofy, dude. That's so goofy. I have a bajillion... I don't have a bajillion clues. I gotta save my clues for freaking... Ivy. And Aeroplanist. And the furniture. And then I'm gonna be broke after that. I'm, gonna, I'm really gonna be broke after that. Oh, boy. Let me make sure my music is looping. Yes, it is. Beautiful. Your catapults are so pro on Lakeside? All right. Well, I'll, I'll be sure to trust them. I'll be sure to trust them. And if they send me into the Hunter, then I'm going to cry. Yo, is that... I think that's a Dark Side Thief, dude. Dark Side Thief. I wonder how many badges it takes for you to get a badge with Thief. Or how many matches. That's, that, that's, that could be that could be a good video. Like, how many badges does it take to, like, get... Or matches it take to get a badge for an unpopular character? Because apparently, for Mad Eyes, all it takes to get a C badge is one, one win. <laughs> yeah, it's Pokemon music in the background. It's the uh, Terrapagos theme. Phase 2. Guess your win rate? Uh, I'm just going to say, like, 45. I feel like... I feel like average survivor win rate is around 45. That's what that's what mine's usually around. Somewhere somewhere between like 38 and 45 is usually where my where my win rate is. But you know, if you have like a team, it's probably different. It's probably more in like in the 50s or something. Oh, foolish again. Hard foolish. I don't know who the other person is. Hmm. Well, there's foolish. This is the same foolish. I think it is. Okay. Okay, maybe I might be getting stream sniped now. <laughs> I thought I wasn't earlier, but I actually might be getting stream sniped now. Uh. Oh, what the? Oh, rest in peace, Lily. Um. Let's see. Does he throw axe? He does not throw axe. Oh my gosh, he actually hit me with that. I'm bad. I'm actually so bad. Come on, we. Okay, I do have flywheel on this time, so I don't know. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Wait, what the? How does he? <laughs> I can't throw my magnet, there's too many people. Please. Oh my gosh. Hey, buddy. I'm going back in the big boat. Whee! <laughs> oh boy. I'm not getting terror shocked. Oh. That's funny. Okay. Dang, there's so much freaking unstable ground. Well, I don't know why I keep kiting fool's gold in areas where I shouldn't be kiting him in, dude. Like, these freaking big areas with all these walls. My goodness. Oh, whoa, 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 I heard him. Like, Yo, another goat of Goetia. That's great. Is that a third goat? No, I think it's a decoy. Okay, ciphers are kind of ciphering. Oh, I think we lost him. Maybe. Maybe he's on Composer. I don't know. He's still below. Is that Opera Singer? No way, bro. <laughs> oh! How? Oh my gosh, that's crazy. He came out of nowhere, bro. He came out of nowhere. All right. Uh, bro keeps like red light tricking. That's crazy. Okay. Pick up my magnet. Pick it up. Yo, you only want me. There are other people. Come on. You are me. Don't tell me I missed my magnet. I'm going to cry if I did. Yee. He already has a magnet on him. He already has a magnet on him. Never mind. I guess he doesn't. Do you have a good space? Oh, boy. <laughs> okay, okay. I'm trying to like, bait him to throw his... There we go. 
Good, there we go. That's what, I, that's what I was looking for. I wanted to make him throw his axe. Okay. <laughs> Heal creature, Pearson Light Show. Let's go. Okay. Yeah, yeah. There was not a full presence yet, I don't think. How does that not stun him? We That hits! I used my speed boost! And I had a body blocker. How does that hit? That's crazy. Oh boy. He's at full pres now. And I'm one ship away. I gotta be careful. Oh boy. Alright, I don't got knee jerk. Yo, he only wants me! He doesn't care about anybody else. Yay. I totally- I wasn't even near it! I wasn't even near it! What? There's no way, bro. I wasn't even near the rock. My goodness. <laughs> Get items while I'm dead, bro. <laughs> the disrespect to yourself. My goodness. Is this what self-hatred is? Not the flashlights, bro. Oh, boy. Yo, just, just leave me. Go decode. He's getting so many points from this. No wonder he got points so fast because everybody's here. <laughs> Can he even... <laughs> he can't even get points because the flashlight. A creature. <laughs> Yo, creature is so goofy, bro. Oh, creature's so goofy. All right, my heal is primed. Help. Help, help. My heal is primed. Quick, before he picks me up. Please. <laughs> Oh boy. Hey, my magnet from earlier. Oh, never mind. Wait, that wasn't my magnet. That's, there's no way it lasted that long. What? Bro. Why are like, why is like seven of us dead? Oh boy. I love sitting on the ground. Why? I swear half the time I play duels, it ends up with me just sitting on the ground and waiting. Oh boy. Oh, Trey, that's funny. I spend literally most of the match just sitting on the ground, bro. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. Thank you. Okay. Bro, where'd you Where'd you come from? Yo, hunters hate me today, huh? Okay. I wanted to like put her in it, but that works too, I guess. Sure. Pallet spam to op. Pallet spam to op. Pallet spam to op. Why am I getting double teamed? Oh my gosh! <laughs> Bro! <laughs> what did I do? Oh my gosh. I have no magnets, I have no flywheel. <laughs> what, 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 what? What the heck was that? <laughs> oh my gosh. My heel is not ready. You'll pick up cheerleader. It'll be funny. Gosh dang it. <laughs> oh boy, what are we doing? Their heels aren't ready. They're definitely not ready. Oh boy. Oh boy. I got you. I got you. I thought it would be ready. Okay, my bad. Bro, I'm gonna actually bleed out. What is this? Oh, that's funny. All right, let me let me just let me just. I can't even heal him, dude. I can't even heal him. By the time I get to the ground, he's already able to swing. That's sun reduction for you. My goodness. <laughs> and now I just picked some thief. <laughs> His selfie was primed. His selfie was primed. I'm gonna bleed out. Oh my gosh. Where are you going? Where do you think you're going? <laughs> She's like, I'm out, bro. Jeez. I'm actually gonna bleed out. I'm actually gonna bleed out, bro. <laughs> oh, boy. He's got max pills. Look at that. He's so fast. Look at how fast that is. That's actually max pills, bro. He hates creature. <laughs> he actually... Yo, where'd you come from? Yo, know, the whole team is actually just dead, bro. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> Yo, he actually hates this thief. Yo, <laughs> he actually hates this thief so badly, bro. 
Oh gosh, he has excitement. He's got full fills. Oh boy, how will I die today? I can't, I get up and I just die again, bro. Why are all the matches I play just me on the ground? Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> creature, wait, he's, he's also just on the, where, creature, where'd you go, bro? Where are you at? Where'd he go? Where is he? Where's creature? Oh, that's composer. Where's creature? He was nearby. Oh, is he? Oh, he's all the way over there. What the? How are you all the way over there? What happened to you? What the heck? Yo, I struggle. Dude, I sat on the ground for so long. All my manas are recharged. My goodness. Aha! Bro, who doesn't throw axe there? Where's op? Where's Op? Where's Op? I see her. I know she's nearby. Where's Op? Aha! Oh, that's funny. Yeah, so can you just kill me or something? Oh, that's actually also funny. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. I love bleeding out. I love bleeding out. Creature! Creature's also gonna bleed out, bro. Oh! Oh! The heal! Creature! And the drink? Yo! Creature! That's crazy! Eat this! <laughs> so dumb, bro. Hey, look, a magnet. I wish I could just pick it up. Mine. Give me. gonna work on this cypher I'm dead anyway oh boy I, I don't even I don't even know what this was bro I don't even know what this was it's so peaceful all of a sudden never mind uh, I said I want to dance bro dance before I'm dead <laughs> uh, <it's> so stupid <laughs> Oh, this is so dumb, dude. This is so goofy. Aha! <laughs> Where are you sending that off to, Op? What is this? <laughs> all I can do is this, bro. This is all I can do. This is all I can do at this point. This is all I have left. <laughs> Just this stupid. <laughs> They're picking characters, bro. All right, fools, I need you to kill me. I need you to kill me. I need you to kill me. Hey, come back. Hey, hey, I need you to kill me. They're picking characters. Come back. I need you to kill me. I need you to kill me. Hey, I'll even cancel your attack recovery. That wasn't me. That was... Oh, that was... Hit me. Thank you. All right, quick. No, I bleed out in 30 seconds. I'm chilling. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. All right, we got picks. We got picks. We got picks. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, I think he missed like twice. That's so goofy. Oh, bleeding out, bro. Alright, uh, Mike Gaming, Coordinator, Patient, and Officer. And it's gonna be Op. We've got Gardner, Perfumer, Aeroplane, and Mercenary Band. That makes sense. It's gonna be Op. We know this. Arms Factory Op. So many names just T. That's funny. <laughs> Yo, the officer with the drip? Yo. The Koa officer? I wonder why it only shows... Maybe the other ones just don't have drip, huh? Alright, come on. We know you want to pick opera. Yeah, it's op. It's op. Did I bleed out yet? Yes, I bled out. Okay, cool. <laughs> Maybe a wheel, a wheel round one on arms factory? Oh, boy. Oh, yeah, I, I, could, I could do Battle Zero Lab next. I could do that later, yeah. Okay, actually, I need to adjust the audio. This is probably loud. But, there we go. Yeah, let, let, me, let me know if audio is too loud for you. I could turn it down. Alright, it, it's op. It's op. We know this. We know this. Here we go. Set two. It's an op moment. We got blink, detention, trump card on, op. <laughs> 
up on your aunt, bro. Uh, borrow time knee jerk on everybody but officer. Borrow time tied on officer. Okay, no double tied though. No double tied is interesting. Very interesting. No double tied. Hmm. Just guessing opera is so common. Yeah. Round one is like just 90% opera singer. It's just 90% opera singer. Will it be a 4K spoiler? It will? Not necessarily. The opera comps exist for a reason. It's just really dependent on how the first kite goes. Refuse to ever believe in opera? I guess I understand that. Okay, here we go. It's op time. She's got the crown. Queen of the game. Strongest hunter. Here we go. First kite is going to be the officer? No, it's patient, patient, patient. Patient gaming. Okay. But yeah, it's, it's so funny, dude. He, you use hook and then opera just catches up like within five seconds. It's crazy. It's crazy how fast this hunter is. Uh, no TP back just yet. Uh, he's probably gonna take a hit sometime soon unless he hooks. There's the hook. Look, that was an instant hook. Dang, he wasted no time on that. My goodness. Wasted no time at all. I gotta start instant hooking his patient. I feel like it could be better. Does he make? He makes this pallet, I think. Oh, good work, good work. Okay. He makes it this one. Hooks into factory. Beautiful hook, beautiful hook. We've seen quite a few hooks messed up uh, recently in Cole, but that was a beautiful hook. Buying plenty of time here. Blink is about to be ready, but those ciphers are indeed rushing. They are indeed rushing here. Yep, speedy, speedy opera. Teleports back. We got pallets to work with though. Not gonna blink for first hit just yet. The ciphers are climbing though. This is this is a great first kite. All hooks used, but solid first kite so far. Oh my gosh! Finally, there's the hit. Oh my gosh! So many missed hits for no reason. Okay, at this point you just want to force out blink. There's blink. There's blink. Yep. There's blink, and there's the death. Okay. Good stuff. That's a good kite. That's a good kite. That's what you only want. Yep. And it looks like it's the auto build on opera. Just blink tension, drop, uh, break pallets faster, and panic. Yeah, beautiful stuff. But that, yeah, that was almost three cipher kite. Officer's now gonna come on in here. This is good. This is good. You you let you let a uh, patient die in the corner. Then you probably have coordinator uh, coming for the next rescue. She can maybe use a gun. Uh, probably at least. Officer's coming in. Yep, he's. No, wait, no, this is court here. This is court here. Never mind. Wait, court is here. Uh. I guess officer for second rescue? Shoot gun? Oh, trying to avoid gun, trying to avoid gun. Yeah, trying to avoid gun. Avoid gun, avoid gun. Oh, 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 gun. Oh, the trade, the trade. And he just dies. Look at look at how much this, look at this. Ready, ready? Gun was used. Distance. Already cut up, like in five seconds. Already cut up. In five seconds, bro. Buff coordinator. <laughs> That's obviously an opera thing, but still, my goodness. She got the gun off though, so she's making this rebound possible, but she died at the cost of it. Which is not great. Ideally, Cord would have lived there and would have been able to go back and help decode ciphers. So ciphers are still going to be a little bit slow. Patient does have this area. He's, he's basically uses up this entire area. He has to transition. Surely. Well, I guess he, he can't really transition, honestly. It's, it's too difficult against the op. It's too difficult. He's doing a great job right here though. He's, using, he's utilizing this one window like super well. Super, super well. And finding a transition, not just yet, not just yet. Base the TP back, beautiful, that's why he was waiting. Okay, Patience actually using this area so well. He's using this area so well, just using these two windows going back and forth, back and forth. Beautiful work from the Patient. Look at this, he's kiting her so well around this one area. She can't do anything. Cause it's all one thing, she has nothing to dash to, it's all one thing. Wait, this is actually really good. I didn't even realize that, but this area is dummy good against her. Because it's all one thing. Oh, but the TP back. Finally got caught. That's okay, though. That's okay. He's not dead on chair. That was an insanely long kite. Oh, my gosh. This area is really good against Opera. As long as you're ready for the mind games, that's such a good area versus Opera. My goodness. That was a beautiful raw kite from the patient. Beautiful kite. And now Officer is here. Tide is ready. And they'll, they'll be able to have some tides for uh, security as endgame. Yeah, this is going to be nice. Stalling for waiting waiting for people to get on gate or waiting for people to get on, get, get on gate. Yep, yep. They know the trait is up. At this point, they're just waiting for somebody to get on the gate. And going to hit. There's the hit. Pop. Pop. No pop. No pop. Why, not why aren't they popping? 
そうですねまだ開けないですねあーはあ now they're popping? okay I guess they're just oh they're waiting for patient to just drag her into a worse area I guess uh, somebody is already on the gate. This is gonna be a three escape. Oh, uh, wait, maybe not. Maybe not. Austin, no, Austin can tie body block. She's gonna chair first. Oh my gosh, she's gonna chair first. That's that's 100% three escape. Yep, yep. Acrobat. Acro, Acro, just Acro, what are you doing? Oh, he's going for dungeon. Okay, I was about to say, I was about to say, what is he doing? I thought he was at the gate. Never mind. Okay, he's going to dungeon. That's a three escape. That was beautiful, dude. What the heck? See, that's what I mean. Not not all opera singer games end in a 4K. That was a great opera singer game, though. I gotta say, that was a great opera singer game. My goodness, that patient was so good. Cutting around that one area was so. I gotta check that. Hold on, I gotta check that area. I'm pretty sure opera can't like do any like crazy dashes there. I mean, she had presence, so hold on. I always gotta check these freaking areas doing all right before I do this. Oh boy. Because when the pallets are broken, I'm pretty sure everything she dashes to there is all just like the same thing. I think she can, like, if you dash into your shot, it just cancels your dash. You don't wanna cancel your dash. Oh, I can't use Ivy, even in customs. That's funny. Ultra rare entertaining opera game, yeah. The, the most entertaining opera games are when the survivors actually stand a chance. <laughs> that was a glitch. Yeah, of course, of course, of course, of course. Of course, of course. Oh. Okay, uh yeah, ha have a good one, Zagrilla. Thank you for dropping by. Okay, let me let me head to where that area was. That's a different thingy. Boop. 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 Wee! Oh wait, I don't have cooldowns on. Uh, boop! There we go. Uh, so yeah, I thought I uh, dashed in the same shadow earlier. Let's see. So it was right over here. Yeah, right here. Yeah, because this entire thing, she can't. She has to like dash from here and to here. But when she's like right here, she has nothing to dash to besides this tree, I guess. And then like you just go back here, so you can't. She has nothing to dash to on this loop. She has to just go around like this. Interesting. So that's why it worked. And then she, she only has like one thing to dash to. Because both these things are just the entire... Yeah, because if she dashes over here, cooldown. Now, now, she, now she can't dash. Okay. I see. Yeah, so this, this area right here particularly might actually be pretty good against Opera Singer. I like that like, I'm picking up on weak areas for Opera Singer by watching these matches. And this one, this, this area right here... Seems to be if you're ready for like mind games and whatnot, she can't dash So it, it could be a pretty weak area for her. Woo Interesting Interesting so now we know that uh, low presence. She's bad in that area right there. She's bad in um, Like the big boat area for some places and she's bad in uh, Leo's memory 2 story It's it's good stuff to learn these things. It's good to learn these things Okay, let's see uh, now I can just get back into it. What's my favorite kind of jam? Uh, I I don't know. I haven't had jam in years. Probably like strawberry. I'm gonna guess. Probably strawberry. Yeah, probably probably strawberry. Oh, actually no, probably raspberry. Yeah, no, my my. I, yeah, no, it's probably raspberry. My my aunt used to make uh make homemade uh raspberry jam. It was really good. But she's retired now, so she doesn't do it anymore. I'd probably say raspberry, yeah. I'd probably say raspberry. The homemade raspberry was so good. I haven't had it in years, though. It's so funny. After she retired, she gave us so many raspberry gems for that lasted, like, four years. But we, 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 we ran out, like, five years ago. So I don't think I've had any gems since then. Without raspberry jam, oh, boy, it was so good. Spread it on toast. It's delicious, dude. I kind of miss that jam now I think about it. That one, that one basic question is making me miss that homemade jam. <laughs> Z's lore. Yep, yeah, my aunt made jam. Homemade jam. It was good jam, too. It was very good jam. I think she sold her farm. I'm not sure who to. 
So I couldn't even go back and get it for free, that is. Because we just got it all for free, because it's like, it's my aunt. So they're like, yeah, you can just have all this jam, I don't care. Is B4U still thriving? Uh, B4U already played and they already qualified. We won't, we won't see B4U till, till, uh, till Global Finals. So we still got we still got a while till we see uh, B4U. Didn't mean to trigger all those memories. No worries, no worries. Jam is good though. Jam is good. Is this the same ant that looks like Opera Singer? No, this is that's a different ant. I, I think she's actually... I think she's actually my great aunt. But I just called her my aunt because it was just easier. But I think she's actually my great aunt. Um, but you know, she, she's retired now. She's retired. Oh, yeah. Somebody asked how long these streams go. It really depends, but we're watching the second set right now. And the first set took around two hours. So I'm going to say this stream will probably be around six hours. Between six to seven hours, probably. Oh yeah, Shmini, Shmini does have a food TikTok channel. I haven't seen it. I don't really, I don't really use TikTok too often. I probably should use TikTok more often because it's, it's good to like, you know, post stuff on there and uh, have things that are just outside of YouTube because I don't have much of a presence outside of YouTube. Like I have a Twitter account, but I barely post on it because I just have nothing that's worthwhile post or to post. Um, and I have a TikTok account for my main account and. Uh, IDV, but I just never post on it because I just, I don't know. I just like YouTube. YouTube's my home. I don't really care too much about the other social medias. TikTok loves me. Uh, well, I don't love TikTok. <laughs> I, I've never really been a huge fan of the algorithm of TikTok. It's just kind of like the brain rot algorithm. I would get so famous on TikTok. I don't know if I want to be a TikTok creator, though. I, I like YouTube better. <laughs> Your Bloody Queen meme circulated a lot? Bloody Queen meme. I didn't make any Bloody Queen meme. Long form? Yeah, I, I prefer long form content. I'm not, I'm not, I mean, I have a few more like shorts I could make, but I'm too busy right now. I'm gonna do more of those stupid little animations. Oh, the Ted one. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, I think, I think that Ted meme got like a few thousand views. Yeah, that's pretty funny. Yeah, the, the teleport Ted meme. Yeah, that was. That, that, that was a funny meme. I, you know what's so funny? I actually had like so many other memes that I was going to make. But they just take too much time to make. That Ted meme only took like a half hour though because it was like 8 seconds. But the other ones would be like 30 seconds. So it would take a lot longer to just like crop all the faces and put them all on the things. I'll probably do it eventually. Because there, like, there are just some like chase scenes in like cartoons that would be like, Haha, it's, it's just IDV. It's just kiting, bro. <laughs> It's just kind of, it's so funny how, wait, Hellember only? That's crazy. It's so, it's so funny how much like IDV brain rot I have sometimes because I, I see like characters getting chased and I'm like, huh, look at that. That guy's kiting. And I'm like, no, he's not. He's just running away. What the heck? <laughs> but I, I use the terminology of kiting. It's like, I wonder how his routing is. You know, it's stupid, dude. It's so stupid. That's only what I thought when I was watching the latest dungeon uh, or delicious in dungeon episode. They I'm like, oh man, they're going to kite out this dragon. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> this is so funny, dude. ID viewers have gamer thumbs? Maybe. I don't necessarily because I play on PC, but I'm sure the pros do, especially if it's like their jobs. Oh, yeah, the Grace is dumb sign. Yeah, I've seen that. I wrote that. <laughs> that was me. I went into the game and I wrote that. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay, we got some people cheering for YS. They're up next, though. They are up next. Scooby Doo, yeah, exactly. Scooby Doo, dude. There'd be so many kiting memes for that. It would just, it shag, dude. Shaggy and Scooby would just, would literally be just Postman and Wick. It'd just be Postman and Wick. Easy. It'd just be Victor and Wick. Every time. And I just put their faces over Shaggy and Scooby and make them run around. And whatever the heck the monster is, a freaking creeper or whatever, that'd just be like Hellumber or something. It'd be goofy. Like, I had so many, like, little ideas of that. But again, it's just the time it takes to edit it. This is too long. And not really worth it because I don't care about TikTok too much. 
通の多分ボードがあるんですよ。紙なのかな。そこにあのお客さんが。Hang on, PC is actual torture. How do I do it? But that's it's the opposite for me. I can't stand mobile. I can't stand mobile. I hold my phone and I can barely see. Like I don't know how people rotate the camera. And like, actually, like, not like I run into walls, terribly rotate the camera. It's so hard to play on mobile, dude. It's so difficult. Like, with PC, at least I feel like I have much more precision. On mobile, I kind of just like kind of pray and hope. It's so difficult. Okay, here we go. We're finally getting into it. We're finally getting into it. Play mobile is not that hard. I'm sure if I like started it, I might get used to it, but like. I could literally show you in a video where I play on mobile. It's so bad. I actually play like a worker bee, bro. I play like such a worker bee. Oh, what the heck? Okay, coordinator and Aquarian band makes sense, but they're picking Acrobat and Patient and allowing them to be global band. These are two very solid all-rounder characters that are just kind of solid at like doing everything. And they're allowing them to both be uh, picked in round one, global band. Very interesting. Okay, perfumer. Now next is gonna be like officer or something. Please don't be mercenary. I guess they ban. Are they ban mercenary? I don't understand. I don't understand the mercenary bans. I still feel like on paper mercenary is just not good against opera. Oh, they're going for wildling over officer. What the heck? I feel like you just picked the opposite. I feel like you should have done wildling and perfumer first. Who wants perfumer in later rounds? Who wants wildling in later, later rounds? You want Mike and patient in later rounds? What the heck? That's so goofy. I mean, maybe they just wanted to secure them, but still, that's so goofy. That's actually so goofy. Look at the boar, bro. Look at the boar. Where's the drip? Yeah, let me let me see Duke Bluebeard right now. Where's that Bluebeard skin at? Please, please wear the Bluebeard skin. It's so good. It's such a good skin. Boar is named Big Bubba. What? That's not his name. That's not his name. His name is not Big Bubba. It's Pumba, bro. It's Pumba. <laughs> Why does his dog look like that? Nah, that's Pumba. Whoa. Okay, hold on. We got we got a perfumer skin, so we got some perf drip. Come on, Bluebeard, please. I want to see some Bluebeard. I was yelling at Zeus in his stream when he called Doofius Timmy. Like, bro, who the heck is Timmy? That's Doofius, bro. That's not Timmy. Who the heck is Timmy? <laughs> Coagulant? Yup. <laughs> I'm never calling him Timmy, bro. That's Doofius till the day I die. I'm never calling him freaking Timmy, bro. Alright, let's see. Op? It's gonna be Op again? Unless you want to see that Hellember for some reason. Yo, Hellember round one would be so crazy. I would pop up so hard. Hellember. Leo. Please, bro. What? Fish? Fish round one? They're picking the fish over opera. Huh. So no Leo? I'm out, bro. Well, hey, that's that's fine. Honestly, I'm fine with that. Yeah, even the commentators are surprised. They heard, yeah, they heard us calling her dumb. He's like, who who wrote that thing on Lakeside? Was that you? Oh boy. You know, it's so funny. I actually had fish earlier today. I had fish and chips. <laughs> so rip not had. <laughs> Sorry for eating your kind. My goodness. I gotta get some goldfish again, dude. I gotta get some freaking some some colors goldfish. Or I just drink them right in front of Nyad. Do you think Nyad would go to like a Walmart and see like goldfish on this freaking? <laughs> she just like walk, let's see the goldfish, or she just see like all like the the fish being served, and she just gets sad. I wonder, because whenever she dashes, she has little fish that come next to her. When did I become evil? Uh, whenever I play fish. Literally, I become evil whenever I, whenever I play fish. It's my evil character. Same with Bon Bon, I guess. Alright, here we go. We're getting into it. It's fish gaming time. Blink, detention, and insolence. We've got borrow time tied on both patient and uh, the wildling. Then borrow time knee jerk on Mike and perfumer. 
Interesting stuff. So I get. I think I see why they're not picking Opera. That the, here, here's 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 what I'm thinking. Because ACT only got a 1K, right? So Nyad's basically guaranteed to get a draw right here. If you play for a draw, you're fine. And it, Yunnan might be more confident in the Nyad to at least 100% secure the draw, but push for more. And they're not expecting the Nyad. They're expecting the Opera Singer. And Perfumer probably doesn't do too well against Nyad. I actually don't know how she does against Nyad. Because if she, if she sits around and uses the Perfume for too long, she's just going to die. Fool's Gold is such a brain rock character? I wouldn't say that. I don't I don't think I don't think he's not necessarily he's he's easy to play at low level, but at high level he's pretty hard. Because people know how to counterplay him. Fool, Fool's Gold is still pretty 50-50 for me. Yo. Yo, the freaking waddling just kinda sat Oh he was he was whistling. I was about to say that. Why did he just sit in the middle for like a good three seconds? Because he's whistling there. Okay, well, obviously you don't chase the wildling, but who are you gonna chase? Is it gonna be the perfect? No way. Spots out the perfume already? Uh. Oh, she's tiptoeing. He's sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. Nah, you've been found out. You've been found out. Now she's gonna water off this whole area, but she's already transitioning. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. Now we might see if she gets out. Of, if she gets out of perfume, 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 perfume. Yup. Yup. Perfume is basically just free distance. Oh, actually goes back. Go, oh, goes back so she can get her window vault for speed. That was a good idea, actually. That was actually a good idea. Uh, we might see. Yep, drop the pallet so she can maybe use a vault. Okay. Does get watered off. But it's low presence Nyad, so she's chilling. Perfume. Do you hit it for presence? Do you hit it for presence? Do we hit it for presence? Nope, not going to go back. Perfume needs to charge up. She hits. Yep, there's the first hit. Now the perfumes are useless. Okay. Good stuff from the night. Now she can just blink down. She can just blink down now. Oh. Okay, gonna water off Acrobat Cypher while she's at it. Good work, good work. And gonna use perfume over here. Oh, that's not a bad perfume. Does she go back though? She does not. Okay. Probably just probably just there to stall a little bit. Yep, just just there to like you know, make night wary of it or whatever. Okay, yeah, they are spamming this. They are just spamming their uh, their slipstream. And basic hit. No blink. No blink was forced out, unfortunately. Um, but not a bad kite. That was about a three cypher kite. That was about a three cypher kite. I'm pretty sure if Acrobat's cypher didn't get uh, watered off. Oh, Wadley is already here, bro. Look at him. Look at him. He's already here, bro. Oh, it's not the Bluebeard skin. That's fine. But he's already here. Pumba Gaming. He's here, bro. All right, careful now. Careful now, careful now. Oh, get off board, get off board. Careful, don't get popped, don't get water popped, don't get water popped, please. Oh, he got terror shocked. Oh, here we go again. That's huge, bro. It's happening again. It's happening again. The fish swing speed, bro. Her swing speed is so dumb. Nerf that freaking swing speed. So busted. It's literally unreactable. Actually unreactable, dude. My goodness. Her camping is so busted. And now a huge puddle has been made. Oh boy, patient, buddy. Oh no. Oh, and we're doing this, and we're doing this. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my. That was a terror. Sh no, was that water pop or terror? Bro, this fish. This fish, with her swing speed alone, turned a freaking draw into a freaking 4K. Why does she have that swing speed? That's so dumb. That swing speed is so dumb, man. I know it was a lucky terror shock, don't get me wrong. But still, but still. Why does she have such a good freaking basic attack? I don't want to ever hear anybody complain about, no, 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 it swing speed doesn't hit all the time. Is that at the best range? Yes, it freaking does. My goodness. Like, this was a draw. This was a draw. And now it's a 4K. Bro. 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 They heal. They can get the rescue. But now you just... Oh, not quite, not quite. Okay, do they pop though? They don't quite pop. Yo, get on that board. You gotta get on that board now, bro. Yeah, he's on board. He's on board. He's on board. Boom, ba, boom, ba, boom, ba. But if he, if he, if she, if she hits these dashes, if she hits these dashes, oh, she hits the dash. She hits the dash. 
Yeah, oh no! Wasn't it. Pumba! No! See, that's what happens, bro. If you get watered off, if you get watered while on Pumba, you just die. Pumba doesn't take the hit. Pumba should high key take the hit. High key, Pumba should just take the hit. Let Pumba just take the hit. You feed her presence anyway. Just let Pumba take the hit, bro. Oh my gosh. Bro. <laughs> what is this? What actually is this? <laughs> Grace is not dumb. Yeah, she she saw the Grace is dumb freaking sign on Lakeside and was like, nah. Nah. Oh, well. Patient got a perfume. Welp. Welp. <laughs> Now we're just going to water up this whole area, yep. Fish moment. Water off the whole darn thing. And is he going to get watered? 86, but now he's cornered. He can't leave this area. Bro's leaving the area. Uh, you're dead, buddy. You're dead. You're watered. You can't go in it. You're literally trapped. Yep, that's it. That's freaking it. I can't believe this. That terror shock, bro. That terror shock was insane. I hate night camping. This is why you need officer or mercenary. Not wildling. Sorry, wildling. You can still get terror shocks. Yo, imagine he could rescue while he's on his bar. That'd be insane. That'd be so broken, bro. That'd be so broken. Oh, boy. That'd be so broken. He just, he's just sitting on his bar and rescues. That'd be actually so busted, bro. Oh, it's so funny. <laughs> Nyad's too good. Needs a nerf. They're actually buffing her, funnily enough. The, la the latest Nyad buff, which I don't know... I say buffing, I think it already applies. Uh, her, her dash recharges faster. I think it's like 18 seconds to 15 seconds or something. But dang, dude, this fish. This fish. Oh. Yep, spots out the acrobat. That shouldn't hit. Why does that hit over the window? That's so dumb. That shouldn't hit over the window. That's so dumb, bro. That's that's what I don't like about Knight as well. I talk about the swing speed all the time. But the freaking hit, hitting the dash over the window when they're clearly on the other side is so dumb. Like, that's so dumb. I mean, he doesn't get watered off, but still. My goodness. The thing is, now, now, you, now you just kill... You just kill the... Uh... Who was the other character again? I already forgot. <laughs> I already forgot. It's Acro oh, patient. That's right. Now you just kill the patient. Yep. He's hiding in a corner. But bro is not Kurt. Bro is not Kurt. Oh, you've been spotted, bud. See ya. Bro is not Kurt. Oh? We're gonna chair? Really? Are you that confident, Fish? She's that confident. She's that confident that she can get this down. I mean, she knows where Acrobat is. Um, and he's just still decoding. Bro, get off the cypher. What are you doing? Why did he just sit there? He could have transitioned so long ago. Oh, she has Blink. That's probably why. She does just have Blink. Okay, let's see. Uh, that doesn't hit for some reason. This should hit right here. Nice, nice. Walks around. She's, she can take her sweet time. She's got all the time in the world. Oh, maybe not, though. Hold on! An overzealous fish. She still has Blink, though. Oh! Joker? Mike Gaming? Can he do this? 97 water? There is a chance. Oh! Oh, look out! Yeah! Oh, that's it, bro. That's it. That's it. Dang, he almost got it, dude. He almost got it. There is a chance. There is a chance for Joker Persona 5 Mike Gaming, but unfortunately, that's a 4K all because of that one Terror Shock. And that, everybody, is why you pick Officer. <laughs> Because <laughs> he can use watch and doesn't get terror shocks. Uh, did they even ban officer? If they didn't ban, did they ban officer and mercenary? Is that what happened? No, just pick officer. What? They didn't bet you just pick officer every time. Oh boy, it's Mur over. Yeah, he needs to be able to rescue a boar, bro. Buff Wildling, so he his boar is like forever. Like the only way to okay, honestly, ultimate god Wildling. Let's make Wildling god. Let me make it so he can rescue on boar. Make it so boar never runs out of time until the hunter kills it. 
Um, make it so the cooldown of bar is 10 seconds. Um, yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, that's so dumb, dude. <laughs> the, yeah, just make the bar rescue. Make it so the bar can do decode with you. <laughs> oh, that's so funny, dude. Just make the bar like a fifth person, literally. The bar can rescue, the bar can decode with you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Same, same with Wick, bro. Make Wick do the rescuing. Oh, that's so funny. Dang, that was that was definitely a round one. My goodness. Yeah, make Bor like Tracy's bot. Anyway, Team YS has a massive, massive lead. An actual massive lead. A 4k to a 1k. That is huge for Team YS. The set, the set could be over by round two. It could actually be over by round two. But Boar can also emote. I guess the. Hold on. Does, I think. I think that. Well, I think for some exclusive emotes, the Boar is there, or it, it, he does something. Cause I don't think I have any exclusive emotes for Wildling, right? Yeah, cause the the Boar the Boar isn't here in any of them. Oh, that's that's Mike. Yeah, I don't have any specific Wildling ones, so. Unfortunately, the boar is not here. I wish it was, though. I wish Pumbaa was here. Mm. But there is that one. There is that one where it's like his birthday, where he pets Pumbaa or something. That's what somebody said. It's pretty cute. Nah, don't don't. <laughs> Buff Dreamwitch Opera Clerk and Ivy. I could see a Dreamwitch buff and a Clerk buff, maybe, but not Opera and Ivy. My goodness. <laughs> My goodness. Like, I'm glad they're still nerfing Opera. She's, she's becoming weaker and weaker, which is good. Like, they're nerfing her speed. They're nerfing her teleports and all that. Very good. Oh, this was up to 20 seconds. I thought this was... I think it was 17 or 18, then it went to 20. Is that right? I forget. Well, I'm glad it is 20 now, at least. Ah. I always forget what her full presence is. Yeah. It's just there for shadow leaps and whatnot. Yep. The remnants. Buff Ivy. This character's broken, bro. She does not need buffs. What happened to the... They just... Okay, they just aren't playing music. Okay, I was like, yeah, what happened to the stream? What the heck? Oh, that's goofy. But no, this character's freaking broken, bro. I can't even swap trade because I don't have her. Broken, dude. So like a recommended that they do. Okay, this is what people are bringing on Ivy. I guess this makes sense. It's probably different from mine. I gotta get, this, I get deer hunt, bro. Berserker is probably good though. I need to bring more Berserker. I feel like I, I feel like I need Max Berserker sometimes. Hmm. I don't know. I just don't have enough on my persona. There's a lot of good things. I, I probably want Berserker, dude. But I need this as well. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever. Berserker's just so nice because I usually just hit people on the chair because I'm just impatient. Alva needs a buff? Heck no. Alva does not need a buff. If, if he needs a buff, he needs a buff to his early game, but then you have to nerf his late game. Because once, once Alva's at full prez, I'm sorry, but that character is so goofy, bro. Four stuns? Really? He has four stuns, bro. Four. That's insane. Ah, such an annoying character at full prez. At low presence, he's fine. But when he's at full presence, man, my goodness. Bro does not need a buff. What he needs what he needs is cooldowns. More, like, more, more bigger cooldowns on his stun. I swear he, like, always has a stun no matter what. No, yeah, first, first chase is... No, again, his early game sucks. His early game definitely sucks. But at max presence, gosh, he's so annoying, bro. He's so annoying. I would like a sculptor buff, yeah. A sculptor buff would be cool. I don't even know how you'd buffer though. Probably just for attack speed. That's what I would do. I'd buffer attack speed. There's so many times where survivors are able to vault like windows and pouch this thing while I'm sculptor. I just can't hit it. But I don't know. I don't know what else. Hellember buff. I'm I'm down for more Leo buffs. Leo, Leo is still low tier. I don't even know. I don't even know who who's the worst hunter in the game. 
It's probably, I hate to say it, but it's probably Violinist or Nightmare. Oh no, it's Joseph probably. Joseph's really bad as well. It's probably a toss up between Joseph, Nightmare, and Violinist. They're all just so garbage. Hellumber's pretty bad. Ripper's pretty bad. Yeah. Bane, Bane, we thought Bane was bad, to my knowledge. Feast is pretty bad. Wu Chang is pretty bad. That's about it, though. Yeah, Gal Galatea had her, like, statue hitbox and nerf, like, a couple times, I'm pretty sure. And now it's, like, the most inconsistent thing ever. There are so many times where I've seen, like, a sculpture where it should hit somebody where I'm playing her, and it's, like, it doesn't. And then sometimes when I am playing against her, I'll get hit by the most random sculpture that, like, should not have hit me. Wu Chang fell off. Was Wu Chang ever even meta? Was he actually ever even meta? I feel like, I feel like this, like, thinking about this character on paper, unless he, like, got hardcore nerfed, I feel like this character is just, like, not good. Like, he literally has nothing to work. He literally is just nothing early game. All he has is the jump scare. <laughs> right, the best thing Wu Chang has early game is jump scare, and that's it. Without that, he's he's like he has nothing. That's why he has that's why he has instants all the time. Like his first prince abilities aren't too bad, and his and his final presence is kind of annoying, honestly, especially when it's black guard. Yeah, no tournaments for survivors, dude. It's gonna I feel I feel for them. Like they're gonna they are gonna have to deal with opera and ivy. And like dream much honestly isn't that bad because dream much is kind of just down to a formula. People know what to do against Dream Witches now. Like, they're still really, they can still be really powerful. But, like, the combo of Ivy and Opera is going to be so annoying, bro. Because, especially in, in rank, you can't ban two Hunters until you reach, like, a really high tier, like, Champion or something. So, people are going to be stuck choosing between going against, you know, S tier or S plus tier or freaking potential also S plus tier. It's going to be really annoying, bro. Rank, rank is going to be... Uh, it's going to be something, dude. Because, like, it, you always ban Opera, right? Everybody should be banning Opera, but now you've got Ivy to deal with. So if you don't ban Opera, you're going to have Ivy. And she's not in rank for a couple weeks still, but, like, my goodness. I, I have a feeling like we're just going to see an, a freaking Ivy sweep, bro. Everybody's going to be grinding up the character, and then once, once rank opens, people are just going to be spamming Ivy. And if not, if they ban Ivy, guess what? You get Opera. You just get Opera. Like, that duo is going to be so annoying, bro. People are just going to have to pick between two evils. And obviously, honestly, I'm probably going to, depending on how Ivy goes, I might just pick, uh, ban Ivy. Um, because Opera, I at least know what to do against her. Ivy, I have no idea. Because, like, Opera is just fast. She's just fast. That's, that's really it. Like, I I've watched so many Opera games, I kind of have her down to a formula. Ivy, I have no idea what to do. She has, like, 10,000 abilities. She can mind game you so free. And you can't even look behind you. You can't even use one of the fundamental things of the game. And you can't even look behind you half the time. Like, characters that... What am I looking at? <laughs> the characters that, like, disrupt the fundamentals of the game are the most frustrating ones to deal with. Like, Wax Artist, who makes it so you can't work on ciphers because he waxes them off. Or you can't use pallets or windows or anything. He's frustrating because he disrupts the fundamentals. Um... Same thing with uh with Priestess. Priestess is so annoying for hunters to deal with because she disrupts like she has she just makes her own kiting routes. That's why she's so upsetting because she breaks the fundamentals of the game. Ivy breaks a a, a, fun, a universal a universal fundamental thing in the game, which is looking behind you, which is so important in the high tiers because you can get mind games so easily if you don't. And then Ivy's like, yeah, no, you can't look behind you. Just don't. Yeah, just don't. You can take a quick peek maybe, but you'll get four corrosion each time you wanna. <laughs> and I'll start slowly climb and climb and climb. So frustrating. Besides, they made her fast, too. They made her a fast walking hunter, too. And she has the freaking ghost. So it's like, dude, they gave that hunter everything. They really gave her everything. Oh, yeah. Ivy, Ivy red light trick is going to be so broken, bro. Like, with opera, again, it's, 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 it's fast. That's all it is. It's just fast. 
Yeah, you can't even harass Ivy because she just scares you. You can't even harass her. Plus, on top of all of her broken kit, she gets a trait. She can have blink. She can have warp. She can have excitement. Probably not excitement, but you know. On top of her entirely broken kit, she also has a trait. Like, so it's like, oh man, Ivy can't teleport to my cipher because there's no little thingy. Guess what? She just has teleport. Just straight up teleport. Like, she breaks the fundamentals of the game so much, and it's so annoying. I, I just like her kit. I, I didn't think that she would be that bad, because I thought they'd give her cooldowns on her teleports, but nope. Basically, no cooldowns. Only the tablets themselves have cooldowns. So annoying, dude. There should be a global t uh, cooldown on it as well. At least, like, 30 seconds. The geisha? Oh, I missed it. I wasn't paying attention. I was too busy ranting about Ivy being broken. Yeah, this it's gonna be rough for survivors, dude. Like the the they heard like, oh, this is a survivor side of game. Let's just let's just release broken hunters, you know? It's so funny. They release Opera Singer who's absolutely broken, then they release Fool's Gold who's mid, and then they just release another broken hunter. They're like, oh, Fool's Gold was mid. Uh, let's 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 uh let's just create a hunter that has like 20 abilities. Yeah, let's just give her everything. <laughs> Other hunters you'd like to have nerfs? Um, okay. Yes, it's gonna be Opera, obviously Ivy, obviously. Um, and Alva at full presence, just make his stuns recharge a little slower because he's just so spammy at full pres. Uh, and high key, I know people are gonna disagree with me, but Disciple. I want, I, I, okay, I, maybe not a work, I just want a rework of Disciple. I just think Disciple's so lame, I'm sorry. I just don't like Disciple. I really don't. I don't think she needs a nerf, but she's just so annoying, man. So annoying to deal with. That's why like all the, so many mid tiers banner because she's just so frustrating to deal with. It's like, it feels like you can be kiting well and then she just throws out cats, jumps up, catches up to you and you just have to stand still for three seconds. She's, ba she's basically just wax artist. She's basically just wax artist, but like not as strong. Like that that's what that what that's what Anna's to me. Is she's just like she's like basically wax artist but like worse. She's just a worse wax artist. Anyway, we got uh cheese, psychologist, antiquarian, and uh aeroplanist. I believe antiquarian and aeroplanist are gonna be global band. They are banning opera singer, thank goodness. We've got Merc, Priestess, Seer, Cheerleader bands, pretty standard stuff. Banning all the S tiers and cheerleader. I don't know if cheerleader is necessarily S tier yet, but you know. She probably is. She probably is. I, I should stop taking in the Zeus IDV propaganda. She's probably just S tier. <laughs> oh boy. All right. Well, the thing is, uh, now that now that we're we're done with our operas, let's see how uh, ACT is going to play this. They're going to need like a 4K to catch up because they're pretty behind. They are very behind. Yeah, I know that. I know. I know. Disciple is like weak, but it's just like man, she's so annoying. I just wanted. To, I just wanted to have like a rework or something. I just don't like dealing with cats. It's just annoying. And it's not really fun to watch it. It's not fun to go up against, and it's not fun to watch. In my opinion, of course. This, that's all opinionated. I don't, that's why I said I don't think she needs... Oh, okay, fish. Fish, all right. Answering back with a fish of their own, huh? They saw that terror shock. They're like, ooh, I kind of want that. <laughs> no, Anne does not need a nerve. I'm not saying that she needs a nerve. I'm just saying I wanted to have a rework because I just think she's annoying. And fish, I just want her attack speed to be nerfed. Everything about everything else about fish is fine. I just want her attack speed nerfed, like even just a little bit. It's just so fast, and and the attack recovery from it as well. That's not just the attack speed, but the attack recovery because she can swing and then swing again so fast. Like I want like just the interval of the the swings to be a little bit longer, and then the attack speed just to be a little bit uh not as fast. Because the thing is, like Smiley's is is really fast, right? It's it's the fastest in the game, but it, the hitbox isn't as good. Nyad's hitbox is pretty decent. Like, it's it's pretty good. It hits from a decent distance away. Smiley's, garbage. You have to be, like, right on top of them. So all, all it has is speed. But, like, Nyad has speed and range, whereas Smiley only has speed. That's why it's not as bad. Plus, most of the time when you get hit by Smiley, you're just getting hit by dash anyway. Like, 80% of Smiley hits are just dashes. Anyways, we got Blink, Detention, and Trump Card on the Nyad. We've got Borrowed Time Tide on both Cheese and Charles. And then we have Borrowed Time Knee Jerk on Psych. Borrowed Time Flywheel on the Antiquarian. Pretty standard stuff. You know that Gamekeeper counters Grave? 
Uh, I didn't see the interaction with the hook versus the shovel. I have not. I have yet to see that. But somebody did say it uh, forces them out of shovel, so I'm not sure. I haven't seen it yet, though. Uh, otherwise, I don't know if there's any other hunters that I would nerf. Nightwatch is fine. Oh, wax artist. Yeah, wax. Uh, actually, yeah, wax artist. I would work, I would nerf wax artist. Uh, I would take away hot wax and give him a different ability. Actually, just remove him from the game. That's actually a better idea. No, I would. I wouldn't nerf wax artist. I just remove him from the game. I'd remove him from the game. He, he's he's the lamest hunter in the game. I used to think it was Bonbon, bon, but uh, after watching Yami, that changed my mind. Yami's Bonbon bon just hits so different. But I've yet to see a wax artist that I've popped off over. Like, that character just has no sauce at all. No sauce, only wax. I actually opted to chase Grave first. Okay, cheese, what you got, buddy? Goes into the... Oh. Wait, maybe gonna try... Maybe using that to farm presents. Hold on. You, you eliminate Tide. Um, Shovel has a solid cooldown. You get plenty of presents from this. Okay, okay, buff, buff Grave, buff Grave, buff Cheese, so he gets an extended chair time. Okay. If that was me, I was getting hit. If that was me, I was getting hit. Okay, he might need it. He might want to use his shovel here. Shovel moment, shovel moment. Yep, shovel. He's got the pallet to work with. High key, he shouldn't accumulate water when he's in shovel. Buff Gravekeeper. <laughs> oh, boy. A speed boost after shovel hit? Uh, I don't I don't know about that. Um... Does get watered out of his shovel, dang. All right, blinks, gets hit. Yeah, they're, they're, that's, that's your, he's feeding he's feeding her so much presence, and they're gonna lose a tide from this. Like yeah, the, the 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 kite is decent, but he's feeding her so much presence. I don't know if grave was the right answer here. I don't know what they were expecting, and he's dead. Yep, good range, good range on that. Poor cheese, poor poor cheese. But yeah, I, I, want, I want him to have a longer chair time. He's like the only rescuer without one. Who's like base rescuer, right? You know, you have like stuff like Charles and Forward, who I don't actually know if Forward has an extended chair time. I don't think he does. But um, they're, they're like, you know, they're assist or like contain in rescue. Whereas Gravekeeper is just rescue, I'm pretty sure. He actually might be contained as well. But I'm, I'm pretty sure he's like prioritized as a rescue character, right? And uh, he has no extended chair time, which is like one of the best things to like make it so you don't want to chase them first because they have long chair times uh we do see that charles is uh feeding tonight as two cyphers are being worked on and he is going to rescue after half as well yeah it's understandable that they're rescuing after half because the cyphers are a little far behind and this knight is almost at full prez and uh when she's at full prez she becomes very dangerous nerf nightmare dude nightmare is garbage he needs a buff like he's just so they're not even gonna rescue you they're just gonna sell him i guess he has no rebound potential yeah that's fair he has no shovels yeah that's so unfortunate man poor cheese poor cheese poor cheese just gonna get farmed all right psych moment here we go psych does still have a uh, stress to work with gonna take a hit here a boop there's first hit and the cypher that she was working on is at 45. Hmm. I'm trying to watch all these like these these freaking uh the, these harpoon placements because now Naya can water this entire thing off. Boop! There it is. It's watered off now. Luckily she wasn't in it and basic hit. But the cipher is um they're, they're climbing. They're climbing. They're back on it. They are indeed back on. It. They're gonna break that. I guess. Sure. <laughs> That's what I mean. Look how fast that is, dude. That's why it's so scary to drop a pallet after she swings, because she can just swing again so fast. My goodness. Okay, well, it shouldn't be too bad, because we have the Antiquarian here. She's got Flywheel. And the Cypher is going to be primed. Is she going to the Cypher? Uh, you give a free rescue. You should just pop. Just pop. Yeah, just pop. At this point. All right, this is, this is a draw. This is just a draw. Charles still has Hover, too. He still has Hover. Hover right here. Boom. Get into graveyard. Beautiful. Charles Gaming, bro. Charles Gaming. Oh, I love this character. He's so goofy. He's so goofy, dude. Such a goofy character. And Jetpack is almost ready again. We're going to vault that. Beautiful. We have Blink, though. We have Blink. Blink? Yeah, Blink for the down. Blink for down. Yep, get your draw. Get your draw, Fish. Get your draw. That, that, be, a, that be a draw. Well... That's that's a fish game. That is a fish game. The one thing is that that was actually really good. 
um, is even though she went up to Gravekeeper first, she did take those extra hits, stalled it out. They they kept him on the chair, fed tinnitus. That was kind of what they needed to do to secure the draw. Uh, but again, a draw is not going to get them back in this game. They needed a lot more than a draw. So, yeah, YS is chilling. They're chilling with that draw. No, they didn't. They didn't, they didn't lose. They, the, the, the selling, the selling was just to secure the draw. Mm. Yeah, rest in peace, cheese. Yeah. Nightmare needs his spine straightened. I think he, I think he's cool because he's like creepy. Actually, I, I don't think I've showed you. I, I'm sure you already seen. It. I, think, I think I showed it once before. Um, but there's a specific trailer that's like so cool. It's the Ashes of Memory trailer, like the first one, and they show cutscenes that we haven't seen yet from Ashes of Memory. But um, I think no, this is that's chapter two. Hold on, where is it? Where oh, is it called? The trailer. It's the one where you see like Nightmare walking around. It's pretty cool. Uh, here it is. Okay. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's like a there's like a really intense trailer. A really intense trailer. Um, it's like right around here, where they show uh. They show like some clips. We see like Norton and Melly running around. I think I have showed this before, but I just really like it because the ending of this is so cool. Like how cool Nightmare looks in this trailer is awesome. The way he walks and the way you can see like the shadow of Orpheus, it's so hype, dude. It's what I, it's what I want to see. I think it's like right up here. Uh, right here, right here. Look at that, dude. So menacing, and then you can see Orpheus. You can barely see him. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. It's so good. That's what I want to see, dude. That's what I want to see from it. Like when he's walking towards you with that, like, with the eyes. Look at that, dude. You know he means business. See that? Like he's nightmare, bro. You got a buff nightmare, bro. Like he's so raw. Look at that. He's so cool here. He's so cool. But man. Like, he's supposed to be, like, the final boss, bro, and he's just mid. He, in the game, he's just trash. Oh, he's just, like, just looking at him like, bro, why are you picking Nightmares, the Hunter? Yo, that's a free, that's free, bro. He can't do anything. <laughs> oh, it's so cool, dude. I, I, I've literally rewatched this part of the trailer so many times, so he just looks so cool. Like, how do you make him look so... And, like, the, freak, the freaking, like, when he claws the tree or whatever, like, right around here. Where was it? Like with this little like knife thing right here. Look at that! Like that's so cool, bro! That's so cool! Like they make him so cool in the trailer, but he's so garbage in the game! Like, come on! Ah, oh, he's so cool, bro. And they just make him doo doo butter! <laughs> Look at that, dude! That's so good! Alright, that's enough. And like, they're seeing the Orpheus, bro. You can see the shadow of Orph. It's so good, bro. Oh my gosh. I love this freaking trailer. It's such a good trailer. And then he's just... He's just butter, bro. He's actually just dip. They just made him dip in the game for no reason. High key, I wouldn't even mind it if they completely reworked his kit. And just made him, like, dummy good. Give him, like, a 50% speed boost when he's not in chase. <laughs> I think I like Nightmare. He's so cool. He's got a fire design, really awesome lore. Like, it's literally Orpheus, bro. This is the main character. This is the main character of the freaking game for so long. Also, I don't know if it's true, but I heard a theory that people were talking about uh, that there's actually three protagonists in IDV. What the heck happened to the music? I guess I paused it. Um, I don't know where I saw it, but I guess people like who are just like super like theorists in lore, people were theorizing that Composer will actually be the final protagonist of IDV, which is, I was like, what? I don't know where it was, but it was kind of a cool idea. Because um, obviously Orpheus is like one of the protagonists. Then you have Alice, who's like the protagonist now. And then somebody thought Composer would be the last protagonist because he's like hiding away because he, he ran away and hid. So it's like, oh, he'll have his like chance to uh, to come out. I don't know. It's like some theory that's out there. And I thought it would be really cool because I do love Composer. And like if he became a protagonist, dude, I would love that. I, I would actually love that, dude. It'd be so hype. I don't think it would happen either. No, it's a theory, obviously. It's like, it's a theory. Melly and Nort left out. Yeah, unfortunate. I, as much as I love Melly, she doesn't feel like protagonist to me. She really doesn't. She she doesn't feel like... I mean, she could be, but... um, Of IDV, I'm not really sure. 
Because she's, she's more of a villain. She's more of a villain trying to get away with stuff. I don't know. Whereas, like, I mean, Composer's a villain. Obviously, obviously Orph is a villain, but he's, like, you know... He, he, like, loses his memories and becomes a detective, so he becomes a good guy after he was the villain. He's a villain now, like, in as novelists. But uh, when he become when he loses his memories, becomes Detective Orphy. He's like a good guy, I think. And then Alice is like their baby child who can do no wrong. She's only experienced the bad things. She isn't bad herself. And Composer is kind of like in a moral gray area. Probably a bad guy, but you know he's kind of in a moral gray area. I don't think he's murdered anybody, but uh, he threatened people with a gun. He probably has murdered somebody. He did. He, he, Novelist did say he was good with a gun, so he probably he's probably killed some people. <laughs> No, but M Melly, Melly and Norton are like good villains, though. Although Norton, like his, like look at this, bro. You can't tell. You look at this art and you tell me he's a villain. He looks like a doofus, bro. I'm sorry. Melly is a great. M Melly would be a great villain, though. She could be a great villain. I mean, she's kind of taking a supportive role for like Alice in Ashes of Memory right now. Um, but it, se it seems like Alice trusts Melly more than anybody else, because like Orpheus is like obviously. You know, suspicious as heck. Norton just ate bread in front of her. It didn't even say anything. Composer obviously tried to shoot her. Amelia was like the... I guess, like, she does kind of trust Orf. But uh, she knows that something's up with Orf as well. But also, Melly probably has her own, you know, agenda. So, I don't know. I imagine in the next chapter, if they do Hunter Melly, like, we'll see her get to... Get to do her villain thing. I don't know. And we don't know we don't know what Melly's fate is yet either. We know that she gets attacked by Norton in the game, but we don't know if she dies to Norton or if she dies to anything else. We'll probably find out or find out on her fifth or fourth or fourth or fifth birthday, most likely. Melly is ring ring. Yeah, she she's pretty smart. She's very smart, very smart. But she she knows that the thing is Orpheus knows that uh, she killed her husband. And uh, she's kind of just trying to like cover that up. And he's like, oh my gosh, Orphe knows, bro. He knows. Oh boy. I don't even know what the deal with Frederick is. Like, he's, he's a big old mystery. I don't know. I love the Ashes Memory characters, dude. They're so fun. You see Norton Campbell's beautiful face? Yeah, this this doofus. This doofus. <laughs> Sorry, his official art right here is just, he looks like a doofus, bro. He's so doofy. Oh boy, like where, where's that dance, bro? Where's the dance? <laughs> it's such a stupid dance, dude. It gets me every time. It just looks so dumb. It's just because there's so much movement in it. Like, there's just so much movement. It's crazy. I don't even know how you do that dance. It's crazy. Isn't Composer like Mary's son? I forget exactly. They're related, but I'm pretty sure they're like cousins or something. Or like distant family? I don't know. But they they are related. They are related. Some way. I don't know if I just made that up or if I saw it somewhere, but I heard somewhere that they were maybe maybe I don't know. In my mind they're cousins, but I don't know. They could be brother, sister, they could be just distant relatives. I don't know. They are cousins? Maybe. I know I think Frederick is older than Mary. Yeah, because Frederick Frederick's in his thirties, so he might be like an older cousin or something. I don't exactly know. I know he just got like, you know, exiled from his family because I don't know, he sucks at playing the piano or being a composer. It's funny because he's not even a composer. He just plays the piano. He doesn't he can't even compose. They call him composer, but he's actually a fraud. <laughs> he doesn't even compose. He just plays music. Oh boy. To my knowledge at least. Anyway, it's uh we're doing more round two. We're gonna ban Dream Witch instead of the op. Interesting. Well, YS only needs like a draw here, and they're chilling. They can pick whoever they want as long as they get a draw. They're chilling. Yeah, <laughs> composer. <laughs> exactly. Oh boy, that's so goofy. Now nah, he doesn't suck at playing the piano, but he does. Apparently, he can't compose. The freaking butler was like, oh, he doesn't have his father's talent, so he's just mid. But still introduced himself as a composer. Okay, Antiquarian Charles Lily. This is a hype team so far. Are they going to come back with the hype? Yo, pick, like, Weeping Clown. Pick, like, forward. Pick 
Melly. Come on, pick somebody. Cool. You already have a rescue with Charles. Oh, it's Cheese. Yo, Cheese is coming back out. Wait, Lily actually does well here. Cheese it, Cheese it. <laughs> I stuttered and I'm saying Cheeses and it sounded like I said Cheese it. <laughs> cheeses. Uh, shuffle cooldown is 20 seconds. Oh, boy. The fact that I just call him Cheese now, dude, I swear. <laughs> It's more cheese than Andrew to me. Oh boy. So stupid, dude. <laughs> uh... <laughs> it shouldn't be this funny, yet it is. Oh boy. <laughs> but this this is a good this this team synergizes well with cheerleaders support. I kinda wanna see it cook. I kinda wanna see it cook. Cause she can reduce all the cooldowns. But who's the hunter? Anything but wax artist, and I'll be satisfied. Anything but wax artist, or disciple and bonbon. Bon. Those are like my bottom three right now. If I don't see those, I'm chilling. Go fish again. You just go, just go fish. Kill ladies, go fish. Let's have a fish. Let's have a fish of a time. Never mind, it's opera. Okay, so now you're going opera. You don't go opera round one, but now you go for the op. This team can maybe do something against op. Gra Grave can actually take a couple hits thanks to cheerleaders. Uh. Support, but that's only if Chiller supports him. Hmm. I don't know. They'd rather fight Opera over Dream Witch. I don't know. I guess CN. I guess CN is a little bit more scared of Dream Witch than other people because most of the time everybody else just bans Op. They usually span Op. Well, op round two moment. Here we go. They bas basically we had a we had a break from her in round one, but then she just swaps with round two. Get off the stage! Oh brother, this guy stinks! Freaking fish from SpongeBob, bro. That default fish. Oh goodness. Yeah, what? What? <laughs> Yeah, I think that's actually like a thing in his lore. Waxarch is like canonically supposed to be racist or something. I forget. It, it has something to do with like his job. I haven't. I don't know much about his lore, but he has like a job that was apparently like I don't know, pretty racist in the past. I forget. I don't know. I don't care about him anyway. So you know, if you're gonna make one of the characters I ca least care about racist, then don't make it one of the characters I care about. <laughs> anyway. Blink, detention, trump card. We've got Borrow Time Tide on Cheese and, <laughs> and Aeroplanus. And Borrow Time Flywheel on Cheerleader and Antiquarian. Yeah, no, it's, it's actually apparently a thing in his lore. Wax artist. I, I haven't looked into it, but apparently like that's just what people say. How is he? I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I, I don't know anything about Wax Artist. You think I've looked into his lore? No. You think I care enough to look about... I mean, I will eventually look into his lore, but like... It's only it's only word of mouth that people... I don't know if it's a joke. I'm pretty sure it's just like his lore. Like his job is just like a... In the past, like he's just like a racist person. Which sucks, because like... I don't know. I don't like it when people create racist characters. It just sucks. Anyway... Let's stop talking about Wax Artist, bro. Wax Artist makes me sad. Let's talk about freaking Antiquarian and how she's going to smack Opera Singer like 20 times. That's going to be funny. <laughs> oh, boy. Another reason why you should not play Wax Artist, bro. He's racist! <laughs> okay, enough of this. Enough of this. Uh, Kind of lost right now. Getting rotated a little bit. My goodness. Where are you going? She's getting super rotated right now. I mean, two of them are chilling in graveyard. You don't want to take. You don't, you don't want Charles to take the kite. Uh, looks like it's gonna be Charles. Charles, get on the tram. Get on the tram. Oh, he's already just using his jetpacks. Nope, he just wants distance. He just wants distance. Yep. Uh, Opera is actually probably gonna be able to. Oh, refreshes the cooldown. Beautiful. We could see him hover outside of uh, outside of graveyard. Yup, yup, beautiful, beautiful stuff. Is he gets he gets out, he gets out, bro. Charles, bro. Oh, I love Charles, bro. What he's like, oh, I'm gonna pinch. Why don't I just hover and get the frick away, dude? Oh my gosh, Charles. So goofy, bro. So goofy. Hasn't even taken a hit yet. Oh, well, careful of Okay, I thought I thought we might see like a blink terror shock there. Yeah, going back into graveyard. Look at the distance, bro. Oh, Charles, so goofy. 
He has used up all the resources though. Hover and all three jetpacks. All the resources have been used. Got some pallet mind games here, but wow. dang! Even with the slow pallet drop. Charles does just not care. Now we're pallet spamming her a little bit. Do we blink for first hit maybe? Nope, just, we're just pallet spamming. We're just pallet spamming her. Yup. Come on, get the first hit. There we go. There's first hit. Uh, yeah, Cyphers are looking pretty good though. All resources. Used. Get hit by tram. Get hit by tram. Get oh. Okay. Oh, Lily. Lily support this early. Hold on. No, she just okay. This this can force out blink though. This can force out blink. Oh, flywheel is away. Okay, now she knows what the trait is. But Charles has some cheers to work with. Gonna use the cheers to get to this pallet. Josh pallet forces out blink. Forces out blink. Blink, blink. There's the blink. There's the blink. Forces out the blink. Two and a half cypher kite. Not bad. Not bad. Two and a half cypher kite plus movement. Two people finish, and plus they're able to transition to other ciphers and whatnot. We do have cheese posted up. You'll love to see it. Cheese is here. And he's going into shovel right now. Yep, here he comes. Cheese on his way. He's cheesing his way to victory. Yep, here he comes. Dude, he's so goofy. Oh, cheese. Look at him. <laughs> this is like a freaking worm, bro. <laughs> oh, boy. Get out of there, Charles! Yo, Charles looks so slow. What the heck? He looks so slow. Oh, it's fine. He's, he's dies in the corner now. Just die in the corner, Charles. Yep, that's your job right now. Just die in the corner. Cypher 83, 71, 20. They can maybe draw this. Yeah, because she, she just used Blink. She used Blink pretty late into the chase. She can trace out to teleport now if she really wants to, but it won't be ready for a while. They're going to be able to finish the Cyphers. And they, they can open up new ones. Other decoding hits as well. Ooh, boy. Yep, this is going to be good. And they can even rescue again if they want to. Oh, Cheese is coming back. He's back for round two. <laughs> He's coming on in. Oh, she doesn't see him. I don't think she saw him. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, TP back. Wait, the double rescue. Wait. It's going to be a four-person endgame. Cheese is <laughs> Cheese, bro. Oh, we have antiquated harassment. Yo, look at you! Look at him go! Look at Cheese, bro! Look at Cheese! He's body. Antiquated body blocking for Cheese. Look at that. Extending the chair top. Extending, it, extending it. Hits Charles, but we got antique dealer. We got antique dealer. Antique dealer. Okay. 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 Smacker. Smacker. Smack. There's the pop. Now Smacker. Yup. Yup. Smickety smack. And again, and again, you can't swing for 10 seconds. Oh boy. And again, the reset on the cooldown for another one. Oh my gosh. She can't even swing. She can't even swing. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. That's so funny. And it's still on Charles now. Charles will die. Dies in a corner. See ya, bud. Oh, but TP though. Wait, wait, wait. I thought there was going to be a three escape, but now. Now I'm not so sure because she'll have teleport. Oh, boy. Unless she's going to be like one of those operas that just doesn't teleport. Nah, you should scatter. You guys should scatter. Scatter. Here she comes. Bruh. Oh, Antic Dealer. Wait, but she swung immediately. Yo. They both swung immediately, but she hit cheese. Cheese, no! The flywheel and oh my gosh, wait a minute, wait! Uh, this was looking so good for them! This was so good and now it's a now it's a 3k! It's a 3k just like that! Oh, they got so greedy trying to open up the freaking gate! They got so greedy. And Basin's there too! Oh boy, Basin is there. Uh, do they even try to self-heal with Antiquarian? They can try. Uh, okay, smickety smack, there's one. And the disarm was on. They're going, they're going for, what? Why? Wait, but they cheer, she has to come down, she has to come down. She kills cheerleader. Cheese, get out of there, bro. Cheese, please, no, cheese, cheese. Oh, cheese, no, bro, cheese. Oh, it's so over, bro. If they had tied, if they had tied on cheer, that'd be so dumb, dude. Oh, it'd be so dumb. They're getting greedy. They are getting greedy, but the thing is, they kind of have to. Because they this, they just lose to a 3k, I'm pretty sure. They can't get 3k'd. That's why they're coming in. They literally have to. They literally don't have a choice. It's crazy. All she has is baiting chair, potentially. Nope, that's it. They had to. A three. A, they needed a draw, at least. And that's the win for YS. 
Bro, but they were doing so well. What happened? They had a four-person endgame. Oh my gosh. They just they just got greedy. They just got greedy. They got greedy at the gate. They just should have had like maybe one person at the gate and one at mid. Oh boy. Or maybe somebody to assist Charles. Like maybe Chiller should stay with Charles. Oh boy. He couldn't cut it out long enough, dude. <laughs> My goodness. Well, that's the set. That is the set. Yeah, I thought they were doing so well. Like, Antique Dealer was just smacking opera. I don't know how they lost. I mean, I know how they lost it, but it doesn't feel like they should have. My goodness. Like, the teleport, and then they smack opera, but she swung, like, right after she teleported, because they're swinging so fast that it just hit cheese. Oh, boy. Yo, buff cheese. Buff cheese. Make him like. Make him be able to just. Uh, maybe, maybe get, give him a reverse hover. Give him a reverse hover where he can dig super down to the ground and make it so he can avoid getting hit by anybody for like one second. Oh boy. Just give him reverse hover instead of going all the way up, going all the way down. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. That would be so goofy. Dang, these are these have been some relatively fast sets. Nothing has gone to round three second half yet. My goodness. Yeah, no, they, they they had to get greedy though. I don't I don't the thing is they were so far behind, so they had to get greedy there. They didn't really have much of a choice. But when, once Basin was there, that sealed their fate. Without Basin, there's maybe a chance, but with Basin that 100 percent sealed the fate. 100 percent it's unfortunate that it's the case, but you know. I mean, they kind of brought it upon themselves by, you know, letting them play opera. I won't even lie. Like, just prepare for the Dream Witch and just don't fight the opera because opera is just too stupid. Uh, especially at top level. Like, you've been fighting Dream Witches for years. Go, go with the Dream Witch that you're experienced against, not the ops. Yeah, we still do have one more set, though. That was only the second set. There's one more set for today. That was GR versus TE. Actually, we saw uh, TE play yesterday, I'm pretty sure. And I think we saw another one of these teams play yesterday. I can't remember. I can't remember. I can't remember. Yeah, look at that. That's a huge lead. Oh, they, yeah. Um, do they need a forest escape to catch up? Oh, they... <laughs> no. They needed a four escape to just... Oh, yeah. I think they needed a four or a three escape to... Uh, to secure a th round three, I think. Because they can, they can still come back. But yeah, after that huge lead, there's nothing they can do. Yeah, there's nothing they could do. Yeah, that fish had the best deduction. Yeah, that's that, that makes sense. That fish, dude. That round one fish really determined everything. That's what I mean. That's what I mean. Terror shock, dude. A terror shock in comp is so like it may it matters so much. A terror shock matters so much. I don't I don't I don't want to be like discrediting them, but like they won this set off of that terror shock. The entire set, like so many matches are played, but that fish terror shocking the wildling in that one game was so important. Was so incredibly important. That shouldn't hit. Okay, yes, it should, but like, it doesn't look like it should hit, like, somewhat. My goodness. That Terror Shock actually changed the entire set. Because a Terror Shock, a single Terror Shock can mean the difference between a, like, a win or a loss. And a win or a loss uh, can, you know, favor a game into one thing. And, and obviously, like, 4Ks are just, they just get those extra points. You get an extra point, and your team, and the opponent team gets literally nothing. They even had help from the Tram, too. My goodness. Forgot about that. Cheese, bro. Yo, let him reverse hover. Like this was so like when I when you see something like this, you think it's a draw minimum. Like they're doing what they gotta do. They really are. And then like she smacks her up. Like, dude, how does this even happen? It's because they didn't have anybody on the gate. And then Charles, okay, high key Charles shouldn't have gone to the gate. Maybe that's one of the reasons why Charles kited toward the gate when he should have just not done that. But I guess they did need a four escape, so maybe that's why. But even then, yeah. And then just big rip. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah, that's, that's the power of op, dude. That's the power of op. My goodness.
All right, let's see here. Now, yeah, now, now we got some time before the next set begins. So I'm gonna put on a quick spectate the pros match since I'm almost out of water. I gotta go get some more water. And then we can play a match of duos, and then we'll see how the uh, the last set goes. We'll see how it goes. Let's uh. Oh. Is she on here or no? She should be available. Uh, well, th this this is this is gonna be a live match though. That's the thing. So you probably won't even be able to see it end. Is she on here though? Dang, there's not much here, huh? I feel like if I click on this, though, it's just going to be in the middle of a match. I, I w ideally, I would like to, but it's going to be in the middle of a match, isn't it? Um, I'm pretty sure that's how these ones work, right? Or wait. I forget. I'm dumb. I'm pretty sure it'll go into mid-match, though. <laughs> yeah, this is mid-match. Bruh. Ivy? <laughs> just walked right past her. What the heck? Okay, I can't even... This is so jank. Oh, it's because it's the... Okay, this is... I can't even watch from Ivy's perspective. I have to watch from the freaking Yith. They need to fix this. <laughs> it's stuck on the Yith, bro. What the? It's stuck on the Yith. I can't even watch Ivy herself. It's actually just stuck on the Yith. That's funny. It's so broken, bro. It's so broken. That's so dumb. <laughs> All right, well, clearly we can't watch that because it's, like, real time. Uh, even if it is Ivy, which is pretty goofy. Let's, uh, let's watch... Not Joseph. Ooh. Ooh, wait, 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 wait. I'm between Antonio and Axe Boy. I think I want to do Antonio because it is Inferno Sonata. I'll put this one on. I'll put this one on. Yeah, yeah, looks like looks like people agree with me. Yeah, it's, it's, it's Inferno Sonata. We gotta, we, wanna, we gotta watch Inferno Sonata. Even though I won't see like half the match, but you know, we move, we move. Does he have the accessory too? Oh, he does. Let's go. Okay, barmaid, small child, explorer, seer. Oh, they're cooked. Yeah, Antonio cooks some easily. You got this, buddy. I believe in you.
Bro, that's crazy. I only saw the very end of the match and all I saw was he just gave Sia the dungeon. Antonio must have cooked, I'm guessing. My goodness. Okay, let me get rid of that. Understand. Yeah, see, it seemed like it seemed like he cooked. Seemed like he, oh, he had a basement party? Oh, nice, nice. Well, I like seeing Antonio cook. That's good. Good work from the Antel and Emdelman, though. Kurt tried to hide, but Antonia found him. Oh, rip. Couldn't couldn't get the Hasha treatment. <laughs> oh, boy. That match still cracks me up, dude. That match still cracks me up. Abby needs to be deleted from the game. Not before Wax Artist. <laughs> when I'm not streaming, I'm completely silent. I don't, I don't really say too much. I mean, a lot of times I'm just in my room. There's not really too much to say. Uh, do I play Hunter? I can play Hunter. Why not? Sure. I haven't played Hunter. I can't play my Joseph, though. I can't play my no persona, no cameras, backwards walking Joseph, unfortunately. <laughs> oh, blink drop down. That's good. <laughs> The Banester. Hold on. Okay, we got some Bane action. Okay. Let's, uh... Oh, dear. Do I play my Garbage Mary? I think I should play my Garbage Mary. Alright, Banester, you're gonna have to carry so hard because my Mary is complete garbage. Wait a minute. Confined space on Mary? Don't I just mirror through it? No, I'm bad. I need confined space. What? What did I say? Want to hear my start to what? Start to T S and first officer that use watch to rescue? I'm confused. <laughs> what do you mean by start? <laughs> do you mean story? Where's the questionable? Huh? We're cooked. Oh, strat. Oh. Uh, sure. Tell me in post match. Tell me in post match. I'm curious to hear about it. if it's a Bane trick. Terror shocking an officer? But the thing is, officer, even if you terror shock, if he has watch, then he just gets to rescue anyway. I don't know. <coughs> oh, yeah, I'll main Melee Hunter easily. They just have to make her fun. Please don't make her cringe, bro. Please don't make her cringe. If they if they make her gameplay like Wax Artist or like Anne or Bon Bon, I'm gonna cry. Please make her like cool. Make her cool like Soul Weaver or something. Give, give, give her like some Soul Weaver treatment where she's cool like that. She doesn't even need to be S tier. She could be bottom tier. She could be the worst one in the game. As long as she's fun, we're good. Okay. Okay, Mary. Marathon. 
Me Mare Mar I don't know any other nicknames to call Mary, bro. Alright, I need to, like, do something. Probably should use my mirror, huh? I'm really bad at using mirror. What if I just didn't? It's a good bomb placement. Uh, but what if I mirrored? Why is it all the way over there? Bro! I don't know how to play this character. I really don't. Oh, hi. Bruh, Bane, you're gonna have to carry so hard. My Mary is complete garbage. My Mary can't do anything. This is like... Dang, that's fast. So used to it being slow. Yeah, my Mary Lydia is complete garbage. She she can't cook at all. She she burns down the kitchen anytime she tries to do anything. Why is this not a slow box? Bruh. Okay, now that mirror is up, I can use mirror onto that. Oh! Yeah, baby! Never mind! Best Mary! S1 Mary NAEU. Let's go. Oh! Not quite. Please let me swap. Aha! There you are. Come back here. I should have brought Jerry, bro. I should have brought Jerry. Not Teleport. I should have brought Jerry. Not the slow boxes. Alright, Bainster. Let's cook him. Let's cook him. Let's cook him. Yeah, Bainster. Let's go, Bainster. Uh, let's go. Oh! Oh! Bainster! Bainster! Let's go. No, you, you, let me... Let me. Okay, I was saying I want you to share because I'm bad. Who's over there? Who's over there? Who's over there? Who's over there? Who the heck is over there? Somebody was over there. Oh, my Mary sucks, bro. Hey! I was wondering where you were. I'm gonna break this portal though, hold on. Get out of there. Whee! Oh, there's a trap! There's a trap over here, so I have to go over. Or just go into the trap, that's fine. Yeah! Yo, my Mary is crazy, bro. Totally not carried by Bane. Let's go! Okay, now that I have presents, I don't have to like position my mirrors. Yes! Do the work for me! Oh, you're trapped, buddy. Kia! How did he... Oh, no, I did hit him. I did hit him. I did hit him. They won't be able to pass on me in time. Surely not. Dang! That takes a while to break. Sheesh. All right, that should be all the boxes gone, though. I tried to not get hit by it, and I still... Oh, boy. 100% accuracy? No, that's just my foggies. That's just my foggies. All right, Bane, I need you to, like, cook. Because, like, my Mary is complete garbage. I can't do anything. We know this. All right. Do something! Don't call me Hasha. Yes! I'm Lily Hasha, bro. I'm Lily Hasha. Let's go. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Swippity swap. Yo, call me Hasha! Give me that terror shock! I'm deleting perfume from the game. I'm deleting perfume from the game. Who is this? Nautilus? Yeah, that's fine. Get terror shock, bro. Bruh! Perfumes? I'm quitting. I'm quitting, I'm quitting, I'm quitting. Why is it all the way over there? How does that miss? Oh my gosh. Okay, thank you for having a football field freaking hitbox, Mary, because I need it. Wait, I also need pills. Should probably go get those, huh? Alright, Bane, are we are we cooking? Or are we cooked? Oh boy, I should just get speed pill, because I'm bad. A tower curry pill would be nice, but you know. I feel like I need the speed. Watch my confined space. <laughs> she hops through mirrors so slowly. Oh boy, go through there, give me presents. Or not. Okay, let me just, uh, uh huh. Oh. What the? There we go. He teleports back though, right? Where's his mirror form? Why doesn't his mirror form go back? That's weird. Are you over here? You are. Okay, you're out of perfumes though. Come here, Orf. I'm disrespecting your palette. Hee hee hee, I learned that from Hasha. <laughs> he just doesn't care about palettes, dude. You think Hasha cares about palettes? If Hasha doesn't, then I won't either. Why would I if Hasha doesn't? Look at how fast I am. Uh, nice flywheel. Uh, uh. <laughs> oh boy. There we go. I think you're cooking. Bro, I'm not cooking. Look at look at the progress. Look at the progress right now. Uh, uh. Yeah, baby. But the thing is, there are there are freaking five survivors that are completely healthy. And the people that we had on the chair are no longer on the chair anymore. We haven't even eliminated one person. <laughs> At this point in the game, if we haven't eliminated one person, we basically just lose. Teleport, merry moment. Cringe. Get off that. Hi. Bro, prisoner. Greedy, greedy boy. My goodness. Oh, let me just... Oh, I messed up. 
Oh, Bangster's going after him too. Oh, 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 watch me, watch me. Call me Hasha. Call me Hasha, bro. Let's go. Hey, 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 hey. Since when did you have a doofy? I don't think you had a doofy. Bruh. Oh, hold on. Since when did you... There's no way they... This is what happens when we don't eliminate anybody before endgame, bro. This is what happens. Oh, this is what happens, bro. Bainster, we're cooked. We're cooked, Bainster. Ah! Ugh. What? Dude, there's like 10,000 people over here. Oh my gosh. It's open. How'd they get it open? They must have been on the like door already. Right, I gotta drag you away from the door. Come here, bro. I gotta at least eliminate somebody. My Mary is too bad, bro. She's so garbage. There we go. Alright, that perfumer thinks she's so funny. Well, guess who's laughing when I mess up my mirrors? <laughs> I, th I hit something. Oh, I hit the chair right in front of me. Yep. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> yeah. I can't play Mary, bro. I can't play Mary. Where do you... How is he all the way over there? Oh, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Yes. Noel. Yeah. No, bro, I got him, I got him, I got him. I got him, I got him. I got him. I totally got him, I totally got him. Bro! Mirror, why didn't you, like, do your thing? Yo, Mirror sucks. I swear I tried to, like, position it at the exit gate. Why are Mirrors so freaking hard, dude? My goodness. Did I not see the do- I didn't see the doofy. No, I was too busy trying to hit people on the other side of the map. It's so hard to hit with mirror, bro. My Mary is so garbage. I hit, cause I hit the chair. I was too busy looking at the freaking far away. Oh boy. That was, that was done. That's what I was like, how the heck did they get so far? Okay, what, what was the trick though? What was the, what was the trick? Had some bad hooks. It's okay. I had literally bad the entire game. My Mary sucks. Don't put Mir close to survivors. Like, it'll not be close to survivors at all. I, I, I like... I don't know. I, I'm trying to, like, learn the mirror places, but it's, like, really jank. It's, it's very jank. I don't know how Marys have, like, insanely accurate mirrors. Okay, Bainster, what, what, was, what was the thing? What was the thing? You'll get it eventually? Yeah. Well, all the other Marys, like, except for me, have insanely just accurate mirrors that just kill me instantly. Okay, I guess he's not gonna say anything. <laughs> accurate mirrors come with time? That's fair. I've only- I've barely played Mary, so... Mirror Mary is the same distance from the mirror that you are? It's- it's just depth perception, that's the thing. I just- I just don't know how to calculate the distance that well. I, I know how it works, it's just it's more just like, I'm bad at judging it. And half the time when I do use a mirror, I just end up walking into a wall with my main body. Like when I tried to mirror, when I when I got the Terror Shock on the Prisoner, I couldn't follow up with the mirror because there was stuff in my way. Is this quiet for anybody? This is kind of quiet for me now. Uh... I think they lowered their uh, 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 freaking audio. Yeah, I think it's a lot quieter now. That's weird. Huh. Oh, he did put it? Hold on. What was it? Oh, wait. There are different animations for survivors on chair. This one is for idle and one for rescue. Learn which is which and you can terror shock one by swinging or hooking when you see the rescue animation S. <laughs> I see. Okay, then. Oh, I see. So I'm guessing it's basically just hook terror shock the officer then. I see. Oh, if you hook terror shock and then hit him before he watches, I guess then, yeah. Huh. Interesting. Oh, can I Pikachu's? 
thank you for uh, staying on the stream for a while. Mary before nurse was iconic. Yeah, I, she used to be like fast. She used to have mirror right from the start. She was busted. I still think she is very good. But that's only if you know how to use mirrors correctly, unlike me. For me, I don't know how to use mirrors at all. Not like not unlike my Jack. My my Jack just has insane accuracy. Taro, I love Taro. I think Taro is really fun. The issue with Taro, the wait times are abysmal. Why would I wait 10 to 15 minutes for a single Taro match when I can just play a Duel Hunters match in like three seconds? Like that's 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 the thing, dude. That's the thing. It's just because Taro wait times are so long. That's why nobody plays Taro because the wait times are trash. Like for both, for like any position, for King, for Squire, for Hunter, they're all so bad. What about Blackjack? Blackjack sucks. I hate Blackjack. I despise Blackjack. I despise everything about Blackjack. Worst IDV game mode. I, it's it's the one game mode where I generally don't have fun playing it. Blackjack only makes me upset. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's a miserable experience. I really hate it. Remember 44? I will never forget. Uh, 44, bro. All right, Kurt and Perfumer Band. That makes sense. Kurt, Kurt makes Kurt Band makes sense on this map. Yep. Terra used to be pretty popular. Oh, we got Lucky Gardner. Okay, the veterans are coming out. I love to see Lucky. Lucky is a great first pick. He can he can cook on Leo's. He can get booked to be small and avoid the first chase. Yeah, L Lucky is good against Opera. He's good against Opera. So is Gardner. I love seeing Lucky guy. He's he's a little map dependent against Opera. Like he's, he's good on Leo's. I think he's good on Ever Sleeping Town a little bit. Um, but he's a solid pick. Plus, if he doesn't take first kite, he can stock up on items and cook, dude. We, we, we saw Lucky that had, like, five or six items. He had, like, gun, flashlight, uh, like, freaking bot, everything, dude. He can get bot, which can be so good to help out Cypher Rush versus Opera. Uh, I've seen, I think I saw an Opera match where she teleported onto a bot, hit the bot, and then was just, like, lost after that. It was crazy. Okay, pretty pretty standard rest of the team though. Pretty standard rest of the team. I'm most excited to watch the Lucky here. Antiquary Mercenary Band. Yep, that makes sense. Yep, Seer, Seer, Garner, Officer, Lucky. Oh yeah, I'd love to see Axe Boy too. I haven't seen any. I've seen one Axe Boy game in all of Koa. I don't remember how he did. I think he did okay. I just want to see more Axe Boy, dude. I, th I think it's the thing is like Axe Boy is just so honest. He's such an honest character. He, I feel like he doesn't have cheese. Like the, the flares are like, they're not like sneaky, right? I guess the, the flares like you can expect to see them so that you know when they want to go for it. Like you can't never really hide anything against an Axe Boy. He's just a very honest character. Unlike Wax Artist, who's a very dishonest character who just waxes off Cyphers in his point and click adventure. <laughs> <laughs> Inferno Sonata was everything when it first came out. It, it still is everything. I do love Inferno Sonata, though. It's beautiful. Season 11 had such fire essences, dude. It was so good. I think it's literally Inferno Sonata, Sophia Melly, um, Dongan Rampa. Like, it was a good season. Oh, I wish I had Sophia Melly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, op. It's op. We know this. We know it's op. It's an op moment. No, I, 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 I wasn't playing when season 11 came out either. I, I joined season 27 way after. Way, way after. <laughs> the Tide Composer? What the heck? Oh boy. Yeah, Zeus said Sophia was mid. That's why I'm never. That's why I'm never becoming a Zeus IDV member. He set up a membership on his channel. Never. I'm never going on that membership after he said Sophia is mid. Never, dude. Because it, it, somebody asked the question about, oh, what do you like better? Do you like Kongho or Sophia? And I was like, they're both goaded. And then Zeus was like, Kongho, Sophia is mid. And I was like, that's it, bro. That's it. Never. I'm never becoming a Zeus IDV member. 
Sorry, Zeus IDV. I'm never becoming a member on your channel. Sorry. I can't pay. I'm not paying $2.99 a month for a Sophia hater. Anyway, <laughs> we got we got Baratime Nidric on Gardener and Seer. We got Ty Nidric on Lucky, Baratime Tide on Officer, and then the standard Blink Detention Trump card on the Opera Singer. <laughs> Robbing Zeus out of you because he called Sophia mid. I'm just, I'm not, I'm not becoming a member, bro. You're not getting my two ninety nine a month. No way, bro. Not after calling Sophia mid. If somebody gifts me, if somebody gifts me a membership while I'm in his chat, I'm deleting my channel. <laughs> I won't do that, but like, oh man. I will not be resubscribing to the membership after my one month free or whatever. If I get gifted randomly. But that, that's his fault for, uh, you know, having garbage opinions, thinking that Sophia is mid. <laughs> and thinking that cheerleader isn't S tier. I mean, what? <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking, bro. Zeus, if you're watching, you're epic, bro. But Sophia is also epic. And your opinion is wrong. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> Enough about Zeus IDV. The match is happening and she is kind of lost right now. Uh, Lucky was digging through a chest and has a pocket watch and perfume. That, that's our two very good stalling items. Let's see what he uses first. Nothing. He just uses the palette for it. He's like, shut up. <laughs> oh, Lucky Guy. And he's not, not going to chase. She knows Lucky God's too powerful, bro. She's like, nah, I'm not messing with Lucky God. That guy's way too powerful. <laughs> Gardner. Wait, be careful. Yo, careful. Oh, she knew exactly. She knew exactly that bubble's gonna pop. Yep, there it is. There's the pop. She was just chilling, bro. She's just. Oh, gonna take a hit. Gonna take a hit. No. Opera Sitbox is garbage. Beautiful. Okay. Not bad. You can probably set up another bubble sometime soon. But Blink is up as well. You can't. Actually, you can't bubble. Yeah, because there's Blink. Yep. Uh, not great. Not great. Lucky, we're gonna need to see a bot, bro. We need to see some bot. We need, we're gonna need to see a bot. Lucky, grab a bot. You can grab a bot. That's like 50% free decoding, bro. Grab, grab yourself a bot. Find yourself a bot, grab it. Officer is here. A little early, but he was already here, I think. Hmm. Come on, Flopsifer. Not gonna have to break any pallets. Yep. Garner could use those to rebound, but it's also just double tied and. You know. Also, Seer could have Seer could have owled that blink. Uh, when's he gonna use his owl now? Actually, usually they use they use blink to extend the first chase. Usually, oh, she got she got rescued and didn't get chair hit. Wow. Okay, so Officer actually didn't take any damage. That's actually pretty good for uh, that's pretty good for GR. Usually the rescuer takes a hit, which makes it pretty difficult for him to rescue again. Um, oh, gonna break the chair and then okay, breaks the chair. Oh, buying some extra time. And isn't even going to fix the chair. Okay. Yep, just going to chair in a different chair. Okay, I guess that's fine. I mean, if she chaired her, if, if she got chaired in that chair, that would be a longer chair time. <laughs> chaired in that chair. Because anytime Garner breaks a chair, uh, when it's repaired, the uh, the time the time for the takeoff is increased by 10%. Um, so, and I'm pretty sure that stacks with Gardner's already uh, long chair time. And I think it stacks with Snooze as well. So you can sit on the chair for a long time if it's been broken. Officer actually does take a hit and can no longer go and get the rescue. My goodness. Uh, we do have Lucky here though. Lucky also has Tide. Unfortunately, has no gun or anything. I would like to see have like a gun or a bot or something. Does Perfume, gets the rescue, goes back, runs away. Lucky, watch, something. He does just take the hit. Okay, at least he doesn't die though. It's not double down. That perfume prevents a double down. And it gives Gunner a chance to actually rebound as well. She can set up bubble or something. Getting these pallets ready. Trying to use the knee jerk reflex for speed. Zooming, zooming. Oh my gosh, she's so fast. Can she kite longer than a tide though? Does she kite longer than tide? She does kite longer than tide, so it was worth it. Bubble, bubble, bubble. Yeah, bubble. Woo, bubble gaming, bubble gaming. We love bubble gaming. She TP's back, and she should just be dead here. Totally flat. Well, the owl, the owl, the owl. She waited. She knew the owl was coming. She actually just waited for the owl. It buys more time. Oh, she vaults in, she vaults in. Vault in, vault out. <laughs> clap on, clap off. It's over for her now, though. She's got one window to work with. That's it. Okay, but you can you can still get a draw from this. Lucky did actually get a bot. He's putting the bot at the gate. Yo, Lucky! Oh, he's crazy, bro. He's got bot at gate. Oh, they're prepped up and ready, bro. With a bot on the gate, that's gonna be so safe. 
Only lucky, bro. Only lucky. There's a TP. On to who? Who is this? Seer? Seer. Not a bad end game chase as well. You can farm up an owl here potentially. Um, the only thing is, I think it was. Yeah, that, that cipher is at 64, so I have to start up a new one. Seer? Buddy? What? Why did he, like, go back into her? What was that? Uh, what are the other two doing? Can they please set up a new cipher? Okay, they finally set up a new cipher. He's dead. He just goes down. Uh. I don't know. I thought it was going to be a draw, but now I'm not so sure. She actually could have... She probably could have gone into basement there. Maybe she'd rather pressure the ciphers, but... uh, Are you going to pressure the ciphers? No? Okay. High key, uh, uh, Lucky should have given the watch to Officer. He should have... I think that because I healed... Oh, I think Lucky... Oh, Lucky used the bot to heal himself, didn't he? I wasn't paying attention. That's probably what he used. Okay, finds out the Officer... Wait, nobody's on a cipher now. Officer? Yeah! I love those pallet stuns, dude. The pallet stuns, when they walk through and are swinging, those are so satisfying to see. Because I can never get them. Every time I do that, dude, I always get hit. I like I like trade. I don't know how to, like, like hit that hit. Like, throw it on a pallet and not get, like, you know, hit or whatever. Okay, he's using bot for some reason. Bot's at the gate, though. Lucky? Where are you moving bot? Uh, is he putting bot on the cipher? No, he's not even using bot anymore. Okay, they rescue the seer. Officer takes the hit though. Where is? No, oh, bot's bot's still at the gate. So why use bot? Dang! Officer's crazy with it. My goodness. Okay. Uh, why are we going back for that cipher? Lucky, be careful now. You don't want to be the end game chase. Actually, no, it's probably fine. You, you, know, you know, Lucky does not want to be in game chase. He has no bar time. Use that watch, bro. Use that watch. Use that watch. Use that watch. Come on, Lucky. I can't. You can't go down, bro. You have to. You have to at least stay alive until end game, so you can put the yeah, put the bot on the on the gate. Cause it, Lucky isn't like. Oh, you know, he got hit. That's bad. That's bad. That's bad. See, he needs. He needs to be up. Lucky needs to be. Oh, she's gonna teleport. Okay. Well, the damage is here. Just walks through the pallet, bro. See her do something. Teach her some respect like that officer. And now she just teleports back to Lucky. Oh my gosh, dude. That's 4K. Ah, oh, come on, man. Come on. They were ha they had a chance. They were cooking. Oh, I really wanted to see Lucky use his bot, bro. I want to see him do bot shenanigans. Oh boy, dude. Oh boy. Yep, now you just go back for Seer. You can share Seer. I think Seer is dead on chair. Oh man. Officer's on the cypher. Uh, TP isn't... Wait a minute. Wait, wait. Hold, hold. You chair Seer. Lucky guy gets back up using his self-heal. Bot will be on the gate. Bot will be on the gate. Wait a minute. Wait. There's no way they get a draw, but bot on gate is so helpful. Bot on gate, bot on gate, bot is on gate, bot's opening, bot's, bot's, bot's opening, bot's opening it. Bot is opening. Okay, teleport isn't up yet, but she spots out officer. It's a one escape. It's a one escape guaranteed thanks to bot. Oh my gosh. Yes, yes, go for lucky. Go for lucky, give officer dungeon. Yo, let it be a draw thanks to bot. Please, bro, please. Yes. Yes, bot, do something. Yo, the bot, the bot. Hit the bot. Officer can get dungeon! He gets dungeon! He gets dungeon! Oh my gosh! A draw because of the bot! They still got it! Oh my gosh. The bot, bro. She was like, oh man, that, that, that game should be open. Guess what? The bot. The bot, bro. All because of that bot. That's why Lucky God should not ever be underestimated lucky god's bot bro that bot bro that bot because the thing is if lucky lucky just got to that gate he would not be able to open it in time if it wasn't for that bot that that was that was probably and no it was it was a 4k without that bot bro it was a 4k without that bot because she would have got lucky guy Downed lucky guy. Um, chaired lucky guy. And then the thing is, uh, she would probably find officer. And even if she doesn't chair lucky guy, she could just, you know, do the bleed out strategy. And she probably would have found first officer because the dungeon wouldn't have opened. That bot, bro. That bot. That bot was what carried. I can't believe they got a draw from that.
When I saw her teleport to the seer and I saw Lucky Guy go down like soon after, I thought it was over. But then when she went back to chair, the seer officer just rushed the cypher, which is exactly what he needed to do. Oh boy, dude. Oh boy. Lucky God, dude. Lucky God. <laughs> Elijah, yo, not Elijah. It's funny, I did actually look back to see if that Elijah person was a bot. That was definitely a bot. That was 100% a bot. <laughs> that was 100% a bot. YouTube emojis are so funny. I think they're just Google emojis, right? Are they? I think they're just regular Google emojis. I actually don't know. Uh, hey, look, even the commentators like, yo, that bot was crazy. That was some bot gaming. <laughs> That's what I'm telling you, dude. Bot is busted. Bot is so broken. That's why you should always get bot and not perfume in Duo Hunters. Get bot, not perfume. Perfume is cringe. Bot is funny. <laughs> don't, don't always rely on self-sustainment. Self-sustainment isn't cool. We want to we see bot gaming. Actually, if it's self-sustainment, it's just perfumes. You can buy old pads and footballs. That's fine. Not perfumes, bro. Perfumes are my number one enemy. Yeah, a ton of footballs is fine. I just don't like perfumes. Because <laughs> at least perfume is, at least football is fun to watch. Because you get to see the characters new. Perfume isn't fun because it's just perfume. And it's, it's, not, it's not even like exciting. And it's not like because at least football you can transition to a good area, continue the kite. Whereas perfume is just like, uh oh. I don't know where to go. Let me just spam perfume. <laughs> nah, I'd perfume. Well, I would never perfume. I have standards. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, so. TE got a draw with the Opera. If they can get better than a draw, GR has the lead. The bot, the bot is so broken, bro. The bot is so broken. Not as it's like more broken on Tracy, but the bot is just so broken, dude. Like bot and dual hunters is so dumb. Sometimes I get two bots and it's like the, we just cipher us so hard. Earlier today, I have an image, bro. Let me show you something. Let me show you something about the power of bot. And it would have worked if my team was actually better. My team just couldn't kite. But let me let me show you something. Let me show you something. Oops, I deleted it. <laughs> let me, let me, look at this. Look at this. Ready? 522% decoding in duo hunters. For one person. That's the power of attention pill and bot. That's the power right there. 522% decoding. The power of bot should never be underestimated. It's so broken. Oh wait, I just realized something. <laughs> I forgot about Doofus. Yeah, and it would it would have worked if my teammates actually decoded. Because I actually I was cipher rushing so hard, but I was literally the only one decoding. It's because I just I bought a bot and an attention pill, and that's it. I bought bot attention pill, then I bought another bot, and that was it. That's all I did the entire game. That's that's how you got so much uh so much decoding progress. Because if if you can like master the bots, you cipher us the hunters so hard. That's what I mean. Like it, I generally the match if like two people if like three people on the team do the strategy of just bot attention pill, generally the ciphers move so fast the hunters can't even do anything. That's why I'm trying to like, you know, tell people that attention pill and bots are more broken than just cringe perfumes. Because cringe perfumes are just self-sustainment and boring. But bots, bots are broken. No, bot, bot attention pill is like so busted, bro. You can actually like complete a duo hunters game in like five minutes if like the whole team, you know, is like on the, the strategy. Like, I, I want to do like a tournament and be like, yo, guys, this is the meta. Bots and attention pills. Speed pill is better for late game, but your early game, speed pill is not great unless you're like, go, unless you've already been on chair. I never buy speed pill. Like, speed pill is better. Like, self sustainment, yes, it's better if you've already been on chair and you got away. Um, but if you're just like decoding and like you've been decoding the whole game, just like don't buy a speed pill. You just don't need it. Rely on the people already taking the kite to like complete their kites and just get attention pills and cypher rush the hunters. 
Like, dual hunters, in theory, should never be one as the hunters, I'm pretty sure. Because, like, they need so many points to uh, be able to even cook. Like, 4,000 points takes a long time to get as hunter. If you played hunter and dual hunters, it takes a long time to get just one pill. Survivors, it it's so easy. It's so easy to get points. And you can play specific characters that can get you points even faster. Gardner is actually kind of broken in duos because uh, she can break chairs and she gets immediate 250 points for every chair broken. Perfume is broken though. Perfume is broken in endgame. Perfume is broken in endgame. It's no it's the thing is perfume is broken for self sustainment but perfume will not help you it like uh when the hunters just like have a ton of pills. Like perfume is just like dummy overrated. But yeah, Garner Garner's broken in duos because she can uh just get points so fast. I'm trying to think of other characters that are broken in duos. Magician's pretty good in duos. Because you just get a ton you just get like ten thousand wands. Seer's pretty good. Anybody who has like rechargeable resources is really good, yeah. Painter, I feel like Painter is really good. Uh, lawyer and Painter are really good because they have speed buffs, uh, passive speed buffs in their kits. So if you drop two paintings as Painter and get a speed pill, you're like so fast. You are dummy fast. Same with Lawyer. Lawyer, back when he was at, had 5%, when you had 5% from your walking, you had speed pill. But you were basically uncatchable. You're so fast, bro. Can't decide who to ban in rank anymore. Like, do I ban Opera Singer or the Fish? I have no idea. After Ivy, I may start banning her as well. Yeah, when it when it comes to Ivy, you might it might be between Ivy and Opera Singer, depending on when people find out counterplay. But I I I, I telling you, always ban Opera Singer, unless you're like in Elk rank. Always ban Opera Singer. In Elk rank, most operas are probably not that good. Maybe not now because everybody just dropped tiers. But you know, maybe like mid season. If you're like an Elk and below, you don't need to ban Opera Singer. Ban something like. Nyad or Anne, but once once you reach Mammoth and above, just ban Opera Singer because that's when they start getting good and Opera Singer is just so broken. I should probably get rid of this Doofus, huh? <laughs> I'm gonna get rid of Doofus. Mechanic is good in duos. Mechanic is not good in duos. The thing is, Mechanic becomes complete garbage once two people take a hit. I hate to say it. The second two, like two different people take a hit, Mechanic is like gets ma her max debuff and she's garbage. Mechanic is the worst character in duos because you can't cypher rush and you can't kite. She's basically useless. You ha you start with a bot, but you know who else gets bot? Literally everybody else when they reach 2,000 points. I hate to say it, but Mechanic is just so bad in duos because you can't, you your decoding is so slow. Okay, Antiquarian, Embalmer, Mercenary, and Cheerleader ban. And we're going with Patient, Mike, Coordinator, and Officer. So they're global battling these two again. Huh. I'm not going to leave Doofus up while we're trying to watch a match. <laughs> oh, boy. The decoder who can't decode. Exactly, exactly. Chat wants Doofus back. Can it be in the corner? I'll put Doofus back when <laughs> I'll put the Doofus back up when it's the match is over. But I, I want to focus on the matches and not just have Doofus in the corner. Too distracting. Toy merchants, yeah. Toy, toy merchants get in duos. She's good. Her her support like can actually change games. It's crazy. I I really like toy merchant. I think toy merchant is really fun. She herself like is. Like, kind of funny with the glider, but it's also because she, like, is present with the support that she sets, sets up beforehand. I, I want more characters like Toy Merchant. I hope I hope the next, uh, I hope the next character is kind of similar to Toy Merchant, where they can do something on the map, that, like, leave something on the map that can help out people later, like the catapults or something. That's why I thought that person's, uh, pallet repair person uh, was a really good idea. Or a really interesting idea, at least. I feel like pallet repairing would be kind of broken, but, like, the pallet repair... Um, you know, OC character was really interesting to me. Anyways, up 4K. <laughs> Let's see how it goes. Let's see how it goes. You can't run away. No, you you, you can run away from double teaming as long as you can get away uh, with the the catapults. Yeah. 
don't know. I, I think Merchant's really fun. She's she's a really fun character. I forget where I put her. I think I put her all. Did I put her in hype? I, I think I put her in like the second tier of hype. Anyway, Blade Assassin Trump Card Opera. We've got Borrow Time Knee Jerk on everybody, but Officer who has Borrow Time Tied. Okay, pretty standard stuff. Uh, CM is pretty confident running full BT against Opera, which is really interesting. You usually have at least one character without it. I think last round we had a character without it. It was uh, the lucky guy. Yeah, he had he had tied knee jerk, I'm pretty sure. Interesting stuff. I'd quit playing Hunter if somebody could repair pallets. I don't necessarily mean just like the repairing pallet kind of thing. I It's more of a... Um, it's more of a... I, I want survivors more like Toy Merchant because they're interesting. Or they can provide support by planning ahead, right? Like, I think I think the planning ahead stuff is really... Like, it's kind of like Bane, right? You know how Bane can like plan ahead by setting up traps? It's like that. Like the fact that like planning ahead so far away and like, like cornering somebody into an area, it could be really interesting. Like how many times have you seen people like really, really pincered and then like they get Toy Merchant Catapult and it extends the kite by like an insane amount because it puts them in a good area. Like that, I, I want more stuff like Toy Merchant. I want more support like Toy Merchant. Like harassers are cool, don't get me wrong, but there's only so many harassers you can do before you just like get annoyed at them. Whereas Toy Merchant support is more just like a Hey, I set this up beforehand, and if and if you know, it fails, then it fails, right? Then it fails. Oh, good work from Mike, but probably should have used Interaction Bomb there. Probably should have just used Interaction Bomb. Interaction Bomb would have made her much slower. Fire Bomb is probably better out in the open, in my opinion, because her vaulting through the window, the Interaction would have made it so slow. Obviously, you can't dash or anything, but even then... Even then, dude. Okay, well, Mike Gaming is doing a beautiful kite so far. Mike is really good at looping Shack. This is what I need to practice with my acrobat. Like, I, I just can't loop Shack. I'm terrible at it. Okay, let's see. Yeah, here we go. Getting back over. Looping it again. Looping it once again. Oh, and I think she did get Interaction Bomb. Yeah, she did. She's she's dummy slow that time. Oh, oh, but that was a really good TP. That was a beautiful TP from Opera. My goodness. And with this kite, he should actually have another Firebomb almost ready. We're going to see a Slow Bomb. Post it up right there. She has to go around. Uh, She might be able to make this. Hold on. Uh, he has his pallet. No, his, that's his pallet. No, he doesn't have a window yet. There's the blink. There's the down. Okay. Not a bad kite, though. Not a bad kite. Not a bad kite by any means at all. Okay. Uh, oh, somebody who could repair the breakable window. Wait. Oh, but the gun from corner. Wait, did you not just see that? I thought that was pretty obvious. Okay, there's firebomb. Yup. You have to go through it, though. You have to go through it. Your dash is sealed. Yup, yup. Okay, but she's still kind of fast though. What the heck? He doesn't make this. I mean, he goes all the way back up here. He bought like that that gun and firebomb combo. Bought um a little bit extra time because she should go all the way back down now. Yep. And that's before a tide. So Corner's gun was used to balloon rescue, which we don't really see too often anymore. Um, but yeah, that was that was solid. That was almost that was almost that was like three and a half ciphers there. Very, and that's the first chair. Three and a half ciphers to the first chair. That's good. The last two are being worked on. Still got to finish that 85% cipher. I think... What, what cipher is that? Is that Shaq? I'm not sure. It might be... No, Shaq is at 70. I actually don't know. I'm actually not sure here. Okay. Yeah, get get in there, officer. Get in there, officer. And now, yeah, Acro just die in a corner. Just... Or, or just die back up here. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine as well. Yep. Full press. Does she pressure on any ciphers? Oh, you probably can't. She does. She actually is gonna opt to pressure on ciphers. Okay. Uh, do we see? No, there's no blink. So officer might have a second watch. Use right here. Use your watch. Use your watch. Ooh, it is a double down actually. Chairs officer first. Yep, chair officer first. Okay, that was actually the right move. That was definitely the right move. That she kind of needs that to get back in the game. Is actually not gonna chair acrobat even though. I guess he's not dead on chair. She's just gonna pressure ciphers now and then. Yeah, that's actually. It's actually better. And now, now you pressure down the shack. You know, patient is nearby. Patient already used a... When the heck did he use a hook? When did bro use a hook? Okay, gets the vault. Vaults the window. Okay, the, the resources are diminishing, but they're doing this. They're going to have only one cypher left at 85. Which I still don't know which one. What's at 85? <laughs> oh, Acrobat is here. Okay. Yeah, Acrobat, you don't really want to... You don't want to get in there. If anybody's going to rescue, it should probably be patient. Um, they are going to complete the cipher. What the heck is the one at 85? Yeah, the thing is, this is also officer's chair time, though. It lasts so dummy long. 20% increase, dude. Are they even going to rescue him? 
I mean, they don't really have a tide or anything. What the heck is the Cypher 85? Is it mid? No, it's... Oh, there's the rescue. Okay, wait a minute. This is going to be a four-person end game. And she messed up her tele... No, she, she messed up her thing. Uh... Yeah, the Cypher's primed. They all have BT. Who do you chase? Is it Officer? Yeah, I can't even tell what this is. It is Officer. Okay, Vault's... Yep, Vault's a pallet. And now you push Factory. Yep, yep, yep. TP back. And you go for... Going for the person on the gate. Okay, that's Cord. So you probably, you probably check this gate, maybe down Cord, then teleport. I feel like this is three escape, though. Uh, I thought TE was gonna not look good here, but now, GR. The gate is open, but where's the... What the? How'd you get over there so fast? Oh, the hook. He still had one more hook, that's right. Okay, this should just be a 1k. This should be 1k. Right? Where, dungeons, yeah, dungeons all the way down over there. Now, this is, this is just 1k. The, the kiting is too long. Both gates are about to open. Nah, it's, it's 1k for sure. Dude, this patient is memeing on her. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, bro. He's buying so much time in this one area. That's that's a three escape, yep. Three, three escape. Bro, these operas. 2k and 1k. That's insane. <laughs> I guess we gotta start banning Ivy. <laughs> High key, I feel like the same strat would work against Ivy though. Just the, the, the spamming of the tide rescue. This tide rescue, go die in a corner, all that stuff. My patient in another universe? My patient could never do anything like that. My patient sucks. My patient's so bad, bro. Like, my, my hooks are just trash. I don't think I've ever played a patient match where I haven't messed up a single hook yet. I, I always, I'm, I almost always mess up at least one hook. Either that or my hooks are just like the most basic bare bones, like I get a little bit of distance and they catch up immediately kind of hooks. But yeah, th those serves, those serves played really well. That was really solid, that was a really solid round one. Also, good night, Ithaca Enjoyer. Yeah, they, they trained so much to go against Officer, yeah. No, the thing is like, the Opera, the Opera comp, uh, we've seen it so much since there, she's so present round one. It's it's down to a formula. It's just down to a formula. The formula can be adjusted ever so slightly, but like Opera, that's that's why that's why I'm gonna start banning Ivy instead of she's like so broken. Because Opera, at least I know what to do against her. Like it's, half the time it's not gonna work because she's so fast and you can't react. But like at least I know the game plan. Like at least I have a game plan against uh, Opera. I don't. I have no game plan against Ivy. My my game plan against Ivy is spam pallets and run and pray. That's all I have. That's my only. That's my only hope is just spam pallets, run away and pray. Because I have no idea what to do against that character. Can't even look behind you, bro. Again, like I said, characters that break fundamentals are annoying. You're so garbage as patient and you had a badge for him? Well, you're S badge with every character. Come on, right? We know this. <laughs> Opera Singer isn't that bad after you learn how to counter her? It's not that she's not... You, you, the thing is, it's just because like even when you know how to counter her, she's still like so broken. She's still like I I know what to do against an opera singer half the time, but it's still opera. Like it, it's that's the thing. It's like opera is simple, but she's just fast. That's that's what she is. She's just fast. So e even when you do well against opera singer, she's just fast, so she can always win. That that's that's the biggest thing. It's like it's because her raw stats are just so broken. But with Ivy, it's like <laughs> there's a lot more to it. It's not just speed, you know. It's possession, it's corruption, it's teleportation, it's bra it's uh, breaking uh, your harassment. It's knowing, uh, guessing what her trait is on top of that. It's not being able to look freaking behind you. It's having your freaking screen covered up, like 20% of your screen covered up by darkness. Like, there's so much with Ivy, bro. There's so much with her. Like, she, ba she has a built-in teleport and excitement. Like, that's so broken, bro. And the thing is, the the in the first chase, her first chase is so easy, bro. You basically start, you basically start every match at half health if your first chase, if they play it well. Because all you do is you use Yith, you scare, you possess, and they're at sixty, and then you scare with a uh, main body or scare with Yith again, and then boom, that that's it. Like, it's just it's so, 
it's just so much, dude. She just needs more cooldowns. Like, I think her character could be really unique if they just extended all her cooldowns by, like, 10 seconds or something and gave her a global teleport uh, cooldown. Because right now, she just feels so oppressive. Built in excitement? Uh, not necessarily built in excitement, but, like, whenever she scares you, it interrupts your actions. And her early game is so broken. So, it's so broken. Um, you know, you know, in that video, in the video that I made where I fought against Ivy, you know why she was standing still? It's because she was using her Yith. I, every Ivy will find her first target so fast. You know how, like, usually you sometimes, oh, I want to hide it out. You know, I want to hide it out in the early game. Uh, the hunter won't find me. The Yith will. The Yith will find you because for, it's like Dream Witch where you can't see the Yith. It's like the main body Dream Witch. You can't see the Yith unless it scares you. And it'll be up on you, like, so fast. Because the Yith, it moves twice as fast as Ivy. And that's that's why. So Lily Ivy, all she has to do at the start of the match is stand still, throw out the Yith, zoom up, find one person. Which, by the way, you can't transition against this character. When, when she when 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 this character knows spawn locations, she's sending out the Yith and booking it straight toward whoever's picking the decoder. So prisoner mains, you're gonna suffer against this character. You'll never be able to hide against this character. Uh, I know love, a lot of you love playing prisoner and rank. I guarantee you, this character is gonna destroy you. She will destroy you. Absolutely, because she'll find you immediately. There's no, there's no chance of hiding because you, you like move to the hiding and by the, by the time you find your hiding spot, she, the Yith is on you. The Yith literally moves twice as fast as her. Look at this. Okay, not twice as fast, but it's almost twice as fast. It's, it's really dummy fast. They had to nerf the speed of it. it, you, it may, maybe it was twice as fast, but look at how fast that is. Imagine a hunter moving that fast. That's basically what she is. And once you are possessed, she's on you. She's immediately on you. It's basically, it's basically her moving that fast. That's what it is. It's basically her moving that fast. Because she stands still for the start of the game, sends out Yith, Yith possesses you, and then she teleports immediately to you. Like, and they say her pursuit is only mid. Look at that, bro. What is that? Like, she's gonna find her first target like that, bro. Usually, like, you can rotate against hunters. You, you can find a way to, like, you know, give them a uh, give, give them a chase target that is better than for the survivors. But against something like Ivy, it's like, yeah, no, I'll just use my ghost and I'll just teleport to my target that I want. Yeah, I'll just, I'll just use my ghost. Like, that's so broken, bro. That's so busted. You faced your first Ivy today? How was the experience? <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, the entire screen goes dark, yeah. It, it's so much, dude. Ivy is just really scary. It was so bad I couldn't see anything. Exactly, exactly. And uh, it's like on top of it all, you can't even like look behind you. And it used to be worse. They had it so she could see your pings for a while. That's so busted. Thank goodness they got they took that away. Like her being able to see your pings, you know how broken that would have been? You'd never be able to communicate. Like communicating is like one of the most fundamental things you need as survivors. Being able to like use the communication against the survivors would be so busted. It's so either you know who's coming in from where, you know what ciphers are at what percent all the time. It would have been so busted. I'm so glad they got rid of that change. Would have been so broken. <laughs> Give Mind's Eye a buff against Ivy since she can't see. I mean, that'd be like a character specific thing. I mean, currently, First Officer and Magician are pretty good against her. Mm. If she could see the pings, it would have stopped playing Survivor. Yeah, I when I first saw her, I didn't think she would be bad because I thought they'd give her cooldowns. And then I saw the gameplay of her and saw that she had like zero cooldowns on pretty much everything. That's not not that's not true, but it fe it basically feels like the cooldowns are th <laughs> like zero. Oh boy. And all the tablets are gonna be so annoying, bro. It's just the fact that she can just teleport to them every 45 seconds. So broken. How do randoms always throw in the most glorious ways? Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know. I, I'm usually one of those randoms. Uh, half the time I am the random, bro. I still remember that time I got terror shocked as Jero was 10 seconds into a Leo's memory match and then everybody spammed you on your own. And then I quit rank. <laughs> I didn't actually quit, but you know, I stopped playing for like an hour because I felt bad. Oh boy. Even though I had a solid rebound. Well, I was about to have a solid rebound, then she blinked me. <laughs> but nah, I'm, I'm the random like half the time. I'm sorry. 
As a magician main, I'm shaking. Ma magician can get rid of the possession though. Ma magician's not bad. Magician and officer can get rid of the possession. They have to use their watches or their, or their items to do so. What the heck? I thought I saw. Okay, I saw somebody in a mask in the crowd. I thought that was Ithaca for a second. My goodness. My goodness. Oh no, I wasn't playing IDV when thank you was a was a message. But yeah, no, I I imagine the thank you like the the, the toxic use of it was insane. People people mainly use heal yourself and uh, what else? Uh, and you're on your own for like. It's so funny, like, everybody in the mid-tiers is, like, usually is so nice, right? They're usually like, oh, sorry, they ping sorry a lot. In the high-tiers, bro, I watch Zeus's stream when he's playing in the high-tiers, it's all just you're on your own spam. Like, they're so mean in the high-tiers, but in the low, in, like, the mid and low-tier, the low mid-tiers, like, everybody says, sorry, sorry. It's like, oh, we know we're bad, we know we're bad. And everybody's so nice, and they're just trying to learn. In the high-tiers, bro, it's all just you're on your own, you're on your own. It's like, dang, bro. All the high-tiers are so mean. <laughs> It's crazy, like, the difference in, like, that I see. Like, I get some you're on your own here and there in the mid-tiers, but it's like, you know, maybe maybe one match out of ten, right? You know, nine, nine times out of ten, you're going to get people who ping sorry more than you're on your own, right? But then in freaking, when I watch Zeus's stream, it's like almost every match is you're on your own. That's, that's an exaggeration, but I'd say half the matches, there's you're on your own spam. And he's also guilty of spamming it. <laughs> It's just, it's so goofy, bro. The high tiers are just so much more aggressive. But yeah, that, that's that's what, yeah, thank you is also saying. Because like, you get Terror Shock and everybody's like, thank you. Thanks for getting Terror Shock, bro. It's just like extremely passive aggressive. My goodness. Yeah, even as a peak. I No, it's just, I imagine like anything like Alicorn and above is a lot more. I think like just the further you go up in the ranks, it's probably worse. Because at, at Worker Bee, nobody even probably pings. People are just like, oh, what's he even pinging? What does pinging even do? I remember when I first started IDV, I didn't even want to ping because I thought I, I thought I was just, I was just too shy. And I thought I would annoy other people with my pings. <laughs> <laughs> no, but Worker Bees are chill. They're not great at the game, but they're chill. Ping, I'm out of here. That's a that's a goofy one. All right, here we go. Round two, first half. Please ban an opera singer. I don't want to watch opera singer. A proud worker bee with a 308 second kite. That's crazy. Okay, they're banning opera. Woo! Yes, ban opera. And then delete wax from the game. Uh, due to uh, audience complaints, we have now decided that Wax Artists will no longer be playable in Koa, or in Rank, or in the game at all. We're actually deleting Wax Artists from the game. Wouldn't it be so funny if they had a vote where it's like, delete one person from the game? That'd be that'd be hilarious. I'd vote Wax Artist. Although I feel like most people would delete Opera Singer. And then for Survivors, most people would probably delete Priestess. <laughs> You have your on your own on my ping list. I don't, I don't even have your on your own on my ping list. It does nothing. It's so funny. Z like Zeus, Zeus's team GSL made an entire guide where they're like, "Hey, you should you should focus on communication. You guys should never ping sorry because sorry does nothing." And then he just spams you on your own. Like everybody spams you on your own. It's like, yeah, yeah, you're on your own definitely helps as well, dude. It's it's so goofy. It's very goofy. Delete Kurt because Kurt means annoy me. Yeah, I can I can see being annoyed by Kurt. Kurt Kurt can be pretty tough to find sometimes. Pretty much pretty much any time I see like if I'm up against a Kurt and it's like he has to he either has to get to the gate or like the dungeon or something he's like the last person like remaining. I almost always know I'm losing. Like I almost always know he's escaping. But he just waits out and even his, even his, if he's like at half health and maybe but like. I don't know. It's just like most of the time he just finds a way to sneak past me because I'm just so blind. He's just so tiny. He's just so tiny. Alright, using it with your friends is fine. The chat in Japanese for your on your own means I can't go to rescue and honestly it changes everything. Interesting, huh? That would have been that would have been so that's actually a better ping. I should honestly change it. It should change your on your own to I can't rescue. I guess there's also I'm stuck, but people usually use I'm stuck for when they're having ping issues. 
See your toy merchant mercenary antiquarian. Okay. Nightmare and Koa? I wish, I wish. Kurt means are either rude, suck, or deco when everyone else is injured or something on the chair? Uh, that's a, that's a pretty big generalization. I was talking more about the character, not the players. Okay, but the fish is coming out though. The fish is coming out. And the thing is, TE does have a slight lead by one uh one kill. You learn uh, all the IDV language thanks to me? Oh, that's interesting. I feel like I learned a lot of the language or like terminology just from watching competitive play. There's still some things I don't know though. A lot, a lot of location names. I'm still, I'm still working on it. But you know. <laughs> now, if, if there's any, if there's any, uh, if there's any like player base of a character that I think is kind of goofy, it's probably the, the little girl players. I hate to say it, but most little girl players that I've run into are just not great. They just, they can never kite for very long. That's not, that's not to say that all of them are like that, but. You know, Little Girl is like the most consistent like flop character that I've run into. Like almost all of them just flop. Blink detention insolence from Nyad when we've got um, borrowed time knee jerk on everybody but mercenary who has borrowed time tied. I gotcha. Pretty standard stuff. No flywheel though, so we can't flywheel water at all. We could have owl for uh, for water, but we could see some interesting catapults from Toy Merchant as well. Curious to see this match. Very curious. She paged herself into Bane's trap. A small child did. That's hilarious. Yeah, small small child is um interesting. That's for sure. The fact that it's the, the fact it's like the easiest character to get carried with as well because you can just leech onto somebody with. It's like, oh no, I'm in danger. I'm about to lose. Why don't I just leech onto somebody else and make them do the work for me? <laughs> <laughs> so goofy, dude. Little girl gravekeeper is so annoying too, because you hit gravekeeper out of his shovel and then it doesn't like get little girl out, dude. Oh my gosh, it's so annoying. Oh, just making me think about it, bro. It's so annoying. But yeah, a lot, most little girls I run into are not crazy. It's not necessarily like a they're all bad. It's more just like the in in general, like from my personal experience, most little girls I run into are just not great. But we got the fish coming out here chasing the antique dealer. We love to see the Koa. Koa skin for antique dealer is going to get watered off. Not quite. Oh, stepping in the water. 50, 60, not quite 70. Oh, she swings but misses. She tries to go for the, the pushback swing, but it misses. Oh, boy. All right, careful. You don't want to get watered off now. Well, that's insolence. That's insolence, Geek. Be careful. Be careful. She's got dashes now. She's got dashes. One, two? Only one? Really? I would have gone for one, two there. Uh, do we blink? Do we blink? Do we see blink? No? Owl? Uh, okay. This six gets you to the pallet. Do we blink? Do we blink? Dang, dude. Even if she tried to swing. Did she, did she try to swing? No, she didn't try to swing. Okay. I was gonna say, if she tried to swing, that would have been crazy. What, the second that Owl ran out, I was flipping, bro. I don't even care. I was flipping. If that was, if I was if that was my antiquarian, I was just gonna flip over that pallet. I don't even care. I would have done it. <laughs> but then again, you know, most of my blink predictions fail. But that was an okay kite, honestly. It did use up the seer owl though. But uh that's not too bad. We got the abyss set up. Oh, how's it going, Stray? Good to see you. Okay, is that actually water off the cipher? There's no way. Merc is here. Yep, here, here, be the mercenary. Oh, actually, <laughs> Toy Merchant has an elbow pad. She could give an elbow pad to uh to the mercenary once he runs out, or even to the antique dealer as well. Potentially, potentially. Okay, two ciphers done. Uh, is she gonna get ordered off? Not quite. Not quite. Oh, oh, oh. Swing, swing. Oh, oh, oh. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. Oh, the tram, though, the tram. Oh, the tram. The, tra <laughs> the tram's buying some extra time. Oh, boy. She sits under the tram. Prevents the... Yeah, prevents it. Prevents it. That's actually buying some extra time. Oh, wait. No, it's not. I thought she would sit under the tram. Okay. 
Actually, just crawling away. The tram hit actually did matter then. Okay. Yeah, never mind. That, that tram actually bought some extra time. That tram bought like an extra 10 seconds. That was actually pretty lucky for the survivors. Truly is a tram moment. And yeah, Merc is here. Merc is here. The Cyphers are still a little bit slow, but that, tra that tram definitely helped push the momentum a little bit in the survivors' favor. Oh, Merc does not actually dodge water. He gets popped. He gets water popped. He's actually just dead. He's super dead. Oh, she is... Okay, yeah, an Antique Dealer dies. Merc dies. This is looking pretty good for TE here. This is looking pretty good indeed. Yeah, this, if they had one Cypher left, then maybe, but they only have a... Yeah, no, no Owl. And no, we didn't see any catapults from Toy Merchant at all. We have, I thought she'd set up the one, like, kind of in this area where you can... Set it up, go up in the two-story. Okay, that, there's a catapult. There's a catapult. Um, I don't know where her other one is, though. She should have two. That's odd. Okay, they're decoding two-story. Uh, two which two-story is at 84. Both sides are decently far along. At this point, yeah, they just finished them. They, you, just, you just finish one, then just make the other one come in. Yep, trying to water this off. It says at 77, though. Oh, boy. Yeah, this whole thing is watered off now. Tor Merchant's gliding on in. Here she comes. Near, near. Oh. She avoids the water because she was too... Actually, no, she did. She didn't avoid water. What the heck? Body block? Tor Merchant does die. Tor Merchant does die. And I don't know where the heck her elbow pad is, but it's somewhere around here. Seer is decoding. Seer is decoding. Oh, did Seer get his... Did Seer water pop? Uh, they're here. It's at 94. That's not quite ready, though. Uh, okay, now you get on it. Now you get on it. All right, water pop, water pop. Oi, oi. It's prime, it's prime, it's prime now, it's prime, it's prime. Uh, uh, uh. Rescue, pop, pop. There it is, beautiful. Everybody's water is so high, though. <laughs> Not that it really matters because it's detention anyway, but still. Still pretty scary. They can draw this. They can draw this. Somehow they can draw this. <laughs> L-pad, yep. Pops water, but that's okay. That's fine. That is fine. That's just half damage. And now, oh, we're going to... Okay, we're going to the... Yep, okay. Yep, going to the other gate. It should still be a draw, though, because Mercenary goes to goes on the other gate. Toy Merchant takes Kite. She should have Glider back up, actually. That, that could extend the Kite here a little bit. All right, Merchant. Can you survive long enough? Glider? Yep, there's the Glider. Beautiful, beautiful. Oh, can't drop the pallet. Just blinks for the down. Oh my. Okay. Well, that's secure. That secures the draw. That secures the draw. There's no trace hop or anything because she has insolence. That is a draw. Surprisingly, I'm actually kind of surprised that was a draw. That was a very close draw. That felt like it could have been much more. But my goodness. Yeah. Good. Good work from the fish. Good work from the fish. And the thing is, with that draw, they're still in the lead. Like, if they keep getting draws, they still have the lead. GR needs to get, like, a 3k to catch up. Yeah, draw, draw, draw Queen Nyad, indeed. Indeed. Buff, Tram, and Coaster? Does anyone remember when you got down upon getting hit by Tram? Oh, is that when you actually, like, took damage? That's crazy. I'm glad they don't do that anymore. That would be so annoying, <laughs> Survivor, dude. Especially, especially how often I get hit by Tram. Actually, I don't get hit by the tram that often as Survivor, but I get hit by it a lot as Hunter. I feel like I get hit by it all the time. My goodness. Will I ever consider making a map locations guide? What do you mean by map locations? Like a spawn locations guide? Uh, I don't. I could make like a basic one, probably, but I, I can't make. I, I think GSL wants to make stuff like that, like Z Zeus's uh, Zeus's pro team. I think they want to make like some spawn guides. Um, but in general, like as a general rule, uh, rescuers should always spawn in the center, and you should not spawn in corners. Rescuers spawn center for uh, two main reasons. One. Because they can get to rescues faster by by starting from the middle. And two, uh, they're obviously out in the open, so they're the most vulnerable. But usually a lot of rescuers, like officer and mercenary, you don't want to chase first. So if the hunter finds you, they, there's a good chance they won't even chase you. 
Um, because there's you just know they're just gonna waste extra time. They want to find an easier chase target like a decoder or something. Um, but yeah, as a general, don't spawn in corners. Uh, put your rescuers in middle. And uh, if you have specialist characters that are good in specific areas, uh, then you can put them in those areas. I guess Moonlit, Moonlit River Park is a different case. Um, there's like four specific spawns on Moonlit. And that's Cypher Bridge, two-story, and the first and four stops of the, the coaster. But if you're something like a patient or an acrobat, you always want to spawn at four stop uh, on Moonlit River Park. If you're a toy merchant, you always want to spawn in Big Boat on Lakeside Village. Because there, there are some characters that are just dummy strong in certain areas. Okay, looks like a three escape is all that TE. Yeah, a three, a three escape here would be a win for TE. That's crazy. Huh. Is it really that easy? Huh, that's interesting. Okay, so GR needs a draw to continue the set. Very interesting. But yeah, um, that, that's kind of just the general stuff for spawns. I wish I could like look at the maps. Uh, I, don't think, I don't think there's like a way you can pull up the map specifically, right? You can just be like, oh yeah, this. I guess there's this, yeah. Um, it doesn't spawn into grids though. It doesn't show the grids. Uh, spawn points. Oh, these are key spawns, huh? Yeah, they, you should also learn key spawns for quick matches. I need to do that as well. I'm bad at that. But, uh, can't put down like markers or anything. I can't even show it. I don't know. <laughs> But yeah, they're, they're, there's, there's, they could, like, I'm pretty sure GSL will make, like, a spawn guide eventually. You can probably follow something like that. I, I only really know the basics. It's, it's basically just don't, don't spawn in corners. Put rescue in middle. And try to put, try to, try to, like, put your kiters closer to the, the hunter. And put your decoders farther away. If you can bait them into certain areas, that is. That's that, that's what spawn selection, of course. There's a lot that goes into spawns. According to Hikaru, the the hunter spawn doesn't matter so much, but the survivor spawns definitely matter. The survivor spawns 100% matter. Like you don't want to be a prisoner or a mechanic spawning in the freaking middle of the map. Like the, the reason in that one video we saw uh, a psychologist with Tide spawning at the Cipher Bridge in Moonlit River Park, and then the Geisha chased the psychologist and she couldn't do anything about it. She just died because Psych was in a bad area and she's not a character who can kite well. Like she just has to, she only has raw kiting. Now if you had Mercenary there, Mercenary wouldn't have got Mercenary wouldn't have got chased. She would have tried to chase uh, psychologist who should have spawned like in the tent or, or the, the, the two-story area. And if that's the case, then you drop down from two story area, you go to God Kite right next to uh, right next to two story in like in the bottom uh, right corner, and you can kind of meme on Geisha from there. Hi, hi. Wiping the sweat off the phones, yeah, I imagine so. But yeah, there's also just character specific things as well. Like Explorer, he, he's pretty uh. He's pretty unorthodox. Wildling's a bit unorthodox. But basically, if you're... I guess Wildling can really spawn in any, like, unsafe area because he just has boar. And nobody's gonna want to... <laughs> nobody's gonna want to chase a Wildling with boar, bro. Played Melee today, got Terror Shock 30 seconds into the match. Oh, I'm sorry. It's okay. It happens to the best of us. It happens to me, too. Even as a melee main, it still happens to me. Yeah, the fan memes. I wish I could read them. I kind of just rely on looking at the freaking faces. Stop giving me ads. My, the, you, I just have automatic ads set on. It's completely done on YouTube. <laughs> Look at that little rabbit thing. That's goofy. Terror shot once at five ciphers, then he fell down the stairs and post match. <laughs> really? That's funny. That's actually funny. Yeah, ba back when I first started, um, when I when I like made so many mistakes and people were yelling at me all the time in post match. Back when I used to check it all the time. What the heck is that plushie? <laughs> but I, I, I back when I used to check post match and I was like really bad and failing all the time. Um, I, I, my, I just like kept making excuses half the time. 
I just like, oh, I, I just didn't know about that thing. I just didn't know about that thing. When half the time I did know about it, I just didn't know what to do about it. But, oh, I, I just didn't know that uh, Lucino could drop down and hit me with a freaking thing, right? I didn't know Geisha could drop down and hit me from above. I just didn't know about that. I'm a new player. <laughs> Although there was a there was a good amount of time where I didn't even know what wanted order did. It took me like two months to figure out what wanted order did. I had no I had no idea what wanted order even was. And I was like, how the heck does a hunter keep finding me? I'm trying to hide it out. <laughs> Famous Chinese furry that dances? Uh, maybe. I mean, I've never seen it before. It could be. <laughs> Falling into basin by accident mid kite is the worst. Yeah, I did. I did that earlier today, actually. I did that earlier today as Freddy Riley when I used an elbow pad and I fell into dungeon by using it. It was in Duel Hunter, so it was fine. But if I ever did that in a real match, who boy, I'd be screaming, bro. I would actually be screaming. <laughs> What is wanted order truly? Uh, well, for those who don't know, when the hunter has wanted order, a little like yellow icon will appear on your name that kind of like flashes. Um, not really flash, but it's just like a little yellow aura that appears around your little uh, your name or your little character portrait thingy. And if you have that, basically the hunter can just see your location from anywhere on the map. It's re is it red? I thought it was yellow. Oh, whatever. The red, the red, but then the red. <laughs> I thought it, I thought it was yellow. Well, that's me being colorblind for you. But yeah, the the red slash whatever color it is that icon. Whenever you see that, that's that's wanted order. That means I can see you. Anyway, we got aeroplanist, dancer, cheerleader, and guy. <laughs> uh, priestess, antiquarian, seer, and novelist ban. Okay, novelist ban is interesting. Hmm. Are they planning on playing Bloody Queen or something? Now this pen is interesting. It's cheese! Your cheese is back! Let's go! Cheese moment! Cheese moment! <laughs> yeah, baby! Look at Charles flying around, bro. It's so funny that, like, in Charles's lore, his, like, flying inventions failed and got, I think, his friend killed or something. And yet he just uses those same inventions to fly around <laughs> within the game. <laughs> Oh boy. We got cheese though. We got cheese. It's cheese time. Don't worry, no, there wasn't Alice earlier. So we, we could see Alice again sometime, maybe. But the set could also end it on this match, so we'll have to see. This this very well could be the last match of the stream. This this is a pretty hype team though. This this team can be pretty hype. We got Charles, we got Lily. Cheese is funny. Dancer is not crazy hype, but she can be hype because of spin. Hmm. What do you play into this though? What is good against this comp? I feel like we could see another fish. It's a possibility. We could see a cringe artist. We could see a fish. We could see a geisha. I don't know if you need to play wheel at this point. You maybe could play wheel. As if you can get a draw, you at least secure round three. It's probably best to secure a draw. Axe boy! Axe boy! Robbie! Oh my gosh. Axe boy! Finally! We got some axe boy. Look at that. Look at his mouth, dude. Oh, it's axe boy time, bro. It's axe, bro. Finally. He's so rare. He's so rare. This is the second Axe Boy in all of Koa I've seen. And he's not even a bad character. Look at, look at his movement, bro. Look at his like head moving around. Oh my gosh. Oh boy. Here we go. Axe Bro Gaming 4K? Can we actually get a 4K with Axe Bro? Axe Bro is seen as a Thai hunter. So as long as he secures the draw, he's fine. I kind of want to see him cook though. I I want to see I want to see I want to see them cook. I want to see all Axe Bro cook. Please be whale or his creepy skin. I yeah I want I want to see like a creepier skin. Come on, don't don't just be default Axe Bro. Don't be the one with the weird face either. There's like one Axe Boy skin that's kind of ugly. Besides the rest of that, most of them are really good. Most most Axe Boy skins are good. But there is that one like ugly doll one which is kind of creepy. 
I guess, I guess it is a creepy vibe, but it's also just kind of ugly. Insolence, interesting. Blink, detention, and insolence. Insolence acts, but I guess this is a really focused John Draw build. Uh, we got Borrow Time, Knee Jerk on Cheerleader and Dancer, then Borrow Time, Tide on Aeropanist and Cheese. So yeah, they both wanted to secure draws here. Well, maybe not necessarily. They could they could double tide off farm the river, whoever the first rescue or first kiter is. Hmm. All right, Axe bro, let's see what you can do, buddy. Let's see what you can do. You finally got some. You finally got some spotlight. People are wondering where you were. We missed you, buddy. But can can we get this? Uh, can we get this draw or better? Let's see. Robbie about to eat. I hope he does. I hope he does. Pawn, oh, Pawn Broker? Is that, the, is that the weird doll one? Yeah. Ooh, it's this one. I love this one. I forget what it's called, but I love this one. This one's so good. Okay. Let's see what we do. Set up tree? Okay, there's tree. Oh, no, that's, that's, no, that's tree. That's, that's Rustful Road. My bad. Um, no, that was tree. I'm, I'm a doofus. You didn't get Rustful Road until presents, right? I'm a doofus. <laughs> it's been a minute since I played Axe Boy. I need to play more Axe Boy, bro, clearly. All right, who's the first chase, though? Oh, he's waving. Hi. Oh, avoids the flame. Kind of kind of a bit of a... Uh, not the best flame, honestly. Not the best flame. Set up tree here? No tree? Yo, start setting up some trees, Axe Boy. Come on. We need some trees, buddy. Get some trees. You'll be like, Mr. Beast, Mr. Beast, Team Trees. Oh, we're waving. We're waving. Hi. Hi, Lily. Hi. Yo, get her, get her, get her, get her. Yes, yes, here we go, here we go. Hi. Get her with that flare. Ah, oh, she, she's moving away from the flare. Gosh dang it. No, the slow box is... No, not the missed flare and the pallet, bro. No. Axe, bro. Come on, Axe, bro. Come on. Yo, yeah, you break these stinking slow boxes. Come on. You got it, you got it, you got it. Just get this flare, just get this flare. Come on, bud. Blink for first hit, maybe? No, not quite, not quite. Not quite. Hi. I love how he waves at you, dude. It's so cute. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Ah, oh, come on. So close, dude. So close. Oh, so close. If two trees are connected, they make it Wrestle Road. I actually didn't know that. Interesting. I did not know that. I always know there's little like speed boost, but I didn't know they actually made a wrestle road in between. Interesting. All right, come on, get the flare, get the flare, 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 flare. Hi. No, dude, it's so easy to dodge for top players. Oh my gosh. Come on, X bro. There's the down. Let's go. Good job, buddy. Good job. Come on. Come on. Come on. You got this. You got this. Wrestle road into a wall. Yes. <laughs> oh, I see. Maybe. Basin. Basin. Wait. Wait. Basin. Ah, oh, he doesn't make it. He doesn't make it. Bro does not have giant claw. Okay, break off a little branch. Okay, nice, nice, nice. Come on, come on. Please. Please. Come on, bro. I need to see something now. I need to see something now. Charles, Charles. Restful road. Super restful road. Come on, flare him, flare him, flare him. Get the spirit, get the flare. Look, 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 look. Come on, buddy, come on. Oh, unfortunate, unfortunate. Does does hit Lily, but this is looking like a draw at best. Yeah, because now she dies in a corner, and they just double time. This actually could be a three escape. I hate to say it. It could be a three escape. Oh, boy. Come on. I don't know how he's supposed to come back from this, bro. I really don't. Come on, X, bro. Please. Come on, X, bro. Pick her up. Yes, there we go. He needs a draw to continue the set. It's basement, it's basement, it's basement. This might be what they need. This might be what they need. Yes, here we go. We finally have basement. This could be good. This could be good. I mean, we, oh, wait, it's cheese. No, there's cheese. No, cheese. No, bro, cheese. With cheese, they just, he just, he just tunnels down into it. Oh, bro, with cheese. No, dude. No, the cypher's climbing. No. No, not the double rescue, bro. It's too much. There's too much support. Why would you go after Charles? What? No, don't go after Charles. Come on. Okay, nice, 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 nice. Nice. Oh, he hits, he hits, he hits, he hits cheese there. He hits cheese. Okay. They just pop, though. They just pop. Come on. The thing is, he doesn't have teleport, though. He has to. No, come on. Get the flare, get the flare. Come on. No. 
No! Come on, X bro! Please! Please, bro, please find a way! Please! It's so over, bro! No! No, bro, it's over. No, it's a three escape, man. X bro! No! Oh, no. That's it, bro. He needed a tie to continue the set. Axe, bro, no. Oh, Axe, bro. So unfortunate, dude. So unfortunate. We finally got to see him come out and he couldn't even cook. Poor Robbie. Oh, I feel so bad. Poor, poor little Robbie. He did his best. He did his best. We've seen, we've seen Robbie cook before, but today, today he just could not, unfortunately. My goodness. <laughs> it's okay, Robbie. I'll still take you for ice cream. Yeah. There was a chance, dude. There was a chance with basement. One, once I saw cheese coming in, cheese could just tunnel down in the basement. Yeah, it was just over. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, is that the end? Yes, that is the end. That is the last set of uh, today. But we also have um, we have tomorrow, and we have the next day as well. My, my goodness, I have so many flashcards now, bro. I have so many flashcards. I have like maybe 15 to 20 flashcards of freaking Koa matches written down on them. My goodness. Oh, that's so funny. Oh. I do some duos. No, this is probably going to be the end. This is probably going to be the end. Um, I, I have to record some videos as well. And uh, these streams can go on for pretty long. This one was like relatively short since we had two rounds end at round two. But um, I do need to record some more Koa for actual videos as well. But yeah, we'll be back tomorrow. And the next day, same time, I'm pretty sure, for some more Koa matches. And we should be able to uh, have some videos of featuring Koa as well throughout the week. And I think next week we'll catch up on CN Mainland. And then, yeah, I think by the end of March, we should be all caught up with all the Koa matches. And then at that point, we just stream everything until uh, Global Finals. And we have like a whole week and a half straight of Global Finals, which could be really fun. That's going to be really, really fun. But yeah, like, like I said, like I said, everybody, that is going to be it uh, for today. So, yep, thank you for uh, tuning in. Thank you for watching with me. It was very fun, uh, you know, getting to chat with everybody, watch these co-op matches. We had some great matches played today. But, yeah, that's going to be it for today. I hope you have a great rest of your day or night, whatever you're watching this. And I'll see you later. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.